Alright, what up everybody, it's your boy the Infinite Dragon here, and uh, today we're playing a game by the name of Second Thoughts, who might play Tekken later, it depends on Luna's computer. Uh, I have a special guest with me, it's Luna, as you can see, you are much bigger than I am for some reason. Hi. That's It's <laughs> Luna, hi! Uh, ah. uh, let me go ahead and fix that, there you are, now you're, now you're the same size as me, I don't know why you were bigger to begin with. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and play Second Thoughts. Uh, if her computer cooperates, we'll be able to uh, also play Tekken. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not particularly. Ooh, ah, that was loud. Okay, I'm going to share a screen for her. All right, you should have visual now. Loading in, yes! Okay. I have visual. Alright, let's go and get started. Um, all I know is that this game is going to be a lot of reading. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I was like, are we starting? What's going on? <laughs> uh, it shows a black screen for me. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Now, we're, we're on the same page. It's fine. Uh, th thank you. You will be required to evaluate data on eight different subjects, okay? Each day you will select one of these subjects to be executed using data provided to make your decision. Hello, Samurai Tortoise. Bruh. <laughs> For each time an execution is performed, you will be provided additional information about every subject, including those you have already killed. Alright, makes sense. If you so wish, you can read the new information despite the subject being already dead. Or you can pretend it does not exist and focus on those who are still alive. At the end of this experiment, the surviving subject will be allowed to go free. It is said that knowledge is power. We will find out if this statement is true. Okay. Self-explanatory. We get to read and decide people's fate. Beans. Day one. All right, who do you want to read first? We got Eric Brown, Sarah Barrows, Mia Edwardson, River da uh, da Davin, River Davin, Arthur Lowers, Parmud Rear, Eva Smith, and Kyrie Hiramatsu. Let's do it straight up in order so we don't mix them up. Bet. All right, Eric Robin. Okay, general information: male, twenty-one. French, 6-2. It doesn't matter. His pounds. He's December 9th. He's a technician. He is charged for assault, auto theft, manslaughter, and shoplifting. <laughs> he's All French. Right. First on the block. All right, Samurai Tortoise. He's. All right. All right. That's all we know about him. Let's try Sarah. You want to read this one then? Sure. Sarah Barrows, female, 26, Greek, 5'5. Five five, she's short. Uh, 216 <laughs> pounds. All right, she thick, thick. June 19th, blood type A, plus accountants. A, hey, let's go. Fraud, money laundering, tax, and. Well, tax evasion. We need to call up Noel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mia Edwardson. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mia Edwardson. B oh, sorry. I yeah. thought, uh, we can go guys we, do girls? Sure, no, go for it. Go for it. Cool, 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 cool. Mia Edwardson, female, 40, German, 5'10, 124 pounds. She's skinny. October 23rd, A plus. Teacher Arson Berkeley. Oh my gosh. And insurance fraud. You don't just go from like insurance fraud to burglary to arson. <laughs> Great. Yeah, no, that's very different things. Yeah, that's uh. All right. <laughs> So you guys on Discord? Hey, uh, Fantosh, how you doing? What up, Dan? She was also getting that bag for real. Uh, this person is non binary I'll read them. River Davin, non binary 22, 5'8", uh, 136 pounds, born January 4th, B negative, you are a freelancer, a drug manufacturer in drug possession. So you make drugs. You gotta... Emotional damage! Thank you, thank you, numbers. Uh... <laughs> We got uh we got ourselves a uh, uh, regular Walter Wright over here. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. 
Arthur. Uh, male, 55. American, 5'11", 202 pounds. April, Daddy Chill. Daddy Chill. Uh, a negative. Loan officer is our occupation. He was, the crimes is assault, imprisonment, and kidnapping. Oh, you're top on my list, my friend. Facts. I'm always here to do the sounds whenever I can, of course. Premrod Ryder, male, 36, Indian, 5'1", 184 pounds, born August 27th, AB negative, you're a judge, driving under the influence, all right. Eva Smith. Melina? Sorry, I was reading it myself. Eva Smith, female, 29, American, 5'8", 102 pounds. Good God, She's do tiny. these people just not eat? She's <laughs> like, tiny. She's very tiny. Uh, November 16th, A negative, unemployed, attempted murder. Okay. First degree murder. I'm guessing it was her boss. Just a quick guess. Unemployed. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> and then Kyrie Hiramatsu. Kairi Hiramatsu, non-binary, 18, Japanese, 5'3", 143 pounds. Okay, well, that makes sense. You're 5'3", so obviously you're going to be like 100 and some odd pounds. February 2nd, sales associate, domestic abuse, public intoxication, shoplifting. I know what happened. He <laughs> wanted the alcohol, he shoplifted it, came out drunk as a skunk, and then went home and beat the freak out of whoever he was inside of the house with him. That would make sense. The rest of them, they have completely different... Well, the other non-binary person had, you know, drug possession and manufacturing, so that makes sense. Being 5'3 is weird? Why is that weird? Going to rip his nuts off! You can't! Yes, I can if I use a twisting hey, motion! That's called fun size. <laughs> uh, Than Than played a, played a sound clip. One of my favorites, actually. I'm going to rip his nuts off! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I think Arthur is... Arthur? Assault, imprisonment, kidnapping. It, Arthur or... Not you. Nice and burglary insurance fraud. More fraud, money laundering, tax evasion. Assault, auto theft, manslaughter, shoplifting. Okay, so for me, my choices for first for execution is Eric Robin or Arthur Lowers. What about you? Who are you thinking? The murderer. And that was Arthur Lowers, right? Uh, Arthur Lowers no, was, was sold. Imprisonment and kidnapping. Imprisonment and kidnapping. Yeah. Mine would be definitely the murderer. Um, they have nothing to lose. Yeah, they have nothing to lose. No, that's not Kyrie. I think it's the one up. <laughs> First degree murder. murder. Yeah, yeah, that's murder, fine. Yeah. That, yeah, that works. That works. Um, yeah, I mean, they have nothing to lose. Yeah. Think about it. She's 29. She lived a good life. It's fine. Okay. Kill her. Observation. What is this? What the fuck is this? I have no idea. Status hurt, status fright. Oh. Status concerned. Can you go down? No. Oh, okay. Disturbed, crying, crying, frustrated, crying. I don't know what this is. I can only assume this is these are the people that we're looking at, but I don't know who's who. Huh. Uh, if I join, I would expect a super deep voice. Hmm. I think it's the cells. Yeah, I think it's the cells. That's the only thing that makes sense here. All right. Yeah. So we're going to first execute Ava. Yeah. Ava. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. This action cannot be done. Are you fucking sure? Yes, kill him. The fuck is up with the, like <laughs> what are they doing? I'm guessing they're killing him. Well, yeah, sure. but like, <laughs> are they like? I can only imagine that the the are they vacuuming her to death, right? Like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, you talking about that? No, they're putting her in a blender. We're gonna have her as a milkshake later. It's fine. 
Yeah, I'll invite my friend Hannibal, it'll be all good. Yeah, I'll invite my buddy Hannibal. Makes it an excellent, uh... Set like your sandwich, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what, uh... Let's see what Ava's second page was. So, it was first degree murder was her first page. Uh, background. Ava was somewhat... No, you can re go ahead and read that. Go ahead and read that. Sure, 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 sure. Ava was somewhat of a mystery, as her past is mostly unknown in terms of legal documents. She had moved several times over the course of the last decade, never stayed in one location for more than a few months. To avoid complications, she never kept the same address. Hello. Uh, how many have you dated? I'm curious. You can answer if you want to, Luna. Okay. How many what? What did I say? Um, I assume they asked you how many people have you dated. Uh, dated as in actually had a relationship with? Two. Okay. Go back. One was kind of forced and one was, uh, not. So. Okay. Uh, Eric is the, uh, the Frenchman who, who did assault, auto theft, and manslaughter and shoplifting. Their second, their background is Eric is a talented technician who is not been able to get many clients due to lacking ability in the marketing and networking. As such, he turned to a life of crime in order to pay his bills. That sounds relatively, like, harmless, all things considered. Yeah, and then you ended up doing manslaughter somehow? That makes sense. Get him, he's French. Yeah. What's your vendetta against the French? <laughs> Alright, Sarah. Okay, this is the, t the, t the accountant. Luna? As an accountant making minimum wage, Sarah has been living life close to the edge without chance to have much luxury. People have a very positive opinion of Sarah due to her charity work. Charity work? Interesting. Wait, can you go back to her first page? Charity work. Well, she's money Oh, laundering, she's so. a smart mother... <laughs> okay, so this is how she did it. So if she was if she was like really smart, she wouldn't have gotten caught. So this is what you do. Oh, uh, we do not condone tax evasion. We do not condone like, any crime of any reason. This is for strictly educational purposes. Facts. Okay. Now that disclaimer's over, this is what she should have done. As an accountant, I know this, but nobody do this. Okay. Everybody understood. Cool. Now. If you want to launder money or anything like that, you want to keep a little bit to the side. So you don't want to put it in any banks, you don't want to put it in any uh, paying accounts, you don't want to put it in anything like that. What you want to do is you actually want to put it in little safe boxes. So safe boxes are something you can rent from like the post office, you can rent it from, you know, your local whatever. Um, you can even rent it from a morgue, they have safe boxes there too. Um, and when you uh, do that, once you actually, you know, get those safe boxes, you get them to work and everything like that, um, you basically um, put in, like, a certain amount of money. You would put in, like, tens of thousands of dollars, blah, 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 blah. And you would also um, take some of that money that you are earning or some of that money that your company earns and you can actually transfer it to that safety box so you know when you're doing a federal wire or a check or anything like that to be mail or money ordered you can actually mail or money order it to that post office box or to that safety box and once you move it to that safety box you can put it out from your name put it into an anonymous name under your company's name and then move it over to uh, another safety bo uh, deposit box for tax evasion and write that off as charity work Ah! <laughs> hey, you know so much about laundering? She's an accountant, so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, I think our first. We we have to learn that in college, actually. <laughs> well, that's that's very interesting. Uh, if anything about art comes up, I will be glad to tell. <laughs> be glad to flex my degree. Um, and my first bitch, bitch slapped the person for trying to force me to date them or uh, sidekick them or whatever. <laughs> what I did over there. Um, I think it's funny to make fun of the French because France isn't real, so there's no repercussions. France is a very strange place. All right. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Mia, this is the arson burglary and insurance fraud. They're a teacher? Yes. How did that happen? That, well, 
The award-winning teacher Mia Edwardson is beloved by all of her students for her out-of-the-box thinking, <laughs> you don't say, an approach towards uh, teaching that allows for everyone to be involved that understand what is being taught. So she's a science teacher. Okay. Go back. Go back right quick. I want to see her first. Arson, burglary, insurance, fraud. Arson sounds like it so, could have been an accident. Hmm. So what I'm thinking is that... So she's a science teacher, right? Burn her ass up for the insurance. Made, just, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and everybody, let's just say that this was back in 2020 when everybody was at home and, you know, doing... Uh, or even last year when everybody was, you know, doing school from home. And she was trying to teach her, you know, kids in science class or whatever like that. But she didn't know how she can gain more money because teachers aren't paid anything. If you ever Absolutely ask a teacher not. if they're paid, they're not paid enough. They're it, not paid enough. The, the homie Amy all. Lark is live right now. Go ask her how much she gets paid. She won't answer you. But, like, it, she'll probably say something along the lines of very little. It's not, teachers do not get paid a lot. No, they don't. And they should. Um... But, uh, so I would think that the arson and the insurance fraud, I can understand, because you would want to make something happen within your house, and you can state, oh, well, I mean, I'm a science teacher, I was just trying to do something within my house, yeah, yeah, and yeah. accidents happen, so that can be in the insurance fraud part and the arson. Um, but the burglary is... Yeah, 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 the burglary is throwing like, us all off, because that doesn't... That's that's the odd one out here. Or you can go burglary and insurance fraud, and arson is the odd one out. Yeah, I mean, if you do steal products that you're not supposed to have, if it's not for educational purposes or within the school grounds, I can see how that would be burglary. So she would actually have to steal her science products from the school to bring it into her house in order to use it for the arson so they couldn't track where the arson particularly came from. And that would cause the insurance fraud because she's trying to tell them, oh, it was just an accident because I'm a science teacher. So, okay, I can make sense of that. Yeah, all right. kind of, yeah. She's I... the last on my list. She's the last on my list. Now. All right, all right, for right now. River. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, this yeah. one's not buying it. Yeah, I got this one. Um, this was the freelancer drug manuf... Ah, yes, the drug maker. My tiny yeah, piece-sized uh, brain yeah, is confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's not breaking and entering, so that makes sense probably, yeah. All right, River is known by the police and has evaded them for multiple years. Excuse me. While they started their uh, life of crime as a teenager, they continue to supply drugs to their hometown or to this day. This person's at the bottom of my list. Yeah. They just trying to make person, it work. Like, I feel like that they're actually from, like, the hood hood. Like, yeah, yeah. Where you're, like, you, you just trying to make some money. Yeah, they be trying to make it work. Oh, facts. Uh, Arthur, assault, imprisonment, kidnapping. Oh, yeah, this, this guy's still on top of my list. Let's see. Yeah. Arthur is a well-respected loan officer who is known for helping those in need, even when it gets him in trouble with his bosses, as he sees them getting the money uh, they need in life as a good cause. So someone get, didn't give you your money and you kidnapped him. Okay. Let me put it to you this way. I'm going to make two scenarios, okay? Then this might bring him over to the bottom of your list. Okay. He's our. <laughs> go for it. Yeah, go ahead. But no, 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 no. Just, just thinking about. It, just keep your mind open. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, author. Okay. Author has um. Had to kidnap somebody who was actually in need because he does help those in need, and they were, they could have been one of the suspects that we have on here, uh, that was a victim of that person's domestic of. Uh, and violence, and they could have assaulted that person within their own home and imprisoned, like, their wife who was being domestically violenced or anything like that, because he doesn't have domestic violence on his record. But he does have kidnapping, right? So he could have kidnapped that other person's wife, brought it back to his house, imprisoned her just to make sure that she was safe, uh, and either beat the freak out of the other dude and called the cops on him or something like that, and that's why he's on the suspect list now. So he could have been helping them. That is the uh, based on the assumption that these uh, particular people are intertwined somehow. That's not necessarily the case. We don't know that. But even if they are inter uh, entwined, that could have happened to a complete stranger and he would have gotten caught either way. Because Grab a stick and twist it! Fan, what does that have to do with anything? Anything, my man. <laughs> uh, how's your no-nut November going? 
<laughs> I failed first day. That's not <laughs> so. That's not something I'm fucking doing. I won't be able to sleep. Facts. <laughs> like I can't. <laughs> like, I just I can't. <laughs> um. That one might be a little bit of a reach. She. I mean, the point of the game is that there's something going on here. Yeah, you're trying to reach. You're trying to figure this out before everything is like, oh, here's it being unwound. We're driving under driving the under the influence. This yeah, is, uh, no. I, I nope, top of my list for me because I've lost somebody because somebody else is driving under the influence. Top of my list, hundred percent. Known as a very so. fair judge, per, pra, prama, pra, they have dictated his life uh, to his work while being well known at his job. It is his passion for supporting the homeless that has given him his high status in the community. Huh. Okay. Kyrie. This was the domestic abuse, public intoxication, and shoplifting. Their sales associate. Uh. Elena? Can you go back to that previous one right quick? By the way, guys, are we okay with just, like, the ambient fucking computer noises, or do you want me to play some music? What you looking at, Luna? I would prefer music, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, I'm chill with whatever, all right. Oh. Anyways, all right, let's go to the next. What were you looking at? Well, it, it doesn't make any sense to me how... Like, if you're a sales associate, right? Because that's what he is. Or she, sorry. And they, they're but non binary. Oh, I'm sorry, they. That's what they are. Uh Okay. Kari uh Kari was known as a problem child in their school life and while managing to graduate their grades were much lower than a national average. Their current boss is a high school friend. Making my way okay, through back. the hood, sipping his yak. Hold on, one Niggas about to get blown with the Mac. Also, turn the stream on and listen to this real quick. Ride around the block with a Glock. Yo ass finna get shot. That's the sound of him. That's the grenade line. <laughs> um, you wanted to get, you wanted to see this again? That was funny. <laughs> um, okay, so basically they feel like a failure in life uh, and they take it out on people uh, who are closest <coughs> to them. Okay. Okay, mm. that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lenny, for turning the butt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm <laughs> not, I don't feel particularly strongly about any of these for, for first case. Uh uh. You didn't hit that. Okay, go back to Eric. Yeah, do go back to Eric. Uh, this is the manslaughter. I would state him next just because it's a manslaughter, but yeah. let's see his actual information. This is the one. Yeah, he he turned the crime to pay his bills. Manslaughter can al can also be an accident. Yeah. So, so, uh, shoplifting. He probably what it probably ended up happening happening is that he was shoplifting, got caught, tried to run, tried to take someone's car. Uh, he had to beat him up and to take it, and that's what this probably would happen. And then it probably ended up as manslaughter. Whether or not that's an accident or not, I think manslaughter is. Hey, Hi, Kit. I think manslaughter is exclusive exclusively an accident. The only thing you can you care about uh, not the manslaughter is that he's French. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Making my way through the hood, sipping his yak. Niggas about to get blown with the Mac. Riding around the block with a Glock. Yo ass finna get shot. That's the sound of him. That's the grenade line. All right, let's not. I'm okay with playing the sounds, but let's not go overboard. Um. Hello, Kit. Hi, Kit. Hi, Kitty Kit. How are you? 
no one plays Call of Duty. See, the thing about that, Dantosh, is that I would never in life play Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> manslaughter. The crime of killing a human being without malice, uh, af uh, malice afterthought or otherwise in circumstances not amounting to murder. So, yes, it's usually an accident or uh, not intentional. Some kind of non-intentional uh, death. Basically. You're good. I don't... Sarah, Sarah's the fucking... She was money laundering. I'm ready to punch my co-worker? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna vent on here and let, let us know. River, I'm, I'm okay with as well. What do you mean vent on here? She was telling me about one of her co-workers pissing her off. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't feel strongly about any of them, but you wanted uh, you don't like them because manslaughter. There is no reason why you should kill anybody, even if you're trying to be trigger happy or anything like that. You should shoot at least in the air first to give off a warning shot. If the warning shot didn't work, then shoot them to where they do not die, but don't kill them. What about the dude uh, driving while intoxicated? Kill him. <laughs> hey, uh, murder him. Let me find him. This guy. All right. Apparently. And you're a judge. Shame on you. I'm not. All right. Kill him. Okay. All right. Pray mod it is. Bye, judge. I really like that I asked you like three times, are you fucking sure? <laughs> <laughs> like, I... you know you are murdering this person. It's like, yes, why do you think we're doing this game? <laughs> All right, thanks for the lurk, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Love you, Rob Bear Hugs. He's French. Fire up the uh... Boeing. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for chilling with Dan, Dan, Tosh. Enjoy the show. Thanks. All right, day three. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me see the observation before we look at everybody else. If you don't mind. Just worried. Yeah, this is these other prisoners. Focused, doubtful, upset, gloomy, anxious. I think it is in order because we killed the second two. The, the yeah so it is in order it is in order yeah okay so what y'all looking like worried focused yeah focused what the fuck are you focused doubtful upset gloomy anxious you ought to be anxious that's what i would be in this fucking situation i'd be fucking anxious let me see the second dude sarah yeah why is she so fucking focused? Oh, because she's an accountant. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's smart. She's smart. Yeah, I don't think Sarah did anything to get fucking murdered for. Well, we'll see. We'll see. First, let's go through the uh, the evidence to see like what we were missing here. So, this is the uh, first-degree murder person. Family life. Her original family life is unknown as she was put into foster care as a baby, but was adopted during her childhood. Her foster parents are also unknown in terms of legal documents, and only traces of them seem lost. That's fucking strange. I'm meeting lunch trying to calm down. Probably a good choice. That's a very fair judge. Fair much detected his life work while being known as the job. It was a passion for supporting the homeless that had given him this site status in the community family life. Had a loving wife who was currently pregnant with their first child. She is set to give birth in two months time and thinks his boss are being very supportive. He would have been able to take time off when the child is born. Then you shouldn't have been driving drunk. Uh... The first thing, the first thing that crossed my mind is that his boss being very supportive. That's his child. <laughs> it's the boss's kid. That's the first thing that crossed my mind. But he's dead now, so we ain't gonna worry about that. Back to Eric. 
technicians. Both of Eric's parents are alive and stand as his only living family. He has had partners before. However, none of them have gotten to the stage of staying with him for longer than half a year. Unfortunate. All right, Sarah, what about your family life? Damn, y'all let the French guy get to round three. <laughs> he hasn't done anything <laughs> worth dying for. Her, uh, her mother died when she was young after an event where Sarah and her parents were trapped in... Uh, I, sw I should be letting you read this. Go read that. Okay. I was like, I was like, all right, I guess he wants to read it. <laughs> um, I got locked died in. When she was young after an event where Sarah and her parents were trapped in a crashed car for 11 hours. However, this event, Sarah became very close with her father. Mmm. Okay, okay. Hmm. Mia? Mm hmm. Is it the teacher? Okay, maybe we get we well, can piece together something else from her family background. As a child, Mia was homeschooled by her mother, who was also a teacher. Before dedicating her life to Mia, her father became the main source of income through their family passing soon after Mia turned nineteen. Mm. Uh, she's a teacher, so she would have had to go to school. Maybe she was trying to pay off school. I don't know. River. Uh, drug manufacturer, right, right. Family life. Their relationship with their parents is not the best. However, River has made attempts to make amends with them to mix results. When they were 15, their older brother, whom they were very close with, tragically died. How? How did they track what you got? Mm, and then Kyrie. I think this one was you. Mm -hmm. Kyrie was known as a problem child in their school life. We already read that. It is known to be both of Kyrie's parents were physically and verbally abusive towards them, but they were not taken into foster care as the abuse was not known until after they became an adult. Well, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, actually. Um... Then if you were abused, like speaking of hypothetical personal experience if you were abused you shouldn't grow up to be an abuser you would think that but that happens more often than you think like i don't hate anybody or hypothetically i wouldn't hate anybody like, yeah it doesn't make any sense it, it doesn't make sense but i think the way that it, it works is that if you see that kind of stuff or you experience that kind of stuff you uh, adopt it you like you kind of adopt it. You go, this is the way that I'm supposed to handle my problems, even if it's not, even if it doesn't make logical sense. That's how they take it. Yeah, Samurai Turtles is right. Um, most people who are abusers are abused. Like most bullies are of the are people who have been bullied. That kind of thing. Uh, so everyone breaks the cycle. The bully thing I can understand because I was a bully and I was bullied a lot. But the abuser thing, I don't understand. I've never... Just because I was a bully does not mean I ever physically harm... Well, let me not say that. <coughs> I never... I never physically harmed anybody that didn't hit me first. Let me say that. Fair enough. I defended myself. Um, I don't feel strongly so, about any of these people. At all. Why... When you press escape to return, what happens? I think they just puts us back at the menu. I would like to have more information, but I don't know. Upset, gloomy, anxious. I don't know. Let me see the fourth person again, River. You want? See, they're just trying to. They're literally just trying to make it, though. That's not. Yeah. But that being said, drugs are still bad. Drugs are still bad, but like they they do what works, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel strongly about anybody. Uh, let's go with Eric because Samurai Tortoise doesn't want them. <laughs> doesn't want them here. All right, let's <laughs> do it. All 
Alright. Goodbye, Eric. Bye, Eric. Sorry, chat didn't want you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were on the cutting block this time. How's your computer doing, Luna? It's still not doing good, but I am getting ahead with Steam, though. I got I actually got logged in, so I'm super happy about that. Cool. We still got time, so there's a whole other case after this. Cool beans, cool beans. Day four. Shouldn't have been French. I don't know. I don't understand your vendetta against French people. All right, let's see what we what we missed out on. Accounts. Eric was on a financial aid to help support himself, but had been attempting to set up crowdfunding uh, campaigns to acquire additional funds so he could pay his bills before he lost his home. Damn. Look what you did, Samurai. How could you, Samurai? Look what you did. That was just so rude. <laughs> Premrod was a decently wealthy man, but had always made sure that they, that any unneeded money that he had went towards his family, friends, and several charity organizations for all types of causes. I'm going to assume that this will end in what Luna said the first time. Shouldn't have been uh, driving drunk. Yep. You had such a good life and you want to sit there and drink and drive. No, you could have waited. You could have waited. I have no hard feelings for killing you. Sorry. Ava has switched accounts several times along with paying for most things with cash, so her real financial situation remains largely a mystery. But it is estimated that she was in the lower class. Interesting. Alright. Alright, let's go to the first one. Alright, Sarah. Work with me. Sarah owns a financial situation that is decent with enough money to pay her own bills, but not much else, however. Her brother ended up on hard times with very little income, unable to support his family and three kids. That has nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with you. Your brother chose his own life. That has nothing to do with you. Sorry. Well, she might not feel that way. She, she... Brother chose his own life. Yeah, that as true as that is, that she might not feel that way. She's probably like, "That's my brother, and I gotta family gotta stick together." All right, Sarah's dead. <laughs> Damn. I have zero. I have zero sympathy when it comes to that. Damn. All right. Well, we know what's this <laughs> family like. It's like shit. Uh, as a teacher, as a, no, no, go for it. Go ahead. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, go, go for it. It's a, they're a female. Go for it. Uh, as a teacher, her salary is not very high. However, she was not known to have any sort of money issues until her mother passed away last year, where the debt she had wasn't passed on to her daughter. That's not true. That's not how debt works. Any debt, that's not how debt works. If you die, unless, unless it is to a physical being that is not owned by the government, your debt is forgiven. Because you're dead. So, unless it's, like, to the mafia or something like that, obviously your debt's not forgiven. It's going to be passed down. But if it's to an actual government, and she she's American, right? German. She's German. Oh. I don't know how German stuff works. But I know in America that stuff works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, well, let's see what about her. Yeah, this is the drug. Oh, they're non-binary. All right, so you read this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Due to the money generated from the manufacturing of drugs, River has never faced money issues, nor has any of their cl closest friends, and has and has ever even managed to afford holiday abroad once a year. Wait, what? Who is this? Yeah, drugs will get, drugs drugs will get you there. Yeah, I mean definitely. <laughs> drugs will get you there. All right, Artie. Arthur has... Uh, I to... What? I had to switch back over to this right quick. Give me a second. I'll wait on Lena for a quick second. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, Arth... I'm still here. Yeah. Arthur has always led a life in the, in the middle class. He is not 
suffered from money troubles, nor has he been in a position of great wealth. His job supplies enough income for his life and some luxuries. Okay, so pretty average in, in his accounts, at least. Uh, kidnapping. I forgot about yeah. this kidnapping. I should have went him. He's on my list. All right, so Arthur and Sarah both dead. Okay. Uh, and then this bitch too. You were reading this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make the minimum wage, so as such, they cannot afford such luxuries in their life, along with their ex-girlfriend leaving them with only one paycheck to pay for their apartment they are struggling to get by. Well, hold on. Go back. Who is this person? This is the person with the domestic abuse. I mean, she left you for a good reason. All right, kill him first, then Sarah, then uh, your guy. <laughs> <laughs> but Arthur is the one with the kidnapping. I think that's a little bit worse. Worse than being beaten every single day and then feeling sorry for yourself because, oh my gosh, I hate me to do it. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. Shut up. Yeah, but you they, did it, you know what you did, you know the, what you did was wrong. The person got yeah. out of that situation. The kidnapping, they're scarred. For, I mean, I guess they're both scarred for life. I don't know. I Still, kidnapping is higher on my list than domestic abuse. Not on mine. Been both. <laughs> it's not on mine. <laughs> uh, so, if you don't know anything about Luna, Luna will say some fucking outlandish shit that she's lived through and say it like it's like an everyday occurrence. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, My bad. Anybody, it's just I've been through it. I went to therapy, everything like that. It doesn't really bother me anymore. She she been through it. She can talk about it, all right? Um, we're gonna flip a coin for it, Arthur or Kyrie. I saw my wife is no problem. G <laughs> heads or tails. <laughs> uh, heads for Kari, tails for Arthur. Sure. It was Tails. Okay. All right. Bye, Arthur. Bye, Arthur. Bye, Arthur. Your meme is dead anyway. <laughs> okay. I like Samurai. We can get along. <laughs> Go ahead and show you our real quick. Appreciate it, appreciate you. Luna does not stream yet, but as soon as she gets her V2 model, she will start. And you can oh, probably yeah, see well, me well. over there bothering her all the time. <laughs> it won't be a bother. I like you. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we what we missing now. Eric, what you got? All of Eric's crimes... Why isn't this the first information we got? All of Eric's crimes related to one incident where he robbed a supermarket for food supplies, but was caught, and in his attempt to escape, ended up accidentally killing someone when stealing their car. Yeah, called it. I called that shit. Yeah. Well, Eric's dead, so... Oh, well. Too bad. Arthur. Uh, after his first adopted daughter died, aw, his other was forced to stay inside and was not allowed to attend school or see any friends. When one of his friend's parents attempted to rescue his daughter, they were assaulted. Well, I don't feel bad that you're fucking dead now. I really didn't feel bad now. Yeah, no. Yeah. But I can understand why he did it. He didn't want to lose another child. Uh... Where, where am I? What, what, what am I trying to say here? Um, understanding does not mean redemption. That's true. Never said that I forgave him. I'm just saying. You know? no, I'm, I'm saying for the audience. Yeah, no. You know, that this, this wasn't directed at you. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh, one night, the Paramount had a few drinks with friends and was unable to get a taxi back home. After attempting several times, he decided to take the risk of driving despite being under the influence. Nope. 
You should not. You should walk. You should do anything and everything you can. Just because you uh, was unable to the first time, you should still walk. You walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk. You walk until you become sober. Once you become sober, then you can probably hitch a ride with somebody because I know somebody somewhere is going to give you a ride. This must have been so, like, no. before Uber was a thing. <laughs> But I also would have yeah. probably tried to get tried to keep getting a taxi. Like, come on. Thanks, because taxis run twenty four hours a day. Yeah. Um, unless it's Naruto, then it doesn't matter how many children you experimented on. Orochimaru is no one's favorite character. <laughs> sure. All right, this is the murder one. Is so with of her foster father's sister. Oh my. When the attempted murder was being was being on her foster father due to her refusal to answer most questions, the exact reasoning for these crimes remains unknown. Who is this? <laughs> this was the first degree Who murder person. Hey beast. Hey beast, how, how you doing, babe? Uh, so you you alright? I'm kinda curious now. Yeah. I'm well, I'm, I, I want to know, like, what was the reason? What was the reason? I told you they went theory. What was the reason? <laughs> uh, Kyrie was caught by their ex-girlfriend after stealing items from supermarkets uh, many times, but when confronted about it while drunk, it was... Re oh. Okay, now I read that right. When confronted about it while drunk, it was reported that they hit her across the face, which is, uh, which is the incident that made her leave them. Yes. Yes, this is correct. Yeah. Okay, so you're dead. Bye. Um. Do we have Sarah's? I don't remember Sarah's. I don't think we chose any any of the other ones yet. We just read all the people who were dead. Gotcha. I'm binary. You read. They run a drug ring in a large city, being placed in charge after their brother. Damn. The original leader died tragically. Due to this, they ha uh, there has been infighting on if River even deserves to be the one in control. Mm. Well, they got caught, so the answer to that question is no. <laughs> As, uh, while her burning house... Okay, here it is. While her burning house... While her house burning down was intentionally ruled an accident, I called it. I called it. After crime stealing from her homes, which led to one of the residents catching her, the house looked into again and was ruled deliberate for insurance fraud. I freaking called it. I called it. I stated that that's what happened. Well, I also stated she was a science teacher. So she was. What was she stealing? I don't know. Uh, Deborah, she had then passed on to her daughter. Maybe that's what she was doing, because she did have debt. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Just gotta throw it out there, I called. Someone better pick up that phone, because I fucking called it. Uh, in about five minutes, y'all gonna get hit with ads. In a desperate attempt to gain more money for her brother, she resorted... You should have read this, but it's fine. She resorted to extorting it out uh, of her clients in small amounts over time and sending the extra money directly to her brother's family. I see. I mean, when you start reading, I'm not going to sit there and interrupt you. You know what I'm saying? That's rude. <laughs> I wanted... To, like I said, I apologize in advance because uh, I am going to interrupt you. It's not. I'm not doing it out of disrespect. It's just, if I don't tell you what my thought is, I will forget. No, yeah. that's understandable. 100%. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with Kyrie dying. Yeah, bye Kyrie. I didn't All like right, you in Kingdom Hearts last... anyway. Hard. These last three are going to be really hard for me. Yeah. No, they're not. Sarah needs to die. The last <laughs> two are going to be... <laughs> I don't think what she was doing was all that bad. No, it's not bad. I just don't like her. No, oh, well. I have no respect for people who wants to sit there and state, Oh, I'm gonna go broke because my family is. What? That's not what is no. happening. Her, her brother was going break, broke because she wanted to help him. 
you want it to hell. And visit him. Or he can visit you and want to have something to eat. He can go into the refrigerator. He's your brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there, are, saying there, that there are a lot of o- them... other options you could have done. You're, you're, you're right. You got you cut out there. What? That's your hard working money. No. <laughs> that should never, never happen. All right, let's see here. Prick, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. Confession. Yes, I did it, but I never meant to kill him. I just got scared of being caught and wanted to scare him off so I can get away before any police arrived at the, st- at the store, but then he got hit. All right. That was the manslaughter one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's just keep going in order. This is the one that's Sounds important. Good. Sarah? Yep. All right, let me see. Redemption time. Let me see. I only wanted to take enough money to get him back on his feet. I thought that taking small amounts at a time that no one would really care, but please, it's not his fault, and he had no idea about it. He's not the one that we're about to kill. It's you, baby. (laughs) (laughs) You shouldn't have helped him. Not like that. You should give him small amounts of what you earned, not something... That is taken. You shouldn't take for other people. What the frig is wrong with you? He's a grown man. He has kids. If he didn't know how to figure that out himself, he shouldn't have had sex. Point blank in the story. Uh, I mean, that's harsh, but that's true. Harsh uh, or not. Uh, yeah, you don't know how to do it by the horns or reins or whatever you want to call it. And you want to sit there and say, oh, we should feel sorry for this person because they don't really know what they're doing. No. Screw that. You should have known what you were doing when you were doing it. Think of your actions before you do them. Like I said, harsh but true. Um, this one's still, this one's you, I think. Yeah. It was entirely me. I work alone in my crimes with the only intention to get money so that I could not be so poor anymore. I don't know if that's okay to say on your thing. I don't give a fuck. Um, okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor anymore. I figured I deserved it with all the work I had to put over the years. So, this is the crime lord? No, this is the teacher. Wait, can you go back to that? Because I read it, and none of it, like, registered. It was entirely me. It was entirely me. I worked alone in my crimes with the only intention to get money so that I could not be sitting for anymore. I figured I deserved it without I, I have all respect for this person. Hmm. I had I have a hundred percent respect for this person. So they just didn't want to be fucking poor no more. Yeah, basically. And homegirl was trying to help her brother. And River, River's probably about to die. I think. Oh no 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 no! This is I thought I was thinking about Kyrie. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. What I did, I am truly sorry for. I did not want to go into this type of stuff, but I made a promise that if anything ever happened to my brother, that I would take over and be in charge of the entire operation. They didn't even want this then. Damn. Damn. Bye, Sarah. You know, but the thing okay is, I, I, I would, I would get rid of Mia though. Like, I respect, even even if it is their brother's fault for getting in that situation in the first place, I respect Sarah for trying to help out her brother. Mia is just selfish. She... Why? Wait, 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 go back to Mia. Mia was the one, she was like, I didn't want to be fucking poor anymore. Burglary. Whoa, wait, wait, go back. Arson, burglary, and insurance fraud? Yeah, but she did it to herself, though. Yeah, but, Yeah. She didn't help anybody else. She wasn't helping anybody else. What she did was for her own, of her own volition. I have to respect her for that. You're trying to grind. You're trying to do what you can do because you don't know how to do it. And you ain't smart enough to do it. I get that. Well, she it's Even not that she you're... didn't. She didn't have to do it. She didn't have to do any of this. She was completely fine. She just didn't want to be fucking poor. I mean, I understand it, but like, I don't know. This I I, I respect Sarah more than I respect yeah. Mia. Go back to the last one, River. River River just didn't... She was just in the situation. She didn't want to be here in the first place. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a drug manufacturer. Rick, I don't want to die. Yeah, I, I agree. don't want you to die. Like, well, I okay, well then it doesn't that. matter. It, yeah, we, we both agree that River should not die. Both me and Sarah are dying. We got that. All right, let's go. Continue. <laughs> we'll do Sarah first because you you were saying Sarah from the get go. <laughs> right. As soon as I read that third one, I was like, nope, bye, Sarah. If she said she was doing it for herself, I would respect her a lot more than her saying, "Well, I got in jail because of my brother." <laughs> Put this on him. You did this yourself because you were stupid and you couldn't find out another way to help him. Well, she did say so he didn't know nothing about it. Yeah, she did. She did. I mean, at the at the very least, she tried to make sure her brother was protected when she got caught. That's nice. But you did now. <laughs> X. How'd I protect you? It didn't. That's like saying, okay, yeah, I would jump in front of a, a bullet for somebody. Yeah, okay, sure. That don't mean I want to die for them. That's a whole different thing. Right. Jumping in front of a bullet and dying for them is two totally different things. Yeah. Um, jumping in front of a bullet means miss your vital organs, right? <laughs> they can even grace you or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to be shot in the head for this person. I'm like, no. You got me messed up thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... We already know Mia's dying, but we still gonna look at everything. Um, Facts. Eric, his talents as a technician were known by his competitors to ensure that he couldn't take business from them. They spread rumors about him to prevent him from getting any clients. Damn. That's fucked up. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's fucked up, though. <laughs> and Oh, sorry. Sarah's boss was fully aware that she was doing uh, what she was doing and took a bribe to keep his silence. However, when he knew the heat was on, he was one to reveal the secret to the police in exchange for how not being in charge. Thank you. Thank you. This is why you should. This is exactly why. Do not help your family like that. Not unless it's your kids. Don't do it. Just don't do it. And even if it's your kids, if they put themselves in the situation, nah. Don't do it. Not if it's gonna get you broke. Oh, I passed it. My bad. Okay. There you go. Alright. The debt received from her mother was minimal and and the house was fire. And the house fire. Oh my gosh, I can't read. The de Let me re just restart. The debt received from her mother was minimal and the house fire was actually accidental one of her students was the true culprit behind the burglaries she got caught on purpose so they didn't go to jail damn yep you did bye damn nope. don't put your life on the line for somebody else damn don't do it. i mean i still she's still gonna die but damn yeah. ah, that's a lot did it you shouldn't have did it because what do you think that they're gonna do that's like, a lot. Oh, well, she's dead because of me now, and uh, well, I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do because I have no consequences for it. Well, no, well, let, let, let's be let's be clear about this, right? Let's be clear about this. These are none of these cases, except for maybe the the first degree murder, deserve death. Like, and maybe the manslaughter. You might have the case for manslaughter, but that was an accident. None of these none of these mm -hmm. crimes are death worthy. I don't think. I keep doing that. Um, jail time? Absolutely. Death? I don't think so. Um, this one's you, right? I don't remember. I'll read it anyway. The police were aware of River's brother uh, when he was alive due to him paying them off. Once he stopped, the police killed him. When the police were unable to extract bribes from River, they arrested him. Wait, what? Damn! The police so this is the, this is the drug kid. So... The brother was the was the was the the kingpin of the drug ring, right? Yeah. Um, the brother was alive and was paying the cops off. He stopped paying the cops off, and then the police killed him, which caused River to take over. See, this this is exactly why I don't want him dying. Like he's literally just trying to make it, and the people who are supposed to protect you Aren't. is hurting you and it's not helping you. Yeah. So yeah, no, I, I never wanted River to die. Yeah. So I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm glad cool with River living. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one is this one? 
Uh, oh, this is the guy. Uh, yeah, this is the drink to the drinking guy. Um, yeah. It was known that Arthur's sister was fully aware that the child was being held uh, in the house and chose not to say anything. Oh no, this is the this is the kidnapping dude. Her, oh. it, her involvement was cut uh, as it did not fit well with the story that news station wanted to sell. That didn't change anything. That motherfucker's still dying. Hi, Bite. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, this is the judge. The yeah, yeah this is to be a gangster. Uh, yeah, the judge mm. too. Uh, I like playing COD Mobile now. They added back classic zombies. Nice. One night, uh, prime. No, this is the counts. I want the off the record. The story of drunk driving was a cover-up to hide the fact that Primera had a mother and child of four years old when driving that night. Their existence was erased so that he could keep his status as helper to all. Damn! Alright, now I don't feel bad. I told you. I told you. I, told you. I stated there is nothing, and I mean nothing good from people who are drunk driving. I stated this. I freaking stated this. I called that out. Nope. <laughs> I'm glad he's dead. Bye. Damn! No, I don't, I don't feel bad. Alright. Told you. Bye. Mm, Murderer. Yeah, this, That's what he is. This is the murder one, which I definitely don't feel bad about. Uh, after being nope. adopted, her legal name was changed to Eva Ava Lars. Uh, she was kept prisoner in her home for many years, and then one attempt to, to get help was met with her foster dad's sister covering up her existence. She was trying to free Damn. herself. Uh, okay, I do kind of feel bad. The, okay, so this there. is connected. This is the one that was... This is connected. This is the one, the... Yep. Yeah. I told you they were connected. You didn't freaking believe me. Freaking, freaking. I said it was the exception. Yeah, I, I didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was happy. I'm glad I was right about this. <laughs> you are so wrong about which one was connected. But, that damn... That's true. But, I did say it was connected. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I feel bad that you're dead, but you still committed murder. So, uh, above all, you still did it. Like, I feel bad, but not really. Yeah, like, I mean, and anybody would have done that in that situation, but like, eh. And their ex-girlfriend made up with the made up the entire story of abuse. She saw out, she saw an out to get media coverage and attention from getting people to trust her over her abusive partner, and ended up granting her uh, a lot of fame. Damn, they didn't even do anything? Wow. They didn't even do anything. Wow. <sighs> okay, I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Damn, sorry. they didn't even do anything. Let me room, if you don't mind. What happened? Observation. Let me see what they're, they're thinking. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking. Now. I was thinking about that too. Dehydrated. Dehydrated. Disgusting. Well, you ain't got to worry about being dehydrated because you' about to die. Yeah, you' about to have like a throat full of blood in just a second. Just yeah. Give me a. <laughs> That's crazy, though. Kyrie didn't even do nothing for real. Damn. What y'all think? <laughs> well, what, Chad, what y'all think? You have chosen which subject you wanted to live. Yep, we have. That is a thing that we have yeah, done. We have. Hundred percent. Do you feel that you've made the right choice? I don't really feel bad about my choice. Yeah, I do. Would you go back and do it again? I mean, I'd go back and save what's his nope. face, but like, I'm not. I don't feel bad that River's still alive. That's a, that nope, was a good choice. I do not feel bad. Yep. Fortunately, that is impossible. Do we? Do we not get well, to play the game again? Question? Do we not get to play a game again? What do you mean? 
decisions made decisions. of the ones you must live with. Huh? Okay. I'm fine with that. But there's more work that must be done. We do have a second case. Alright. Let's hear it. Another set of subjects awaits you. Let me get some fucking music in here, bro. It's quiet as fuck. <laughs> like, it's like, doo doo doo. -doo, -doo. <laughs> <laughs> chill, bro, chill. Uh, how's your computer doing, Lona? Well, so far, it has to re download Tekken because of the. I told you I wiped my computer and I did everything. It's now in 6%, so. Damn, alright. We're good. Another t another set of t of t subjects awaits you. Hey, yep. I want to ask you something. Yep. So, right um, after we read all of the cases, either if they're dead or alive or whatever, mm -hmm. um, let's look back at the observation room. I want to see what they what they're doing. Okay. No, oh, here's the second case. What the fuck is this? I want to see that one. <laughs> Name, fuck Male. you. Male, 39. Nationality, fuck you. 5'10", 140 pounds. June 13th, be negative. Their crimes aren't even listed. Hmm. It has five letters. He's French. So I feel like that he's gonna be one of the last ones to die since wait wait, go to the observation room. Now I'm curious on what he's thinking. Yeah, yeah. Very last one. Frustrated. Huh. Well, let's see. Frightened, horrified, anxious, hurt, numb, awful, hurt. I'm curious about the numb one now. Alright, let's go in order. Alright. Mary Maricia Maja, Linda Malia. Ronnie Todd, Sky Fiend, Fiend Agnes Fiend, the year they're related. Um, Ryan Silen? That's a dumbass name. Yazin Hazel. <laughs> Dang, you were ready to execute one. <laughs> you like, that's a dumb thing. Execute them. <laughs> no, I was trying to see if I could go from the from the top and like it go back up, but it just didn't work. Um, <laughs> you were like, no. This is female. Dead. This is female. All right. Mauricia Maja, female, 61, Polish, 4 foot, t dang you, short. Tiny. 101, from September 30th, oh, 20 years. Hello, September 30th, I like you, I like you. Telemarketing fraud, wire fraud, I like you, you're not gonna die. Telemarketing All right. fraud, I don't even know what that entails. Telemarketing fraud, uh, you wire into the telemarketing system, uh, hack into their database, um, and um, you can actually, you know, put their money into your system. You can also, uh, there's another form of telemarketing uh, where you call up people and you do these little scams like the car insurance scams and everything like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it depends on what kind. There's like six different types of telemarketers. Okay. One's like Wall Street, like stuff like that, you know. Got you. All right. Mm -hmm. Female, 39, Italian, five foot three. Why is everybody short? I like, don't know. Do they just I have not? no idea. <laughs> Uh, 139 pounds, April 7th, sex work, and prostitution, and second degree murder. I like them, they're living. Yeah. <coughs> Wait, hold on, this say second degree murder, they probably was killing the pimp. Yep, no, I like them, they're living. <laughs> fact, fact, they're trying to, you know, make the money, I understand that. Ronnie Todd, male, 33, British, 5 foot 7, okay, they're the same height as me, nice. 28 pounds, March 25th, O positive, prison officer, why does the blood type matter? Prison officer, extortion, money laundering. I don't know, I probably just the factual um, evidence. I mean, that I can understand. If you're a prison officer, I can understand both of these crimes. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so far there's no one that's, like, clearly worse. Yeah. Uh, Skyfian, non binary, 46, Dutch, 5'9. This person, this is a tall. I mean, I assume by the name that they started off female before they went non binary. This is a tall person. Um. 159 pounds, May 1st. Architect stalking and vandalism. 
152 pounds, not 159. <laughs> what did I say? I said 159. Interesting. Uh, yeah, you said 159. You looked up. <laughs> uh, um, stalking doesn't make stalking. sense so far. Vandalism makes perfect sense if they were an architect. Uh, okay, let me make a scenario for the architect right quick. Let me just call it out. All right, right? all right, all right. Let, 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 let's do this. I mean, they are a tall person, 150 pounds. They're skinny for a tall person. So let's let's let's, let's break this down right quick. You're 46 years old, right? Right. Probably single. You know, you're just not coming out as non-binary. You're stalking the person that you actually like, and you vandalize their home because you want to make sure that you either have their scent on you, or you want to have something of their personal possession so that way you feel closest to them. However, that they caught you, either by camera or by some other thing. So what you're saying okay. is that they're on some psychopath shit. Basically, yeah, but they don't want to kill this person. They just want to. Yeah, be they want their them. they want their attention. Got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Agnes. Oh, these these people are related. Uh, female, forty six. Dutch, uh, five foot nine, hundred twenty six pounds. May first. A B nurse. No crimes. Why are you here? Why are you? What? Why are you here? You don't have any crimes. Why are you, you even here? here you have any crimes. Why are you here? What person? What? what, what um, five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Huh. Why are you here? One, two, three, four, five. Anxious. Anxious. Anxious for what? Well, you weren't being anxious. If you... Anxious for what? Why are you here? That's what I'm trying to find out. What the fuck? Maybe it was vandalism of a project that got removed from. That would make sense too. And they were stalking the person who, who did it, did, did them in. Are y'all twins? That might make sense. I mean, yeah. Brian Silen, still a dumb name. Non-binary, eighty-eight. Welsh. That like that's like that's a name that's like you called your child Oswald Oswald. Like get the fuck out of here. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Bro, bro, you lived a good life. Uh, <laughs> like you, you're good. You're dead. Bye. Hundred forty-eight <laughs> July eighth. Tired identity though. You 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 wanted to be here. Yeah. You wanted to be here. Yeah, you was like one last good one before I go out. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, as in Hazal. Male twelve. Turkish four seven. Yeah, it makes sense. He's fucking twelve. Hundred and four, September twenty yeah. first. Hey, that's uh the day before my dad's birthday. B uh B plus student cyberbullying truancy. Why are you here? There were like three people that I'm confused on why they're here. I'd be anxious if I had no crime and was in a room waiting to get executed. You know what? Fair enough, Samurai. <laughs> Fair fucking enough. There are there are several people who have no reason to be here, but Brian, right? Brian? Yeah, Brian, he's dead. All right, fuck Brian. I understand now why you went straight to execution. Okay. He lived a good life. <laughs> fuck Bye, Brian. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Brian. Your name is stupid anyway. That's tough. <laughs> mm. Yeah, th this one's way more interesting than the first set of people because what the fuck? Why half of these people have no reason to be here? Actually, before that, before that, before that, before that, let's see what let's see what Brian had going on, all right? All right, all right, all right. Brian lived a lot of their life unhappy and having to keep their true self a secret due to oh. fear of being hurt by their own family. At 35 years of age, they came to terms with who they truly were and could start living their life. If they did, they wouldn't be. All right. Why did you do identity theft? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Exactly. 
Well, congratulations on fighting yourself at 35 now, but... Yep. You dead now. Yeah. Right. She's dead. She's 61. She lived a good life. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> September 30th or not, mm, you lived a good life. Mirza lived a fairly quiet life growing up as she lived with her father and two siblings. Very small town, but had a great liking towards technology. Computers has been a lot of time around them. What did she do? She was a telemarketer. Oh, well, no, okay, I don't want you dead. Basically, all that that. said is that she knew what she was doing. That's basically all that said. Yeah, that's just basically saying, okay, I had 40 plus years of, you know, knowing what I was doing. I just messed up one particular time and got caught. Yeah. So does a 12-year-old certainly get it next? I'm going to try to keep them alive because I don't know why they're here. Right, the sex worker. Yeah. All right, let's see. Linda wanted to go to, into the sex. Why is your stuff blurry? The sex industry after training. I don't know what that says. Training 21. something and training twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. And uh, and pursued that career choice until she owned her bus- owned own business and managed several people under the model of keeping sex sex workers safe and harm free. So, so that she- means somebody tried to harm one of her girls. And she was responsible for one of her girls, and uh, since she was responsible, she's uh, responsible for the second degree murder because she was either knew about it and was uh, just hiding it from the police, or they found out that she knew about it and it was a part of their, like, in her household. Yeah, I like Linda. Yeah, Linda and the first one and the second one are cool. Yeah. But one of them gonna have to die because this child should not be here. And then the other person literally did nothing. So, um, yeah, physically safe that they did nothing. Yeah, extort money laundering. All right. Unlike uh, an unlike unliked person, a uh, prison officer who is known to not treat the inmates with the best care, but there is a small group of the inmates that seem to always have his back and won't let anything bad happen to him. That's odd. Okay, so... That's odd. Go, 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 go back right quick. Go back. Unlike the prison officer is known to not treat the inmates with the best care, but there is still a small group of the inmates that seem to always have his back and won't let anything bad happen. So, he's just trying to make his life in prison because that, I mean, they're just his family. Okay. That's I didn't kill any of these people. Yeah. yeah. Ryan said, I'm good with everybody else. Yeah, like, the fucking... <laughs> Like I'm, I'm honestly, I'm good with everybody else. Um, stalking. I mean, you know, everybody's got stalkers. It's fine. <laughs> you, I can, you can tell what kind of life she lived. She was just like, I mean, I mean, fuck, whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I mean, this is this is basically what stalkers do. They get super obsessed, and either they try to kill you, or they try to take some of your stuff, or they come right behind you. They cut your hair. They, you know, take it. They. You know, try to take pictures of you. They try to, you know, make your life a living daylight in hell. And, and then they find out that you're not at all shy. And then they're like, okay, they kind of get bored of you afterwards. If you just show them that you don't care. And uh, sometimes they'll either kidnap you or they'll um, just do a lot of things. Try to go to the police if you can. If not, uh eh. Where are you from? Know. What'd you say? Because you cut out. Oh, sorry. The United States. You know where I'm from. Well, don't say it on stream, but you know where I'm from. <laughs> you know, uh, I didn't realize you were born there or not. I, just, I knew know you were from, though. See, this is why I own a gun. This is why I, I don't have a problem with gun rights, but I do want people to know how to use a goddamn gun. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Once I got old enough, I owned my own, and I still own my own, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is, baby. Agnes lives in a big city and is well loved nurse who is known to take care of her patients no matter what. She is sometimes known to go too far and make her boss mad by giving unnecessary help. She's weird. Some I, I feel like something's going on here when Agnes hey, and Sky hey, are hey, flipped. Hey, hey, go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back to Agnes. That the what? She's the nurse and she's done nothing, but she's here somehow. And it states. 
she she cares for her patients, but sometimes she gets on she gives unnecessary help. <laughs> That's bait. It's definitely bait. There's there's no way. I feel like I feel like. But the question is, what kind of bait is this? Because it, it, they're here, but they've done nothing. So, did they actually do nothing, or is there some kind of like twist in the plot? There's, there's no way they did nothing, and they're here. They did nothing. No, there's just no way. Yeah. Okay. I want the nurse to die. Okay. Um, That's just me personally, though. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, Yazin has. I vote for the older lady. Yazin has always been a troublemaker in his school and is a well-known bully to multiple students, online and offline. His parents take little notice towards what he does and choose to ignore it. So he's a little shit, and since his parents aren't going to do anything, he, they're, they're, it's not going to fix it. Hmm. Do we get any information on you? They used to live. Yes, what happened? Let's go. We got a little bit of information. <laughs> used to live a life of crime, but has since moved on from it and wants to leave it all behind. He did. This is a this is a hitman. I'm calling it right now. This is a hitman. He did all that uh, he could to ensure that no one would know his true identity, as doing so would ruin his new life. This is a it's hitman. not a hitman. It's not a hitman or and or an assassin. That's a mm. hitman. Mm. Hitman or witness protection? That's a hitman. Um, yeah, witness protection thing I was gonna say. Stitched on mob bosses, probably. Well, what was what was dude's name from fucking Mafia One? What was it Tommy? Todd? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um. So we'll be seeking the telemarketer, or who else? Uh, not the telemarketer, Agnes. I want Agnes to die. Oh yeah, I'm okay. I feel like Sky is here because of Agnes. I okay. feel like Sky is here because of Agnes. To be honest with you. Yeah, something's weird's going on with that. I'm okay with Agnes dying. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go with Agnes. And while this happens, I'll run an ad so you don't have to worry on anything. <laughs> oh, mm. man. This is much more interesting than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be like, okay, well, we're going to go through these cases and then it's going to be like a jump scare probably or something like that. Yeah. This is, this is like some psychology type stuff. Like, for all right, real. what will we do? We're like judging this. But here's, a, okay, for the people who are watching this, Here's the thing. No, you should never ever judge people in real life. But this is a game. Nobody's actually dying. We're just killing off people because we need to let off some steam. So, <laughs> <get over it>. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're literally gonna beat each other up after this. It's not. It's not serious. Um, Nay. Okay, I do. We gonna go. We gonna go right to action. Emotional damage. That is correct, beast. Emotional damage. <laughs> Emotional damage. <clears throat> this is completely 100% real all the time, sure. She grew up with her twin. Yep, twin. Yep, called it. This guy who is a very well known architect in the same city. The siblings had a very close relationship and met up regularly for lunch together, hanging out on the weekends to discuss their lives. Yep, I'm, I do not feel bad she's dead. Yeah. What about you, Brian? No. Okay. Their family did like Brian and got uh, uh get, got on well with them, but that was the only that was only due to staying quiet and not revealing that they were in fact non-binary, and they got too used to being silent and not giving away anything that a way that they were mute. The what? Si they were mute? They were they were unable to speak? Yeah, I think that's what I'm understanding. They got so used to being silent as to not give anything away that they were mute. So in order to not give anything away, they just didn't talk ever. Mm. 
so at least up until they were 35 at the at, at least they just didn't say anything that's crazy all right mate uh tell america that lady all right once she turned 19 she moved hello she moved out of her family's home and she was uh, lost contact with her father, but she tried to stay in contact with her siblings until she was 24, when a falling out unrelated of her, to her crimes took place. Okay. They, they didn't really tell us anything? No, they didn't tell us anything. It just tells us that her family's pissed off that they didn't keep in contact. Yeah. Sex worker Linda? Alright. Sex worker Linda. She has a very good relationship with her family. They are supportive of her decision, except for her aunt, who insists that what she's doing is against the decency of what someone should be doing. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no. Like, no. Shut up. I don't like that. All right, Ronnie. He was raised by his older cousins and uh, very spoiled in his childhood. Ronnie wanted to make a name for himself and while living in his uh, with his cousins to to this day he insists that he is not the spoiled brat that he once was what what are you what are you why are you here extortion money laundering this is an officer this is the prison officer you live with your cousins okay he's dying well what what gave you what put you at that conclusion i'm i'm not against it but what put you there brat Fair enough. <laughs> uh, let's see. The girl with the twin sister Agnes, who lives as a nurse in the same city as Sky. The siblings have a very close relationship, meeting up regularly for lunch together and hanging out on the weekends to discuss their lives. Uh, yes, his parents are very wealthy, but still make time for their son. They went on multiple trips a year and let their son stay home whenever he so wishes. It was also reported that Yezin has a sister. So, two brats. You can kill them both. Alright, let's see what X says. He currently has no family, as leaving them behind was a big step for distancing himself. This is witness protection, then. Himself from his past life. Because a hitman would not have a family. Mm-mm. Uh, felt bad about doing so, but knew it was, it was for their own sake. He needed to be away from anything that connected to him. Uh, yeah, let's go with Ronnie. Let me see, let me Whoa, see. Oh, wait, Hey. Her. Why are you hurt? No. No? Is it, this is the kid, right? <gasps> He's a psychopath. Alright. Set. Or a psychopath. For me, dehydrated. Concerned. Alright. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the kid's a, a psychopath. So he's probably gonna die eventually anyway. Um... Yeah, let's go with Ronnie for right now. One of those two. You can pick. I don't care which one. Yeah, Both I'm, of them need to they, die. They, yeah, the kid's probably next. <sighs> so far, I still really like these people, though. Yeah, like, like no one's done anything egregious. Good. Yeah. I mainly like the first two and the last one. If I'm being completely honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the witness protected dude and the uh, the sex worker and the and the uh, telemarketer lady. Yeah. Let's be honest; they're just trying to get by. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with Ronnie then. What we got? As a prisoner, prison officer, his pay was decent, but he did seem to have more money than he should have, which is what led to an investigation being performed to see where his extra money had been coming from. You stupid motherfucker! You was getting you was getting extra money from like whatever you was doing, and then was showing it off in at your job. That's dumb as fuck. You deserve that. Uh, 
You deserved it. Yep. You deserved it. I'm glad that you said. <laughs> you think I deserved it. You wanna read this? Yep. As soon as it loads. Okay. Aunt and what did I say? Agnes. Aunt? Agnes, sorry. <laughs> and this guy, uh, sharing an account. It what included. included the income that from both of their paychecks and collectively they had a good amount of money each year they went on a holiday several times to see their elderly parents back home mm. Mm -hmm. brian you want to see what brian said yeah i was confused what we were doing <laughs> okay cool cool cool, cool. Uh... all right so exact money situation was unknown as they had several accounts containing low amounts of money but due to the crime this committed it was suspe suspected that they had secret offshore funds being held somewhere. Makes sense. Broski, are you serious? Yeah. No, I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> okay. Her money situation is quite dire, which is what allowed her to get the job at the telemarketing scam business. She, however, has said that she feels awful for any harm that she has caused. She didn't cause harm to anybody. She was doing. She was. She first was off. Right first off, I don't I know mean, about how y'all had no telemarketer calls, but I do not answer a number that I do not know. So if they answered the if they answered the phone, I don't feel bad for you. We're here to talk about your car's extended warranty. I actually got a call like that. I actually got a call like, like that. I was like, I don't have a car. And then they hung up. <laughs> then they hung up. What you got, Linda? Linda is uh, fairly wealthy and made sure all of her employees are well paid uh, and accounted for. If any of them come to her in need of more money, she is known to very likely help them out and provide it. Whoa, wait, wait, so go back. Go back real quick. Go back. Second degree murder. Yeah, I was right. Somebody messed with one of her girls. Yeah. And yeah. And they paid the. Yeah, and they paid the so, fucking price. Yeah. I like her. Yeah. I like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Sky. What's up? I feel like Sky just got put in a bad situation because Agnes. Sky and Agnes. Sky and Agnes. Uh, uh, should kind Agnes. of includes from. In. What? Reading! It includes the income from both of their paychecks and collectively they have a good amount of money. They, okay, no, it's just the same thing they said before. Alright, the child. Alright, child. His parents are very... His parents are very rich and such. He doesn't have a... He has to like, show off his wealth to his peers and those online with uh, an online blog talking about how great his life is. I fucking hate this case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck this case. <laughs> he has no this reason. This kid sucks. Like, you want to die, bro. Like, you, you literally want to die. <laughs> the money that X takes in this bank account of love, enough to live a decent life for quite some time without a need of any sort of support job. All of his money came from his previous life. Yeah, he, he's definitely either Secret Service, like, of some sort. Observation. Let's see how they're. Let's see how they're. Well, wait, don't go to execution. Well, wait, don't go to execution. I, I was ready to hit the kill switch, baby. I know. <laughs> what is? I know you're like yeah, and yeah, you gotta die. <laughs> enraged. Enraged. Why are you Why enraged? Why are you enraged? Confused. Okay. Okay. Sick. Sick. Crying. Well, I mean, you're a kid, so you're about to die. I mean, you know. Ha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Desperate. Desperate. Yeah. You make sense. Aha! Uh -huh. I think we all, like, collectively decided that the fucking Secret Service dude is gonna live. Yeah. <laughs> like, you honestly. Like I think they're sick because, uh, we just killed their win, so. Uh. Yeah, fuck him. Kill! Kill! Extermination! 
Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you sure? Yes. Are you for real you're sure? Fuck this kid! Sure kill him! Want to murder this <laughs> like, kill him already! <laughs> what did Michael Jordan say? Fuck them kids? Fuck them kids! Thanks. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the dead dudes have to say. What you what you talk what you talking about? What you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. From the age of ten, several people made reports about Yes and making very harsh comments online to uh to multiple people. He also did uh, this consistently on weekdays when he chose not to go to school. Fuck this kid. This kid sucks. Thanks. Let me just go up so I won't get confused because I will. O'Brien took someone's identity at the age of 35 and then pretended to be them until they died. The police on the case couldn't understand the exact reason behind it since their life seemed to have nothing wrong with it. Okay. You live long enough, though. I don't feel bad about your death. You were 88. You got away with it for eight for largely 50 years. You're all right. You're, you, you got away with like, it. Yeah, you got away with it for a long, long if time. Someone had to, if someone had to die, I don't feel bad that it was you. Mm -mm. And your stupid name. <laughs> Agnes. I had not committed any crimes that was not aware of the crimes that Sky had committed until the day that they were arrested. It was reported that Sky was arrested at Agnes' house. The police have been following them. No, no, Agnes is actually the one who committed those crimes, and Sky was the one who took the fall. Let's be honest. Some some Let's fuckies happen with these kids. Some some fuckies happen. Yeah. Um, Ronnie. Twenty one. Oh, this is the prison officer. All right, all right. One of his duties at the prison was handling money, and from that money, he constantly changing numbers to make it look like everything was in order. When in fact, he was being sent to his bank account. Bro, this is this this dude is just dumb. I don't feel sympathy for stupid people. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Mauricia, Mar Mauricia, sorry, has scammed upwards of 100 people for the total of $450,000 from people at uh, age of 65 and up. However, she receives very little about the amount, as most of it goes to her higher ups in the scam. Uh, uh, so why would you? Why would you do it then? Uh, she probably wasn't okay, making money Sky. anywhere else. Sky, and then Mary is. Doing all right, well, works for me. Uh, one of her employees was being harassed. Yep, harassed a lot by one customer, and she stepped in. However, after the employee came in crying for unknown reasons, she found and killed the man who had ever been harassing her. Yeah, no. Good for her. Yeah. Good for her. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. I do not want her dying. I yeah. don't want her dying. Yeah. I'm waiting for that for that last one that gives the twist, though. Thanks. Because I doubt that's very straightforward. They were caught watching their neighbor after they became obsessed with the idea that she had murdered her wife. The e What? Wait, who is this? Sky. Okay, so go go back and reread that? What? I'm so... Now I'm really confused. They were caught watching their neighbor after they became obsessed with the idea that she had murdered her wife. They even went as far as to cover their neighbor's walls with graffiti, calling her a murderer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bet money, it wasn't even them at all. It was actually her twin. Bet money it was her twin. Yeah, no, I said that from the jump. I it was the twin the whole time. That's why I was okay with her fucking dying. Oh. That's fucked up that you let that you let that shit happen to your sister. 
All right, Executioner, man. What you got? The blank that... <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> That's what that says right there. Something happened. The something that the something something around his something something caused many issues for the resident something something. He made something 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 with the something and then something 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 all went when they something 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 something. Bitch, something Yay. happened. <laughs> <laughs> something happened, nigga. <laughs> we don't know what. We can't tell you, but something happened. All right. I think. Uh, Guys, all right. Um, I kind of don't want to kill them as of yet, so kill Maja, and I'll be right back. My mom's calling me right quick. I want to see what she wants. All right, all right. Give it to us. I don't know, man. It sounds like you having third thoughts. I don't know, bro. Ugh. Ah, how you doing, Strickland? Oh, man. You had just finished today's work? Nice. What time is it there for you? Already on the line art stage for my new art work? Nice, nice. Almost 1 a.m.? Alright, that's not that bad. You've been up later. Alright, um... Luna's gone, so I'm probably gonna, I'm, we're gonna go ahead and read this, and we'll catch her up in a second. Uh, also, finally got commission. Nice. Gotta turn a tank into a waifu, like as you're like. <laughs> well, what kind of tank? Do you know? Confession. You know. Uh, that I cannot say the true reasons behind what I've been doing, but any pain and suffering I've caused will be held close to my heart for the rest of my life and beyond. Alright, well, I mean, you did do it, so whatever. Alright. In my business, I will always make sure that my workers are okay, and if that means I have to kill someone to let them be happy within their work, then I will do as many times as I need to. Yeah, no, I respect that. I respect that. She, she that was she. Lynn is a stand-up fucking boss. Well, extreme. She should have just called the fucking police. But stand-up boss. Uh, I would send an image. Would have uh, would have to ask for the name. Got you. Fair enough. All right, Ronnie, what you got? Hold on one second. Uh, okay. All right, cool. Um, okay, I admit it, but I want to explain myself to you. The money I was taking from the person I had been giving to the families of several inmates who I found were innocent. I couldn't let them suffer like that. Alright, so what happened? A lot of stuff happened. I still don't feel bad for this police officer, dude. He's stupid. He's stupid. So, we're on the police officer one right now. His confession yeah. is, I admit it, I did take the money. I But I was giving the money to, to people in the... in the, uh, I was giving my money to people who I found innocent. I couldn't just see them suffer like that. But you had the books looking like you were like everything was fine and you still got caught? I do not feel bad that you died. Thanks. Bruh. If you had the books, you had the inside trading system that these things there's these people actually Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. I I have no sympathy no sympathy for you. Linda so the... what about Mar Mauricio? Uh, she said Maybe. I did it and I feel bad. Basically, if you want to, get, I can give you the particulars. But she basically said, "I did it. and I feel bad." 
You know that I cannot say for the true reasons behind what uh, what I've been doing, but any pain and suffering I have caused will be held close to my heart for the rest of my life and beyond. I did it and I feel bad. Linda said, she's the sex worker, she said, I did it and I do it again, bitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll do it. You yeah, know yeah, I, mean? I did it, I'd do it again. I, <laughs> I like Linda. Uh, all right, Scott, let's see. All right, you want to take that? Yeah. I am confessing to the crimes you have said, and there is nothing I can say to make myself seem more innocent, and I choose to, to not say anything of the sort either, except this as the truth. She took the fall like for said, her sister. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, all right. I'm okay. I'm okay with the, the other person dying. Got it. I don't want to say that Sky did, but they have given me no choice. I wanted them to live a happy life, but they would have chosen their path. They have chosen their path, and I will honor their wishes for what has happened. Yeah, no, she... Oh, wow! Yeah, that's crazy. Wow! That's crazy. You have... You are a son of a... Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Like, if, if they were both for real innocent, you, you don't, you don't, you don't snitch on your sisters. You just don't. Uh, we don't do that. They wrote, sorry, that's all I have to say. I just wanted to live my life, and I didn't feel like another option was available to me. I had to escape that life, and when I saw the opportunity, I took it. You were old. You were old. That's all, that's all there is to it. You were old. You got away with it for a long time. You got it. <laughs> this is the kid. What can I do? This is the so kid. So what? What I? What I can do? I can do what I want. I can do what I want. Okay. What? So what? I can do what I want. Okay. I read that so wrong. So what? I can do what I want. If they didn't want me to say that stuff, then they shouldn't have been easy for me. Next time, maybe grow up here and not be such a wince. I don't know. Just get a grip. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm uh, this is what we call a shit kid. Yeah. This is Kuno. I'm not Luna. I'm not gonna tell you who Kuno is. Uh, no, this isn't Kuno. This is that other kid. I don't remember what her fucking name was. I'm not going to tell you who these people are because I want you to play that game. Which game? Uh, the game is called Disco Elysium. Bet. Um, this is the Hitman, dude. I don't know how you managed to track me down or how you found out the details of my previous life. Please let me give you some information in exchange to let me go back to my life away from it all. Please. Oh, yeah. He's definitely yeah. Secret Service. He's definitely Secret Service. There's, yeah. there's no... Yeah, yeah. That was that. That's a witness protection shit. Who we killing? Sky. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you wanna you wanna look at him or not? Yeah. Right. He's sad. Uh, yeah. No, he's staying alive. Upset. Upset. Furious. Furious. Yeah, furious. I'd be furious too. I'm I'd be furious too. I ain't gonna front. Now right, goodbye, Sky. This is Sky. You won't see the sky ever again. X. How old is X? Uh, I will, we'll see in a second. I think it did tell us his age. That was like a musical decision. What do you mean, by... Y'all gonna get hit with ads in about four minutes. How's your computer doing, Lena? Uh, let me see. It's on 15%. <laughs> the game downloading? Yeah. <laughs> game is the slowest game. Besides 
Fortnite, it is the slowest game I've ever downloaded. Oh wow. Uh, that's not we not. I don't think that's we're, we're gonna get to attack it today. Because we're almost done with this, and that sounds like it's gonna take like another several hours. Do you think you can get Master Duel fast enough? Master Duel should already be on there. Yeah, it should. Yeah, it should be already be on there. Okay, let me just do that instead then. All right, I'm sorry. It's all good. It's not your fault. Um. All right, yeah. let's just go down the line. Yeah. yeah, I literally even plugged in my Ethernet. Like, it's not even on the Wi-Fi. It's on the Ethernet. Or I was thinking that it was faster. Or we could play that other uh, visual novel that I was telling you about. Visual novel. Ooh. Wait. Do Do I do? I don't have to download anything, right? No, I can just screen share. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Cool. All right. All right, so we were going to play Tekken, but that, that's tomorrow anyway. Y'all be all right. <laughs> Y'all be all right. Uh, do you have any... Are you scheduled with anyone tomorrow? Uh, yeah. I have to text Beast. I'll, I'll, I'll send you my schedule. Cause, yeah. <laughs> it's fine if you want. I was just, yeah. I was just saying, especially because it's a Saturday, somebody probably got you. But on the off chance. Um, I... Uh... I can try to see if I can get you in like midday, but I don't know when. I, I don't know my schedule. Beast, <laughs> Beast is here. It, it, did she have anything tomorrow, Beast? Uh, off the record, Mauricia was deep uh, undercover agent for the anti scam organization. What? She had no choice but to actually take money from people in order to get closer to the heads of the scam to bring down from the inside. Why was she here? Ed. Ed, bro. Bro. Where was the people I protecting her? Person. Where was the cop? She, she should not have been she, here. She should not have Why been in here. here. Why was she here? Whoever was protecting her sucks. Like, this is yeah, why like, you should the, work for... Yeah, like, whoever, no, whoever no, was protecting no. her was not doing... It was not doing their job. Exactly. She should. That's not on us. But that's. I don't feel bad for that. That's not on us. She shouldn't have been that in here. But man, that's mad. I'm so like I'm mad now. Like why? Why what was the she fuck? Why was she in here? That's. Mm, I don't want her to die. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't want her to die. <laughs> uh, off the only thing. I'm sorry. You want to read? Uh, I mean, I'll read this one. While uh, only being caught for her most recent killing, she's actually killed several men before in the name of making sure her workers are, so, are safe and not being harassed in any way. I feel like anybody who didn't pay up, she said, yep, you're harassing them, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I have mixed feelings on that because on one hand, men can be pretty aggressive. On the other hand, uh, like you kind of chose this profession, so yeah. I don't know. I'm mixed on that one, but for the most part, she was looking out for her pe for her people, and I respect that. I respect that too. However, you are still a murderer. Mm. I still X to no end, so I'm still saying X is good. Oh shit! God damn it! All right, let me read this one. Yeah. Um. While not completely untrue, his confessions was not correct with where all the money was going. Some of it was going to families, apparently innocent inmates. Most of it went to, towards his personal account. Yeah. Well, yeah. I still don't yeah. feel bad. Yeah. I, I still don't feel bad. Hmm. I, Sky swap lies. Sky did not commit any crimes. I, I knew it. I knew it! I said this from the get-go! We both said this from the get-go. This, this, this shit was weird. Facts, so that she should continue to help people in hospitals as they know an amazing nurse she is for the people. Nah, nope. I'm glad we killed her. Yeah. I'm glad we killed both of them, but I'm glad we killed Agnes first. <laughs> he was like, nah, that's not right. She's in here for nothing? Fuck that. You ain't not in here for nothing, bro. Well, yeah, like... Bro, you not in not here for nothing. Come on now. Come on now. God, I keep doing that. Okay. Uh, Agnes is guy swap laws. Got it. I can make mirrors. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. No, says the same thing. That's fine. Okay. 
they did not have any information that was kept secret, and as such, the data before this supplies their entire life story. The confession was true, and the data on them was completely correct. Um, I mean, you were still you were still old. Okay, so the only collab I have tomorrow is at 2 o'clock with Meowser. Um, do you want to do something like around... Let's see. Let's see, I got something going on from 4 to 8. You got, are you are you good at 9 p.m. or no? I'm fine at 9 p.m. I don't know how... Good at yeah, I'm fine at 9 p.m. I don't know how pudgy is... Uh, cause she, she's gonna be later in the day anyway, so you might not get to play with Pudgy, but I can do that. You can do that? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Um, no, I can definitely do, uh, 9, 9 p.m., if that's okay. Yeah, that works for me. 9 your time, or my, 9 my time? Uh, 9 central. Okay, maybe that's 10 my time. Yeah, I can do that. No, no problem. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. If, if not, I to see if I can bubble it up, like, an hour earlier, but I can't do more than an hour. That's fine. I don't, I'm full cool. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go to sleep at 6 a.m. and then wake up at 10. I'm cool. I can do that. You're like, I'm a okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'll be all right. You're already set in bed. Thank you, Beast. Um, his bullying and cyberbullying had directly led to three people to commit suicide. Definitely don't care about this child. Two of the victims were of similar age to Yazin, and the other being his younger sister. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Is bullying and cyberbullying are directly led to three people who commit suicide to the victims who have similar ages? Speaking of Pudgy, hello, Pudgy! Hey, Pudge! Thank you for the raid, Pudge. Uh, so, Thank Pudgy, we, we, here's the deal. Uh, because computers. What? Com what? I, I was bass backwards there. I was literally about to say because computers, Luna's fucked up. Because Luna's computer is fucked up. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because Luna's computer is fucked up, we won't be able to play Tekken tonight. We're still on for tomorrow, and Luna can play uh, a lot later, uh, around 9 o'clock her time, 10 o'clock my time. Um, I think that'll be around like an hour before the time we ended yesterday on Amy's stream. So if you want to hang out, we can just do a later... Uh, a later Tekken stream if you want to hang out with everybody. If not, it doesn't make it doesn't make a difference to me. It's all good. All good. Cool. Okay. Which means I get to play Bayonetta early in the morning. Okay. His real net. Well, do we get to know about what he did? Hold on. We get to do all of his stuff. No, it's still redacted. All right. Alright, it's still redacted. Anyway, his real name is Owen Davin, brother of River Davin. He's faked his death in order to... Oh! Oh, no! ...left to deal with all the stuff... Yo! Yo! You know, you know... What? Yo! Wait, 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 wait. Confession, I don't know how you managed to track me down and how you managed to find me. Please. His real name is Owen Davis, brother of Davis. Which is the person we saved last time. Leave his drug empire behind, even if it may meant that his sibling would be left to deal with all the stuff that he was leaving behind. Holy. Wow. Wow. Bro, you just lost all my respect. You, you didn't even. Well, we can still kill him. Grab a stick and twist it! Bite, why? We can still kill him. That's crazy, bro. Bro, I, at the very end of the day, we can at least say Linda was looking out for people. Facts. But we can't say that. I mean, all right. Let's roll back for a minute. In the beginning of the stream, mm. uh, when we started playing this game, right. I said, yes, everybody should look out for themselves and don't put yourself in a situation with your family or anything like that and helping them. Yes, you did but say that. But that's not helping you. You ran an empire, bro. You could have made so much more money and that right there and you want to sit there and have an out and fake your own death and leave your brother to handle everything else like 
You like, bro? I don't know why you keep, you keep what? you keep trying to make River a dude. <laughs> River was not binary. Brother in the back by saying, "Here, you deal with it. I'm not finna deal with this. You just being lazy at that point. You nah. No, no, the homeboy pushed out. That's what happened there. He was like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Uh, no, he really just went, no, 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 we can still. Uh, at the I'm, very I'm, end of the day, Linda was at least protecting somebody. She uh, may have went overboard, but she was still protecting somebody. Mauricia shouldn't even been here in the first place, so I don't even feel bad that Mar she's dead. Mauricia got a bad deal of a deck. I mean, if Mauricia... She shouldn't went, even been in here. No, she shouldn't have been there at all. She shouldn't have been there in the beginning at all. There's, there's, no, there's no way she should have been there. Ronnie's just a dumbass. Sky and Agnes, y'all had that coming. And then, I mean, I feel bad for you, but she was old, so you was getting it. And then you are actually a psychopath. So, I mean, I don't feel bad about none of these decisions. I don't feel about none of them because, like, you, you, you no. Nah. No. You, you don't, mm. DDs, DDs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did Pudgy say? Because I didn't get to read her chat. Oh, she just said it's cool. Okay. I don't know what Thank time. Specific I don't. I don't know what time she specifically wants to start, but yeah, it'll be. It will be all right. Raw Paul Bear hugs Pudge. I appreciate you. No. No. <laughs> well done on making it this far. There is now one more choice you must make. All right, what's the choice? Yeah, we're talking about tomorrow. Depending on your previous choices, you would decide okay. if you live or die, bitch. Oh, if it's between me and somebody else, you dying, sorry. Like, I'm not finna die for nobody. <laughs> That's just, no. It might be the easiest for the Mizzy's were the hardest choice. Good luck. Do I die for killing all these people? Is that the choice? Well, what is it, Freaky Freak? Final day. I don't know why this is giving me anxiety. Well, don't let it give you anxiety. These ain't real people. Remember Davin? Oh, do we have to choose between River and the other person? Probably. What happened to River? I completely forgot. River, okay, for, first off. River was the person uh, that got put, they thrust the drug ring onto. Remember? River did what? So the the uh, the dude who we were just talking about that we thought was the that was like a hitman or whatever. He left. We left their 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 sibling to deal with the drug ring. That was River. River was the person that they left. Damn, that's tough. So he had a bad, you know. They did They I mean, literally just had a bad deck. I mean, he's gonna be dead anyways if you're gonna continue running a drug empire by yourself because that is hard to do. So yes, but Linda actually killed people. I mean, yeah, but she was protected people. Yeah, but R River is also not that old. Linda is fucking how old? 39? 39. I think River's still a kid. Old? Yeah, 22. This, ain't, this is not a choice for me. Mm. Yeah, Lin Linda's... Because you... I want Linda to live, and you, you... want River to live. I like. I want both of them to live, but if it's between River and Linda, I'm going with Linda. So we we we. Oh, we should let Chat decide. That'll be fun. Let's do that. Oh yeah. Chat, y'all y'all trying to decide? Yeah, we'll do it, Paul. Hold on, let me see. Can I do this? Yeah, let's do it. Landy, are you here? I wish Congress was here. Why? Because Congress is, uh, I ask Congress to mod for me every once in a while, but they aren't. Because they're never here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I know nothing. It's fine. All you got to do is start a poll and type in, uh, River, uh, or River, or Linda. This will be a blind choice. We'll go over the information to everybody. 
We'll go over, over the information for everybody, all right? One, one time for the one time, all right? So, we have to choose which person to kill. It has to be someone. We can, there's no getting out of this. River. River David. River is non-binary. They're 22. Irish. 5 foot 8. 136 pounds. Born January 4th. They're a freelancer. The crime that they were uh, convicted of was drug manufacturing and drug possession. River is known by the police and has evaded them for multiple years. While they stated their life of crime as a while well, they started their life as uh, a crime as a teenager, they continue to supply drugs to their hometown to this day. Their relationship with their parents is not the best. However, River has made attempts to make amends, uh, amends with them to mixed results. When they were 15, their older brother, whom they were very close with, tragically died. Due to money generated uh, from manufacturing of drugs, River has never faced money issues, nor has any of their closest friends has even managed to afford holidays abroad once a year. They run a drug ring in a large city, being placed in charge after their brother, the original leader, died tragically. Due to this, they, uh, there has been infighting on if River even deserves to be the one in control. Her confession is, what I did, I am truly sorry for. I did not want to go into this type of stuff, but I made a promise that if anything ever happened to my brother, that I would take over and be in charge of the entire operation. What was not put on the record is that the police were aware of River's brother when he was alive uh, to him, due to him paying them off. Once he stopped, the police killed him. When the police were unable to extract the bribes from River, they arrested them. All right, that's River. You gonna you want to go ahead and read, uh, Linda? Yep. Okay. Oh, and there. By the way, X was their brother, and he basically backstabbed him. Yeah, but he's dead. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah. All right, Linda. Basically. All right. So she's female, thirty-nine, Italian, five foot three, hundred thirty-nine pounds. Uh, was born on April second. B positive, sex worker, prostitution, to, and uh, second degree murder was her crimes. Uh, April seventh, but that's not really important. So. What'd you say? You said second, not seventh. It's not important. Keep reading. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Linda wanted to go into the sex industry after turning 21 and pursued that career of her choice until she owned her own business and she managed several people under the modeling, under the model of keeping sex workers safe and harm free. She has a very good relationship with her family and they are supportive of her decision except for her aunt who is insistent that what she is doing is against decency and not what someone should be doing. Basically, her aunt is a Karen. <laughs> we, we switched. Linda is fairly wealthy. Yeah, I know. I was waiting for it to load. Ah. Linda is fairly wealthy and made sure all of her employees are well paid and uh, accounted for and if any of them is uh, any of them come to her all in need of more money she is known to very likely help them out and provide it uh, one of her employees was being harassed by one uh, a customer and she stepped in however the employee came in crying for unknown reasons she found and killed the man who had been harassing her In my business, I will always make sure that my workers are okay, and if that means I have to kill someone to let them be happy with their work, then I will do as I will do it as many times as I need to. While only being caught for her most recent killing, she actually killed several before her in the name of making sure her workers are safe and not being harassed in any way. So, I like her. Yeah, I, I like really her too. Like her. I like her too. But if it's between, in my opinion, and this is simply due for two reasons, in my opinion. Linda has killed several people and is older than uh and older than River. Now, you I mean, she was protecting someone, right? And she was te protecting a lot of people, but she still killed people. River has not done anything except taken responsibility that she didn't want to accept in the first place. And she, River's 22. Uh you want to make your case? All right. What? Uh, what was your dude's name? River. 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 What? What? The one river. The reason why I'd want him to die instead of Linda is because what he's doing is something that. Uh. By the way, did you start a poll? No, we're we're ready to get give them the information. Then we'll give them a poll. 
Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. So the reason why I want River to die is because they're they're going to die anyways. They're they're a part of a drugging system that is not going to land them in a safe place in the future anyways and they're going to come back to the same hole right whereas linda was specifically protecting someone and if she comes back they can trial her for double jeopardy which means that she can't be charged for the same crime twice even if it's for the same person i mean for a different person it's the same crime she can't be charged for the same crime twice and she is protecting her girls from being harmed in any way right where River is just giving out drugs to people. Like, you're giving out an addiction and harming people in that way. She's doing a quick fix. He's doing a slow death. There's a huge difference between, you know, getting a bad set of hand or whatever and actually making somebody addicted to you and being shot in that way than being in a controlled situation where you and your brother both are dead. So it's fine. Damn you, that was you a convincing ass case. <laughs> That was a convincing ass case. I kind of want to vote for Linda now. <laughs> um, Landy, go ahead and uh, start the poll. Linda or River? That was a convincing ass case. Damn. You were an accountant, not a lawyer? Um, I promised my mother I wouldn't become a lawyer. Fair enough. That's so. a lot of school. Um, no, not because of that. Uh,. <laughs> So we are choosing who to kill? Yes. Who dies? I was about to say Linda, but Luna changed my mind. Yeah, Luna changed my fucking mind, and I was the one who made the case. <laughs> Literally just learned how to do a poll a few seconds ago. I could do a poll, but I keep forgetting to add it to my quick actions and my OBS, so like every time I need to, it's never there. And I don't do it often enough for me to remember how to do it. Even though I should, because drunk salty bet, but whatever. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Usually drunk salty bet, I'm too fucking drunk to fucking do it. <laughs> so, um, did they already start a poll? Yeah, the poll's going. Gone. The poll is going. Going. Oh, sorry. I was like, gone? What do you mean, gone? <laughs> My bad. So cry me a river. That's not the right song. That's not. Wait. I mixed that up with with Mirror. Same person, though. But to be... To... <sighs> there isn't... I understand why you would want River to live. Yeah, she's a she's kid, not... but like, no. When when you made when you put it that way, she still she Linda is protecting people. Uh, River yeah. just got dealt a bad hand, but like, she didn't have to take the acceptability. She still technically does it. People don't want her to be in that yeah. position of power anyway. Own death too, like you know what I mean. Yeah, River River dies hundred <laughs> percent. What was the poll? <laughs> What was the poll result? River dies 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see people in chat. I love you. <laughs> uh, CJ, thanks you for bringing friends. Ah, uh, Mitsumi with love the raid. You. you came just in time for fucking murder. Yeah! You hey, came you just know. in time for murder. Thanks for the rain. <laughs> Doodle! How you doing, Doodle? Hey, Doodle. Did I hear murder? You did! We just killed a 22-year-old drug lord. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Appreciate it. Oh, my you. goodness. Uh, That's... <laughs> no, like, your case was convincing as fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's not just convincing, it's true. If this happened in real life, this is how it was gonna this is how it would go down. <laughs> Drugs, oh my god, I'm in heaven in here. Hey, did y'all know that the follow button is free? If you're watching this on YouTube, did you know the like button and the subscribe button is free? <laughs> That's true. Also, if you want to follow MP for more content, 
please, please, please go check him out on YouTube, Discord, and Twitch. He is hilarious. He is literally a comedian of his own right. He will absolutely make you laugh. And he has a bunch of people on his channel, too, that you might be interested in, such as Naomi, Pudgy, Amy Lark, and myself. So please, please go check all of these people out. Give him a follow if you also want to be a part of the community. He is more than welcoming and also hilarious. I couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, because I wouldn't have probably said any of that. <laughs> uh, it never said what drugs. That's true. CJ, you are not able to join the voice chat because this today is me and Luna's day. However, I will get you in for one something specifically. Um... Yeah, one of these days I'll get you in for something specifically. You'll, we'll, we'll hang out. We'll hang out. Next, you'll feel need to, next time you feel the need to execute someone. No matter from what they might take. from when, No matter what form they, that might take. I don't feel bad for killing any of these people. <laughs> Knowledge is power. Knowledge, Knowledge is power. power. Because if I had all the information there, I wouldn't have killed uh, the telemarketer girl. You wouldn't have murdered who? The telemarketer girl? Because she shouldn't have been in that situation to begin with. I would have probably still murdered her because, like, if even if I knew that information, I would have still went that order that I went through. Because you should have had better people. You should have looked better, more up into your job format. You knew what you were getting yourself into. So... Yeah, but, I don't know. I kind of feel bad, because she didn't really do anything. She didn't. And she it... didn't. It's just the people who were supposed to protect her didn't. Yeah. And that's why I wanted the person who was the protector to live. Yeah. Because she said, no matter what, my girls are going to get paid. My girls are going to be protected. And yeah. ain't and nobody going to touch nobody surrounding my circle. And that's something that I truly, truly respect. No, I respect the fuck out of that. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean... That's true. <laughs> The, the problem is that we can only choose one to live. That's the problem here. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and change games. I think we're going to take a quick break because we're going to be doing a lot of reading and I need tea for that. Um, uh, I think it's going to take me about five minutes. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick five-minute break. Um We'll be changing games to... Actually, let me look. I think... What is it called? Where is it? I think we're changing to Find Love or Die Trying. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to play instead. Uh, play after this. So, yeah. Uh, we will be right back. Give me one second. Boop. Ugh. It's tea time! Tea time! I can't believe that was 100% in chat. That was hilarious. Wait, can you all still hear me or no? Hello? Oh, you can still hear me? Cool! Nice! Alright, so I can like, I can just talk to y'all. Well, we're waiting. That's awesome. Alright, Q&A time! What's up, Doodle? What's up, Mid? What's up, CJ? Landy and Bite. Bite, you're here. I did not know you were here. Hi, Bite. <laughs> Try Christmas as the start of November. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't want the Thanksgiving song that they played on the Adam Family Values. I mean, eat me. 
that's what we say on turkey day we do eat me <laughs> like, like that's not really a, an appropriate song for people <laughs> I hear again. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm ready for Christmas music on the radio. Uh, I'm ready for it in December. I wonder if anybody's going to make a Thanksgiving song. Come again? Come, come what again? You, you said come again. You want me to like t- tell you what the, the song is? Why Christmas? I don't know. That's something you're gonna have to ask Landy. I told you I don't play any Christmas music in December. From December first all the way up until Christmas, it is nothing but Christmas. I don't want to wait until. I hate it. Family issues, bro. I feel it. I feel it. But, like, listen, though. Once you put, like, your own... Well, uh, I don't know if everybody here is, like, like celebrates Christmas or doesn't celebrate Christmas. Just, like, having a tree or whatever. If you're Jewish, happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. I don't know what y'all want to celebrate during December. But whatever you celebrate during December, happy that. So... I love Christmas time, so hey, yo, yo, you know what I mean? Happy that. Shut up, dude. Um, I love Christmas time, so yeah, I mean, hey, yo, you love Christmas? Let it, let it be. I mean, I'll sing the Christmas songs with you if you want me to. 100%. But I'm just saying, in, in, from like around me, like what I do personally, yeah, I don't, I don't play any Christmas songs until Christmas. I'm back. Welcome back, Mint. Deactivating seat warmer. Alright. Alright, who who's got who's got questions? Yay! Hey <laughs> bees. <laughs> Hey, when you have a moment after stream, then I wanted to tell you about something. Okay. There's my question. What's your question? Yeet? Yeet is your question? I'm not going to freaking look at it. What is my least favorite drink? My least favorite drink? Oh, freak. Like an actual drink or the drink that I have drunk before and that should not have gone together? What do you think about the political and economical state of the world? The political state of the world is nothing but a bunch of liars coming together and trying to say that they're the voice of the people and they don't really do anything for us besides raising their taxes and also uh, ALC. What's ALC? Anyways, um, do or do you not drink? Oh, you're talking about alcoholic drinks. Oh, okay, okay. Um, economical state of the world, I think a lot of people are out job right now, and I think that they, got, like, people need to be more open into bringing people in, even if they're small, um, and just getting people to, like, pay to get back. Uh, so I think economical state of the world is increasing by a lot, because there's just a lot more people being bored and a lot more people that we need to pay for, and the people who are rich are going to stay rich because they're not going to give away their money like that. Um, alcoholic drinks. I used to drink alcohol a lot. Um, I don't anymore. Unless, like, somebody throws a party and then I'll have one for, uh, courtesy. Because they, you know, made it. You'll do it for courtesy. Um, but when I did drink, my favorite alcoholic drink was this drink called, uh, Ball. It is a peanut butter whiskey. Absolutely delicious. Reese's. I love it. Reese's, however y'all want to say it. Uh, you two have fun. I'm going to bed, so good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Drop all bear hugs. Or, I guess since Enfy's a dragon, Rob, all dragon hugs.
Anything with peanut butter in the name is good. Facts. Facts. So factual. Any, any, uh, to me, me who? Alright, and besides that, um, uh, there is another alcoholic drink that I've tried. It's called, what was it? Sunset? Sunset something, I couldn't remember. But it kind of tasted like, um, oh, the peanut butter whiskey, by the way, is a straight whiskey for anybody who don't know. I like, um, the sunset is a kind of a mixed drink. Does anybody have any more questions? But, um, oh, what kind of tea does everybody like? Since we got tea on the screen, I might as well ask that. I'm not really, I'm not really too parched or particular on the chamomile tea. Um, it just kind of tastes a little bit better to me. I don't really like the green tea with honey. Oh, nice. Let's go. Gonna make me going to get some when I reach the whiskey peanut butter style. Yeah, it's called screwball. So this is this is what tea sucks to me. Why does tea suck to you, beast? Um, uh, it's called O K R E W. Uh, chai tea? Oh, chai tea is so good. Uh, I'm not really big on tea. I mean, I feel it. Ah. I feel it. I like, like a bunch of sugar. I okay. just don't like the taste. I mean, I feel that. Oh, we're um, talking about we're talking about all kinds of tea. <laughs> I yeah. was over here rushing and shit. I forgot you're on here actually talking to chat and shit. I mean, yeah. I didn't want them to just sit there in silence. So I was like, let me go ahead and just talk to them. Yeah, no, Which I almost that. like, yeah, no problem. No problem. Which almost just like blast me around here. What, no, 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 no. I usually, blast. usually oh. like leaving people alone is like how you fucking lose viewers. So I'm actually glad you were, were here. Um, I apologize for everybody in like two seconds if this is loud. I haven't set this game up. Uh, usually before stream, I set up the game to make sure it's not like loud, but like. You know, uh, if it is, I apologize for your eardrums. Really adds come back when he's chasing back. Uh, <laughs> yup, yup, it's loud. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Jesus Christ. That's better. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> I was probably going to dip at some point because I was in the middle of playing this game. This game specifically? Interesting. All right. Let me give visual to Luna. Gracias, gracias. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Nice, nice. All right, hold on. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit more. Oh, I actually have this game on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, I told you to download it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, let me go ahead and open it up. This is going to be going, this is going to be downloaded from the background anyways. Let me just go ahead and open this up right quick. You don't have to. I mean, I, give, I literally give you a visual. We'll be on point. Oh, so, like, it's not a two-person game or anything like that? No. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. Hydrate, I just got the tea. Alright, guys. We have a full hour of uninterrupted ads, so everybody should be cool. Um no. Alright, we I don't think there's anything we gotta worry about. I gotta change my stream title though. Going on. Give me one second. Oh wait, 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 wait. Ah. 
just make sure. Um, I'm gonna do something for you that I should have done a long time ago, so give me a second. All right, now we're good to go. Yo, you want to learn how to do a fucking infinite? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for uh, gifting Beast a sub. No, 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 no. I don't want it just to be Beast. Give me a second. Oh, 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 okay. Give me a second. Uh, I didn't actually get to finish correctly brewing my team. So, while you do that, I will finish. You want to learn how to do a fucking infinite? Hey, Bite, you got one. CJ, you got one. Thank you for the five gift subs. Well, technically six, but thank you. Yo, you want to learn how to do a fucking infinite? I would like to learn how to do a fucking infinite. I still haven't done that. I haven't learned how to do that. One of these days. Yo, you want to learn how to do a fucking infinite? <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna hear that for a second. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go straight. Yo, you wanna learn how to do a fucking infinite? I heard no. I had nothing you just said. One more time. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> I'm gonna get off of your actual stream and go back on. Yo, you wanna learn how to do a okay. fucking infinite? Okay. okay. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get started for real, for real. Y'all ready? Ready, Butler of a Datron. Let's go. Let's do this. Episode one, Pirate. <sighs> mm, you can take that one. I think there's two people. Luna. Luna! No, don't just lie there. Get up. There you are. Uh, five more just minutes. Five more... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're the star of the show. You just can't sleep. Sorry, you can't just sleep through it. Game? It, is it not? Game? Hello? Like, Dad? Hi. Is it not? Like, it's blank on, on my Oh, end. okay. No, okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> what is happening? Did I break it already? No, no. She's making faces now. What are you... What is happening? What are you doing? What? Did I break it already? We just started. God damn it. <laughs> Landy, is this right? Is this wrong? I think this is wrong. It's been two seconds. Did I break it already? Oh, good lord. This, is, I, this isn't right. Something's wrong. I believe you borked it. Fuck! God damn it. <laughs> Well, if you guys are new here, this is a trend. I happen to break everything I touch. Um, God fucking damn it. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're stuck looking at a hot lady. Yeah, there are worse things. Ooh, facts. All right. Let's try again. Hey, don't just okay. Yeah, no, we're just gonna it's skip blank. it. We already, we already read it. Please, Dad. Dad, please, come on, sir, please, please. Oh, oh, I know what happened. 
I understand what happened. Wow. So usually the space bar in these games um, allows you to like forward, like move forward. It doesn't do that in this game. It hides the menu. Like, it doesn't do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got it. We're good. Everything's fine. All right. Uh, watch me. Oh, so that's how you want to play. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ow. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Oh, if I'm gonna look like that, I gotta go into my voice. My voice. <laughs> Ow, did you just fucking hit me? Damn. Nah, I just got here. I just chased off the person who did hit you. Really? You should be thanking me. I'm pretty sure that shit was you. Just <laughs> with the look on your... Ah! Damn it, now we're right back where we started. Ow! Rise and shine, sleepyhead. What the fuck? Wait, didn't this just happen? Wait. Of course not. There's no way I'd hit you twice. Anyway, what's your name again? Oh, my name is... I FORGOT MY NAME! Wait, what? I swear I didn't even hit you that hard. So you did hit me! That's not important. Just try to remember. Alright, Mitsumi. Uh, come with your book. Or reading, or whatever you're doing. Alright, Mitt. Rob Hopper hugs. Bye! Bye! If you can't remember anything, we're both going to be in big trouble. Why's that? What do you think, doofus? We can't talk about... We can talk about why after. Now, what is your name? It's... Alright. Uh... Give me a rapper. Give you a rapper? Tech 9, obviously. Okay, that's the first time we've actually used Tech 9. Despite... <laughs> uh... His name is Aaron, so we're gonna go with Aaron. Aaron Dantes Yates. My right, pronoun is. Uh, let's he go with... obviously. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. that. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Bet, 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 bet. My name is Aaron. Can't remember anything else though. Wow, I should try hitting my account sometime. <laughs> so, do you remember where we are? What you're doing here? No, I don't don't remember anything. Everything's really foggy. All right, I can give you the rundown. You're on a reality TV show called Fine Love or Die Trying. Though we can just call it Fine Love for the Uninformed. Why does the character actually sound like Luna? Obviously, she's that's why. I'm the producer. Name's Cat. The premise that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women, and one of them is your soulmate. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's reality TV. Uh, I haven't met, I haven't even met them yet. How would they know one of them is my fucking soulmate? That's just how it is. Welcome to reality TV. <laughs> You'll get to know the two girl, two of the girls in the next six days over three dates with each of them. On the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you on the final ceremony. Why? That, it's seven days, bro? That seems right. pretty straightforward enough to me, I guess. Not so fast, partner. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move us both so we're not in directly in the way of the thingy. There we go. All right. Cool, cool. 
The girl you choose will be given a choice whether or not that they accept your proposal. Oh, God damn it! I did it again. It's okay. If she says yes, the two, the, uh, you two will go into, will get to fade off into the sunset in a gold-plated yacht on the last day. Why? I'd rather break down the yacht and get the gold and have the right? money myself. Right? Right? <laughs> have you ever asked her back? I'm like, I'm good with the raft. You can give me the gold itself. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm, I mean, we can we can take the yacht, get a divorce, and just go our separate ways. Shit. If you I ain't no punk, holla, we want a prenup. You ha happily ever after forever, except without the yacht. Except without the yacht. It's a loner. A loner? Excuse me? No, nah, if I'm going to be fading out to the sunset, y'all ain't never going to see me again. For real. If she's... No. Well, we're just going to have to kill you. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Um, Yeah, I don't remember signing a contract. You're joking, right? <laughs> no, that's the reaction I wanted to see. The fuck? Really? You look like you just took a shit in your cereal. Oh, that's not what that said. What's going on? Who the fuck are you? Oh, where are my manners? The name's Damien. Damien Black. I'm the CEO of the Royal Black Media, the biggest network for Battle Royale games on the planet. Battle Royale games? Like, computer games? Like, Fortnite? You've been living under a rock, you stink-ass... What? <laughs> You've been living under a uh, rock, stink-ass armpit. What a what an odd line. What were you about to say? Oh, me? I'm just... I'm, just, I'm like, mm. You kinda cute? Alright, we know what type Doodle likes. Thanks, he kind of cute. Yeah. yeah, well. I was about to joke if game gets really me. crazy when you realize this show is run by Morpheus. Like. <laughs> 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 Real people killing each other in is in this situ is in this season is in this season. God, what? Well, was in this season. I swear, I put in hard and honest work into the making top-of-the-line killing shows, and what do I get for it? So we're trying uh, this new kind of killing game. We kind of ripped off Danganronpa, spicing a little more romance on top of the people who fart dreams and bake cakes out of the rainbows. That's where you come in, and hey, it's not a bad deal. You might find love, or die, or some shit. Just put in a good show for me, yeah? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Black. When is it one? We're missing, uh, one of the aerial cameras in the backfields. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Give him hell, Kit Kat! You don't need to tell me twice. Uh, thanks for the lurk, Doodle. Appreciate it, Doodle. Prop up your hugs. Well, I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but I'm just gonna take my leave exit stage left. For starters, I can barely remember my own name, let alone if I already have a partner or not. If that's what you're worried about, you didn't. <laughs> and not for a lack of trying. Yikes. How the fuck would you know that? Uh, look. You don't have a choice, so be a good little boy and sit there. Damien, will you kill you? <laughs> Damien will kill you if you try to escape or even tell any girls about the truth behind the show. Okay? If they don't decide to date me, I die any either way. So like, I don't lose anything. <laughs> <laughs> the, the girls don't know. They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's a regular dating show about finding your soulmate called Find Love. Why would we tell them? If you tell them any of them the truth, you won't just kill yourself. You'll get them killed as well. So <laughs> follow the rules, okay? What the fuck is wrong with you people? I don't make the rules, Aaron. I'm sorry. Really? You're a pretty, pretty serious person, Aaron. <laughs> Most people will be a little happier to hear that they're alone in paradise with five beautiful women. What's there to worry about? 
Oh, you know, the whole entire fact that I get executed if the girl says no, I also don't have game, and the little bit where I'm not remembering who the hell I am. How about this? Let's make a proposition. <laughs> I need my show to be successful and run according to plan. And you want your memories back, and presumably to leave this show alive. That depends on what the memories are, but yes. If you be a good suitor for my show, I'll help you get your memories back. Do we have a deal? It's really not a bad deal. Most people would take it. Seriously. All you have to do is get to know five lonely women and ask one of them out. I'll be with you every step of the way, getting you your game <laughs> and off camera. But before you know it, I'm sure you'll be having loads of fun and forget all about your execution. <laughs> Who knows? You may even fall in love. You wouldn't be the first. But if you survive the whole show, I promise I'll tell you everything you want to know. Imagine waking up and yeah. thinking, where am I? But more importantly, who am I? Yeah, couldn't be me. <laughs> Peaky promise. How does that sound? Okay, I'm going to save. I'm actually going to say no, because I want to see what happens if I say no. Nope. Uh, yeah, fuck that. I'm out. And where would you go? Home. And where is home? Shit, she got me. Thought so. <laughs> Look, things will be a lot easier for the both of us if we just work together. Why are you gonna be so difficult? I'll make sure nothing crazy happens to you and you'll probably get home safe. More importantly, playing along gives you a chance to survive. Doesn't that sound better than getting killed for sure? Mm-hmm. You heard what Damien said, and what was going to be doing, uh, what he was going to do to the intern. Um. Also, there's gonna be free food! Alright, I'm in. Fuck it. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> you won't regret it, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the show. Follow me, and I'll take you where you meet our lovely contestants. Cat grabbed me by the hand and pulled me along. Remember, you can't tell anyone the truth about this dating game. Otherwise, you'll both die. No matter what, just smile. Got it? Food, why didn't you lead with that, right? <laughs> got it, I'm on it. Yep, you got it, Kevin. We stepped out of the bar together. I didn't realize it at first, but it was a bar and a small airplane. I guess I must have flown here. We walked until we saw a mansion in the distance. <laughs> wow. Y'all got money, money, huh? <laughs> money, money, huh? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Since we're all the way in some forgotten corner of New Asia, the land is completely and pretty cheap. We own the whole island. <laughs> New Asia. Have you never read the news in the past decade? I literally lost all of my memories. Like, tell me some slack here. Oh, right. Well, I sure you hope you, I hope you haven't forgotten how to talk to girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, where are we? Wait, are we starting? Wait. Not quite. Okay, thank God, my hair wasn't good. To give the world our top tier enjoyment. To protect our ass from unemployment. <laughs> to make the world believe in fate and love. We work like slaves for the shills above. We're brothers five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Prepare to. Prepare to. Get the set ready. I want to start filming yesterday. Oh. I guess we're not important to finish our intros. 
Whose idea was it to work on the TV industry anyway? This wouldn't have happened if we just decided to be account. <laughs> <laughs> Wait by the mansion doors and thank me later. Mm -hmm. It's showtime, people. Let's get to work. How to talk to girls who needs to forget something they never knew. True. <laughs> I walk to the doors. Hey, Aaron, can you hear me? Cat's voice boomed across the island, though she was nowhere in sight. Cat? I wasn't kidding when I said I would be with you every step of the way. As long as you're on this island, I'll be able to hear, see, and even talk to you. Just think of me as a cuter and sexier big brother. So, a big sister. Well, you know, the big brother house. The reality TV show. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, that, that one definitely went over my head. That doesn't sound nearly as good as you think it does. <laughs> hey, how else could we film the show? You really want to meet the love of your life with the camera sticking out of your head. Good point. Anyway, head on to the mansion already and go meet the girls. I recommend checking out the library, the kitchen, the game rooms, and the backyard. <laughs> go on. From here on out, the cameras are rolling. Don't be stupid. See you later, sweet cheeks. Cat out. All right, I'm finally here. There's only one thing left to do. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Anybody home? <laughs> My eyes are... Oh, she's cute. My eyes are drawn to a girl wearing a white dress pacing around the lobby. There's got to be a way to romance cat, right? Like, come on. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh... Shit, uh... Fuck, I can't remember what what uh, what's up is in Japanese. Whatever. Uh, yo. Whoa, I didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really you, Aaron? Yes. Yeah, how did you know my name? It hasn't been long, has it? It's me, Yui Yuffie. I forgot how to say that. <laughs> Fushikawa. We could, Fushikawa, we could... thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yui, yeah. Yui, Fushikawa. Okay. So sorry if anybody who actually knows person who has that name. I'm so very sorry. I am just really, really bad at names. Please forgive me. Oh, we're going to butcher the English language. I don't know what, <laughs> what, what the fuck you thought this was. <laughs> it's very true. We went to the same high school way back. You remember? Mm, what? You hadn't changed one bit. Hmm. Anyways, forget, for, always forgetting everything important. Uh. Wait, wait, hold on, calm down. I know how it sounds, but I've gotten amnesia. You didn't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't lie to your student council president. That's perjury. Perjury? So watch. So I corrected her. Why? Right? Watch it become my turn and fuck everything up. No, it's true. I really uh, wouldn't lie about this. You really can't remember anything. I don't even know what my last name is. Seriously, wouldn't joke about that. Oh. I can't believe you forgot. Oh, uh, there's, they had a promise to get married. All right, I see where that's going. Uh, on second thought, that may be a good thing. How on earth could it it'd be good to forget everything? Wow, I had, see, told you. <laughs> you know, moving on from the past is the best way to live and all that. Everyone has things from high school they'd rather forget, right? Yeah. But no, I'll run around every single day. <laughs> yep, yep, 
Yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good to see you, Aaron. You haven't changed not one bit. It feels like we used to just um mess around back then. Do you mean like literally, or like do you mean in the sexy way? Because I'm. That's two different I mean, things. From the virgin <laughs> fair uh, like the family store away pinky promise uh, no she went and got stuck in the dryer oh. <laughs> 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 we need an english is hard email i got you <laughs> i'll figure out something it's good to see you too yui even though i don't remember you but what brings you out here oh you know to be honest, dating apps or shows and all that aren't really my thing. But I saw that you were... Mm-hmm. Well... What you making me say? Sorry, I just wanted my food. Um, besides <laughs> that... What... <laughs> I'm sorry, your 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 country action accent came out there. Oh, I'm sorry. You you, you said food. And... <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's ginormous. I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself and asking me to show you where my room is. Wait a second. I haven't cleaned it up yet. She rushed up before I can get a word in. Somehow I get the sense that this has happened before. I guess I'll see her later. I should get back to exploring the house. Where to next? Where you want to go, Luna? Library, obviously. It's my favorite place in the whole, besides the kitchen. Whole thing. Library. The library was like a library out of a movie. Grand, majestic. Nothing like your average library, which come, becomes a porn set after closing time. What? That's the most beautiful library. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Have you seen my Twitter? It literally says you, Luna Bear Reader. If I could make my whole house into a library, I would. Fair. Um, 100%. I, <laughs> I do like the, the painting of Damien and Cat on the wall there. Um, mm -hmm. I took a few steps forward and noticed a girl with red hair at the back of the library. Damn. All right. I like her. <laughs> she was reading a magazine, or so it seemed at first glance. If you craned your head a bit to the side, you'd see another book hidden behind the magazine. What you reading? A B testing after the apocalypse first edition by D B. Hey, what you reading? Oh, this? Just another elementary. I mean, an absolutely Fetch truth, T bomb. He has. Did she change her? She accent to Valley Girl all of a sudden. Yeah. Can you believe this one celebrity would like date another celebrity? I can't even. It's almost like they're people. And I can see what you're actually reading. You know. Oh uh, gosh, it's so embarrassing. Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're actually reading sounds a lot more interesting. Where I come from, people make fun of people who do what I do, I guess. To them, a <laughs> library is just a place to film porn after closing time. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. <clears throat> Fucking idiots. <laughs> I'm Scarlet, by the way. You're Aaron, correct? Yeah, that's me. Nice to meet you, Scarlet. Nice to meet you too, Aaron. Oh, she got the tongue out. All right, no, I like her. So we've only seen two girls, but she's my favorite. Uh, I'm curious. So, what are you actually reading? <laughs> I thought you never asked. Let me show you. Uh Scarlet dropped the magazine and the book beh uh, behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Uh... Mm. 
She ran away so fast, I didn't even have the chance to say anything more. Guess there's not much to, left to do here. I'll head on down to... Well, uh, I'll go to the games room. <laughs> nah, we're going to get... Uh, well, you had... I'll let you pick first. I'm going second. You're right. As I walked into the games room, my eyes were drawn to a girl who was playing a handheld game device. Hmm. She looked deep in thought as her fingers moved and pressed the buttons at lightning speed. Whoa, new high school! Is that British or country? Both. <laughs> it's the country. <laughs> <laughs> That's some high level deception inception. Yeah, for real, man. Uh, yeah, the, the, the girl definitely playing video games. I'm pretty positive. Also with the pink Floyd oh, yeah. shirt. Oh, oh man. Okay. It's a shame I can't admit it. Oh, sup, dude? Do you know what happened to the internet? What? Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. I'm literally going to die at this rate. Are you, are you okay? Tell my followers they were the best. Blech. So dramatic. <laughs> what the fuck does someone even do here? Bitches, you good. <laughs> no worries. And she'll be fine. Oh, hey, cat, what's up? We had to turn off all the internet to make sure no spoilers of the show get out. Oh, fair. Sarah's Victoria went to American South. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Tara's just a bit over dramatic about it. You'll get used to it. So, for anyone who's well, wondering why, uh, oh. wow. If anyone's wondering why, um, I almost called you cat. Luna is uh, uh, a little bit slower. Discord's slow, and I think she's eating. So, there you go. Yeah. I am eating. My bad. Yo! You didn't tell me I'll be over. I'm um, being over dramatic when you literally sent me back to Stone Age. With games, electricity, and other things, but still. Oh, I was so excited to stream for everybody when I got here. Uh. <laughs> she made an emote in fucking real life. You're a streamer? Yes, that's so I am. Ew, eating? Girls do that? Here, I'll let you know on a secret, Lainey. Girls also poop. It's fucking gross. I can't stand them. Oh, yeah. Like, right after I eat this, I'm going straight back to the bathroom. It's going to be a <laughs> huge dump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm most of a right to game streamer, but I also stream real life, too. I can't now Q and a QAQ. Is that supposed to be a joke on what? CQC? What? Maybe you could just record things and post them later? I guess that's what I'll have to do. That's so last year. By the way, what's this whole show about? What? I honestly have no idea what I just got into regarding pretty much everything to do with this show. You freaking signed a contract? You don't even know what you signed? You didn't even do a little bit of research before you said to come in here? I mean, what was you gonna tell the viewers? Hey, don't get in my face about this. From what I heard, from cats you didn't eat either. I... From, uh... QAQ, -Q, I assume, is supposed to be a face? Hmm... Mm -hmm. mm. From, okay. Uh, hey, amnesia. I'm not doing a. Uh, I'm not doing a little bit of research. Amnesia and not doing a little bit of research are fucking different. I forgot to do my diligence, and you forgot your life. I don't see any difference in that. Same deal. It's not the same. What the fuck? <sighs> anyway. Anyway, it's a day. Oh, the... find it. Oh my bad. That's you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's a, it's a dating show called Find Love. Cat, can you explain the rules in more detail? 
Can't can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from any generic dating TV show. My name's Aaron. I'm what Cat calls a suitor. Hmm. So it's like a visual novel ga dating, dating sim game, except I'm stuck in it rather than playing it myself. Exactly like that, yes. Uh -huh. Well, since this is a game... I'm going to win it. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> right, I'm like, I don't know that's how that works, but uh, go off? Look out, world! First coming. And she always wins. Turn ran up with a fiery look in her eyes. I've got no idea what the fuck she's about to go do. <laughs> but who would? I guess there's nothing left to do here. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go! One, these ribs are well done. Everyone's British here. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry, thank you, ma'am. They were supposed to be medium rare. Remake them before uh, before the hour is up. I, I, I knew we should have just worked in accounting. Fuck. <laughs> then I the opportunity for you one. I just bought one of the neighboring islands and need someone to balance the books. <laughs> Please have them finished by nightfall and don't forget about the ribs. Uh, take it back. These side dishes are magnificent. To keep it up, you're a diligent worker, you. Aw, oh, shucks. You're too kind, ma'am. I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. She's pretty fucking amazing. Violet's amazing, and she's even volunteering to help us lowly peons. Will you step on me? <laughs> this soup is simply delightful. Good work, three. Th th thank, thank you, Violet. Gosh, she's a hundred times better when four bosses are, are around. I couldn't agree mo more, bro. You almost made me go country. <laughs> One, one of you insist on taking so long of the meatballs, perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. Yikes. One getting clowned out here for real. Thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Though, upon further thought, do you ever need them anyway, so perhaps... I almost just spit on my tea. I did not expect her to say that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're not, you're not using your balls anyway, so. <laughs> She's such an angel. Are we even talking about the same person? Uh, hi. Pardon me, I didn't see you there. Just one second. I've got to clean up the soup that one sat on fire earlier. How's that even possible? I was about to ask. Anything's possible if you fuck up bad enough. <laughs> Evidently, the same is true of your lack of mind completely. Ah, oh, public education. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> She's clowning everybody. <laughs> that was what I called for. Actually, we think the same about you all the time. I can confirm that. I wish mom never heard you guys. <laughs> and it's salty much? Apologies for the delay, I'm finished now. I'm Violet, Violet Valentine. The pleasure is you. The pleasure is yours, Aaron. Thanks, confidence, fuck. All right, the pleasure is yours, Aaron. You already know who I am? I'd imagine each contestant does, flying all the way out here for a whole week for a blind date. No one can be that unintelligent. Fair enough. Same energy as the the one Arrow Manga Sensei parody vid where the dude was cooking and burning salad. I don't know what you're referring to. Ah, she sneezed because we was talking shit. Got you. That's tough. I do hope you are worthy of being a suitor. 
You find that courting a lady is different from sports than other girls. It's true. She's one of the two daughters of the Valentine, uh, Valentine family. They're even richer than the royal black media. All right, three. Your pay is cut by 50%. Enjoy the shittier instant noodles, fucking idiot. It's too late to go back to school. I am how to say fin uh, fascinated. I'd like to see what makes you so special. You look rather average to me. That's fucking racist, dude. Damn. <laughs> I guess you'll be up for a surprise, Violet. If I pull my dick out, the whole room will get dark. <laughs> Dad, stop! <laughs> I got sick. Damn, you already laid it out on her. <laughs> <laughs> a deafening <There's> explosion. <laughs> a deafening explosion of blush through the kitchen. I haven't even spit game yet. Mm. The spaghetti tonight will be how to say a little different. I hope you don't mind. You're not really putting one on the menu, right? Mm. Mm. Well, why is there a hole in the ceiling? Looks like they'll be busy in the kitchen for a while. Uh, I decided to head over to the backyard. Your backyard friends, the backyard again. Oh my gosh, I heard that show was so long. <laughs> Well, calling this a backyard is like calling what happened to the Titanic a fucking leak. This field goes farther than I can see. It was called to catch a predator. What? What are you talking about, Landy? Same energy as that one air mango sensei parody vid where the dude was cooking and burning salad. It was gone for a little, then I guess someone would be uploaded. It was called to catch a predator. What are you talking about? I'm so confused. My eyes were quickly drawn to the girl running laps across the field. She's quick. She's getting even closer, closer, and... She slid to a stop right in front of me. Howdy! Oh, Mally, it's nice to meet you. Perfect. You're Aaron, right? That's... Ah, uh, I don't really care. Care for a jog, though. Uh, sure. That sounds... All right, let's go! She grabbed my hand and pulled me, uh, pulled me with her breakneck speed. Even Sonic would be jealous of this. Whoa! She's so fast, it takes all I have just to keep a pace with her. The wind in my face feels nice, though. For some reason, I feel like I've missed this. Actually, I don't think I've ever done this, gone this fast. <laughs> Come on, come on, keep it up. We'll have you in tip-top shape in no time, soldier. Whatever nice thoughts I had floating in my head were thrown out by my newly ass assigned drill sergeant. I thought I signed up for a fucking dating show, not a fitness show. Actually, I didn't sign up for this either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I'm starting to hit a comfortable pace. Is that all you got? Allie was widening the distance between us with a smile on her face. Call me simple, but I started to run as fast as I could. I could post one of the re-uploads to Discord. Do what you want, man. I gained more and more speed and watched as Allie slowly fell behind. Wow, you're a even faster my dad did when he left. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> she really just dropped Wait that like like it wasn't shit. <laughs> I love her. She, <laughs> okay, she's my favorite. She just dropped that. She's hundred <laughs> percent. She really just dropped that shit like it wasn't nothing. Yamazaki came she's for the bitches. Yamazaki smelled bitches and now he's here. How you doing, Yamazaki? What up? <laughs> what the? I unconsciously slowed down. My face contorted with shock. In just that single moment, she caught up and quickly surpassed me. I'm kidding, jeez. No need to take everything so seriously. 
Bastard died before I even got the <laughs> She is my favorite. I hope them two get together. She is my ultimate favorite. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> the bitch died before you got the chance to run out. Oh, I'm so s Oh, don't be. I killed him myself. Uh, what the f... Oh, the look on your face is just hilarious. <laughs> Don't worry so much, Aaron. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> My heart started to give out less from running and more from emotional roller coaster. We finished jogging oh. a few minutes. Good dog. We finished jogging a few minutes later. <laughs> I'm completely out of breath. That was fun, Aaron. <laughs> Let's run again sometime. I fell on my knees to catch my breath and watched as she walked away effortlessly. But you had to be fast in that to keep up with me, Suter. I laid on the grass and proceeded to die slowly, like an obese walrus gasping for air. You're too slow! Yes, we are in fact too slow. Is this how I die? <laughs> you know like that dry cough you get when you ran too fast facts yeah. and you can't like you can't like make it any type of other cough ever yeah, yeah it's just a dry fucking hit. that's redundant all raw way star beast true i guess it is kind of redundant i don't think i'll have to be worried about telling Allie the truth of how hard it is to believe how with how hard it is to breathe i think facts. i'll live at least for now I rolled onto my back and relaxed for a moment. All right, all right. Enough messing around. If you're on the show and you're not underpaid and you're not an underpaid grunt, come to the front of the mansion. I guess it includes me. I should start heading over. That includes you, Tara. I can see you playing, you know. You're not the boss of me. She's like Cockney. What the fuck have I done? Oh fuck! I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> By the time I got there, Cat and girls were surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math qu equations. Um... And that is why Aaron is the perfect soulmate for each of you. Somehow, Luna, I feel like you wrote that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I just drew a a bunch of numbers and symbols and don't mean anything. It's like bullshit math and show screen on the movie. Ah, oh, you're late to the party, Aaron. Is the MC a guy? Yes. Well, we're we, I chose them to be non-binary, but yeah, they're a guy. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Alone time segment? You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate, one of the two lovely ladies you'll get to spend time with this week. So without further ado, who's it going to be? Wait, I still have to choose already? I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. It's more of like, well, who would you want to talk? Who, who would you want to talk to the most right now? All right, I guess. I like to spend today's alone time with not Kat. I want to. I want to choose Kat. You want to choose Allie. You're I want to choose Scarlet. Uh, we'll flip for All it. Right. Flip for it. Oh, poll time! Oh, you want to do a poll? All right, we can do a poll. Landy, Ellie or Scarlet poll? All right, and while that happens, I'll run an ad because it's gonna happen in two seconds anyway. Okay. 
Dominic, you get to choose what girl we're gonna go for. You get to choose the yellow one or the the red one as soon as Lanny puts up the poll. I think. Lanny, are you here doing that? Are, are we doing that? Confirm, deny. I can do it myself, but it'll just take a little bit longer. Okay, no, he did it. There it is. Thank you, my friend. And then while that happens, I'll do this. I have the menu in front of me. Bet. Uh, let me go to your stream so I can vote too. Since, you know. <laughs> vote. Ellie. <sighs> I'll flip for an answer. Bet. Heads. What was what was your answer then? So what's the goal of the game besides dating one of the heroines? We have to date one of them, and if we don't, we die. Scarlet, since she's the first. Oh, Scarlet. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm good with either one of them, as long as we do at least both of them. Sure. I like Scarlet because she's a librarian. I like Allie because she's she's kind of like me. She's very straightforward with everything. Well, I'm biased because Scarlet's literally wearing red, and I'm. You're, it's like a scientific thing that you look more attractive in red. So, all of them are yonder is. No, it, it's we're on a, a reality TV show, and the deal is, um, if I don't date one of them, the TV show will kill us. You know, that kind of thing. Could be. You don't know. True. That's true. We don't know. Fucking Ali was, <laughs> did threaten to kill us. <laughs> That's true. I mean, who wouldn't want a little spice in their life with death, you know? Crazy bitches got the best part. <laughs> I couldn't even finish that. Looks like we're going with Scarlet. Scarlet, all right. Um, but I will save here, so we can come back to this. If we don't have to go through the whole entire intro. Scarlet, though. All right, we'll make it happen. None of them are my type. They didn't have to be your type because we're the ones d doing the dating and thing. You just had to. We just had came to an impasse, so we couldn't decide. So we had chat to decide for us. Um. Okay, but what's the trick? Dating a cute girl instead of dying does not sound that bad. Well, if we don't date anybody, we die. We have to also convince them to date us, and I'm sure there's something else going on here. But the game was free, so it might not be anything else going on here. Um, that's you. Or oh, sorry. Yeah. Places people. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was, I was looking at them. Sorry. Places people. Let's have Aaron start start in the mansion, and you know where to bring Scarlet. In the bedroom. <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. Ma Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. No, okay. It didn't take long we, uh, to find Scarlet. She found me first. I told you it was going to be the bedroom. I mean, yeah. She had just burst through my door and was trying to catch her breath as she slammed a ship behind her. The fuck? Aaron, thank God you're going to be okay. Oh my God. Have you read slash watched enough rom-com manga slash anime to romance these girls? <laughs> it wouldn't matter if I had or not, because your boy got game. But yes, I have. What's going on, Scarlet? <clears throat> Long story short, I experimented with some local fauna on the island earlier, and there's really nothing like it. It's incredible. I messed up with my intro with you earlier, and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. I made a new chemical compound that causes amnesia. It's amazing. Wow, that's not something you hear every day and something you should keep very far away from me. 
The cool thing is, applying it to just the right amount so a person can make them forget specific things. Who they are, how to write anything. How to write or anything. The bad thing is... Something slammed into the door outside. I almost jumped out from surprise. Uh, uh, was... Yeah, four was me. Give me brains! And bananas! Applying too much turns people into rabid monkey zombies helping on eating animal and human brains. I still haven't romanced my sister, so I haven't finished the game. Uh... I... <laughs> this is really weird to admit on stream. That's actually my favorite H scene in that game. Uh, Dear God, not the bananas. The door slammed again. It sounded like it was about to be knocked down. We need to get out of here and fast. Four busted through the door and blocked our only exit. Give me brains! Give me banana! Give me pussy! I'll I get mean, him out of the way. Gonna... They give you time to run. <laughs> I've got a better idea. Scarlet blasted four with a white powder covering his face and tally. Lewd. He flailed wildly for a few seconds, then fell to the ground unconscious. I won't hold you to that until I get there. It's it. She she says one specific line in that H.C. Landy that I'm like, that's hot. <laughs> so, um, is he? No, what was that? What the fuck did you do? Was that the compound? Uh, let's just say for seeing all the bananas he wants now, and we'll leave it at that. Follow me. Okay, well. We ran out of the side of the mansion as fast as we could. How did, the, how did this even happen? Oh, I was afraid you'd ask that. I heard from Tara that you lost your memories, and I wanted to see if I can help get them back. So I, uh... Maybe have experimented on the brothers five to see if i could erase their memories and bring them back <laughs> <clears throat> i must have done the numbers wrong i added way too much and i didn't realize their brains were so empty in the first place damn they just get clowned on in a weird way that's really sweet scarlet thanks you're fucking insane but thanks she bullshitting you i'm just gonna be honest with you i'll <laughs> fix this i swear i just need time to make an antidote i mean she's one of the scientists that made you lose your memory. Well, she could, she could have did it on accident. Could have been an accident. Hold on. Could have been an accident. You don't know. Listen, listen. This chick is a nerd like me. There's no way what she did was an accident. And there's no way that she got the numbers wrong. Hey, listen, listen. She did trip and drop her book earlier. The girl can't help it. Can't help it. The girl can't help it. Oh, babe. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I love how tools and supplies near here. We can stay there until we've got an antidote. It sounds like a plan. Lead the way. Wait, where are the other girls? Do you think they're still inside? They're actually trapped inside the library right now. Oh, shit. We should go back and save them then. Um, I don't know how to say this, but... I accidentally turned them into zombies, too! <laughs> okay. But they were a little bit much, so I locked them in the library. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to think of something intelligent to say. Nothing came to mind. <laughs> we're fucked. <laughs> Skyler and I passed time talking about the craziness that was going on and coming up with a plan to save everybody. She seemed to be quite frazzled despite seeming so put together, but I could tell she really did care about uh, about the infected. 
Not enough to prevent this from happening in the first place, but enough. I watched her build a machine that she insists can turn back pe people to normal, but uh, I have returned for a bit. Thank you for re my reading assignment, Luna. Hi, Mitt. Quick, think of something smart. Uh, uh, Lainey, I don't think you were there when I was playing disco, uh, and I was on, I was on a date, and I, uh, and I rolled, uh, I, I rolled the success for saying something romantic. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Looking at it, it can't help, I can't help but be a little skeptical. All right, all right, fine. Even the, if even the protagonist is a little skeptical, fine. All right, fine, sure, whatever. All right, showtime. Do you really think this will work? <laughs> you bet I made it after all. <laughs> I didn't say much. Mm. Looks like the coat co is still clear. Wow, that is a beautiful room. That is also my Look line. Look at that. I'm going to elevators right there because I do not like stairs. But wow, that is a beautiful room. I don't think you can make an elevator look too pretty. Unless, like, the closest thing I can think of is a glass. I'm already drinking, Mitsumi, so ha, you've wasted your hydrate. We walked to the outside of the library undetected, but we definitely weren't alone in here. The cameras were everywhere. All right. Save our friends and okay, I'll hydrate. Just give me a second. <laughs> They're coming right at us. <clears throat> Nothing to worry about. <laughs> she just, all right. This is payback for you guys acing your introductions. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Nothing. Are you okay, Doodle? Are you sure that's gonna cure him? Of course. What does it look like I'm doing? Literally killing them? Something told me Scarlet was enjoying that a little bit too much. Uh, what the hell? I take my eyes off the chemist for one fucking second and there's zombies in this house? Not for much longer, I promise. <laughs> we spent the rest of the day administering the antidote to each person. Each of them knocked out as soon as we delivered the cure, I guess. Doodle, what's wrong, man? Not quite the first day you expected, huh? Yo ass is crazy. Yo ass is crazy. Yo ass crazy. Doodle, why do you think you might die? Cat told me that to make a dating a date exciting, I had to get your heart racing. <laughs> well, I think I did a pretty good job at that. Didn't I? <laughs> mm. Scarlet looks Spanish. Yeah, I can see that. Tornadoes? Ooh. Stay safe, Doodle. But what about the boobs, though? Listen, I wasn't gonna say nothing. But you know what it is. Y'all, y'all know what it is. What it is. When it is. When it is. When it's doing the thing that it is. When, when I'm, when I'm doing the thing. I'm in the direct line. Doodle, stay safe, my man. Yeah, please stay safe. Make sure that you're not around any glass windows. Make sure that you're surrounded by blankets and pillows. If you are in the direct line, if you can, go to a basement. Make sure that you have everything covered, including your heads. Your feet, your toes, everything. If you can, save the batteries that you can. Try not to be on any type of devices just in case that you need to call for an emergency. And make sure you have quick cash available just in case that you need to stay somewhere for the night in case that your house is destroyed. Please be safe, Doodle. Okay. I guess it's technically true, but there aren't... But aren't there easier ways? Oh, that's your line, not mine. Yeah, I was a little dumbfounded by how uh, prepared you were for to give assistance. Um, oh, because I've been in a tornado accident before. Yeah, and you mentioned that once. I was just still a little dumbfounded by that. Uh, I'm on my computer, so it will be fun. What? You're cop? I am uh, going to try, Luna. I am scared right now. But 
Okay, make sure that you're literally like not close to any type of windows, doors, anything like that. You need to be in, in preferably in a bathtub in a basement if you can be. Um, that's going to be like your best bet. Also, you need, you need to surround yourself with anything that is cushion worthy or anything that can cover yourself, even if it's just extra piles of clothes or any type of anything. If you have a dog, make sure it's near you because they will be your line to safety because no matter what, dogs can smell when you're going to be uh, like near the surface and they also can smell food when they're really hungry. So they're going to lead you to it uh, just in case you don't have money near you and you need to actually go find some food. Also, if you have any money near you, make sure that you put it in a secure place that when you, when or if you are in a tornado and it flies out, it doesn't come out of you. Um, like your pocket, your bra, your socks, your shoes, anything like that. Make sure all parts of your body are covered and make sure that you keep everything close. Like put your legs up to your chest or anything like that. Don't, don't spread anything out because if you spread out, you're going to be more than likely having some sort of broken bones and it won't be as tight as if uh if you had your body body actually bundled up okay okay you got a tornado safety page bookmarked or something no i've just been in uh through it before and i know what to do do you recall literally earlier when i said luna just be dropping like life changing experiences like they're nothing but yeah no <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what i'm talking about um I guess that's technically Thanks. true, but aren't Love there? You. Yeah, you stay safe, Doodle. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll be here, but like, t take care of your, your, yourself is obviously priority. So take care of yourself. Um, I guess that's technically true, but aren't there easier ways? Something tells me this woman is full of more surprises. Something tells me this bitch is cray cray. Thanks. I stumbled back into my room and plopped onto my bed. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled. Wow! Wait, 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 wait. Do you see the bed? It's blue. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shoveled over in a haze. Hey there, Aaron. Sorry to bother you this late. It's all right. What's up, cat? <laughs> Don't mind Yo, you want to learn how to do a fucking you. infinite? Comfortable. Yo, Landy, thanks for the uh, gift sub for Doodle. Um, yeah, do Doodle, hope you stay safe, man. Mm, thanks. Can't walk by me <laughs> and comfortably sat herself on my bed. Oh my god, you have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the other staff. You no, know, I mean, if, if you want, you can, you can stay here. I mean, I wanted to romance you to begin with, but, uh... You think ones actually working here would get treated nicely? Yeah, if you wanna... You wanna, you wanna stay here, I'm just, I'm just saying, like... Like, Luna, you down, right? I mean... <laughs> I mean, you know, she was the one I was trying to get for anyway. I'm just saying. I'm guessing you're not coming to my, to my room at night to start a workers' union. That's a good line. <laughs> I wonder, what would you want me to come into your room for instead? I can think of a few things. <laughs> you think five women would be enough for a person? You're incorrigible, Aaron. I gotta pick one, and I was not told that I couldn't pick you. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end Just of the show? Damn, that's crazy. Being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long time, long term gig. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be checking in with you each night to let you know that you're doing, or to let you know how you're doing, and give you some advice here and there. That's nice of you. Thanks, Kat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be recruiting a nightmare. That's true. I mean, whatever works. Back to topic. Our audience really loved your date with Scarlet today. Hey, by the way, did you know that bitch is crazy? 
<laughs> I don't know if I'd call what you two had it was a date, but you two have become quite popular. Ship for our viewers. We did put on quite a show, I guess. No kidding. There's not a person who watched today broadcast who doubts that she would be your first soulmate candidate. She pulled out a minigun. She pulled out a big gun. What no mini gun, the freak? <laughs> <laughs> she pulled out that strap. You know what I'm saying? Out... I don't know if you've seen this uh, anime called um, the uh, the detective is already dead. There's this mm. character called Char. She goes. She pulls out a rifle. Then she pulls out another gun. She pulls out a longer gun. She goes back and she pulls out a freaking AK-47 and just goes. I'm like. She crazy! <laughs> well, that said, let's sprinkle a little more drama into the mix. You know, either Damien has her hostage or gives her special benefits. Mm, I see it. More romance, more love triangles, less zombies. So, don't choose. Choose anybody but Scarlet tomorrow. <laughs> So tomorrow, I want you to find who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date. All right. Sounds good to me. Really? I would have expected you would want to spend more time with Scarlet right away, especially considering what just happened. Did you know? <laughs> and, and listen, this might be a secret around here, but I just want to let you know. Did you know? That bitch is crazy. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah, she's crazy. I get that, but at the end of the day... <laughs> I get that, but at the end of the day, we need ratings, and those aren't coming from people who want to see love triangles and whatnot, right? That's exactly right. Without those ratings being high every day, they'll ax the show in your life. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I guess that makes sense in a fucked up way, but, you know. I'm impressed at how well you took that. Well, I don't have any memories to, you know, soften the blow of... Well, I guess not soften the blow, to make the blow harder of... Hey, they're going to kill you! Literally, all I know is, hey, you woke up, here's a dating show, they're gonna kill you. So, it's not that, it's not that hard of a pill to swallow. It's not your first time on a life or death killing show, right? <laughs> Can't say that it is. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting late and we've both got big days tomorrow. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. Unless you want to stay, I'm just I'm just saying. If it's worth anything, I'm sorry. If you're sorry, you could sp no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, what you could don't give me that real <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, if you were sorry, I mean, you gonna you gonna deny a man his last meal? Blow my whistle, baby, whistle, <laughs> baby, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Aaron. Good night, Cap. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Went back to lying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Scarlet before I slept. Damn, that bitch is crazy. <laughs> the sound of waves crashing against the shore. Hey. Hey. What the fuck? I can hear the woman's voice calling out to me from within a dream. You probably can't hear me in there, but... I try to respond, but no word. <laughs> Snap back to reality! Okay. Nope, the gold's grabbing. <laughs> Aaron, promise me one thing. Don't you forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promises are unbreakable, right? That's, that's what you told me. Damn, we gotta pick that girl that he already knows. Man! That's, that's not necessarily true. It, it it alluded to her, but that doesn't mean that was her. But you lied, didn't you? 
Ooh. No, we gotta go pick her. Frick. Well, I'm not going to. Anyone so. else wake up to the world's worst headache? Tell me about it. What did we even do yesterday? Honestly, I can't remember. Though, I did have a dream that we were being chased by someone. Oh, really? And who was that? I, I think it was Scarlet. What are the odds of that? I think I dreamt the same thing. As did I. Oh, sorry. As did I. She locked us in the library, and then she shot us to pieces. Oh, whoa. That's the same dream I had. We're going to pretend what? that Lewin is doing an Australian accent for Terra. It's not, but we're going to pretend that it is. <laughs> I can't do Australian, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you think made you all dream up that? Either way, it's a dream. Ha <laughs> ha! You eat, use Bean Glare. It's super effective. Come now. There's no point in getting upset at someone when they did in a dream. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. You're right, Violet. And yet. Ha ha! Ha I seem to remember you being there too, Aaron. Oh man, how am I gonna talk the my way out of this one? Somewhere or another, Scarlet and I managed to convince everybody it was a crazy coincidence. Well, I mean, the fact that you don't know for sure sounds like it was a crazy coincidence to me. I mean, I'm just saying, like, come on, bro. I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying, just come on. All right, Mitt, have uh, have fun with your dinner. Naturally, she had every oh, right to be. Me. She had every right to be. Sorry. Everything she dreamed really did happen. Let's hope this wasn't some kind of dream that comes back again. <laughs> oh, there you are, Aaron. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who your other soulmate candidate is. Well, we gotta choose Yuri. No, fuck her. We're choosing. We're choosing. What was your girl, Ally? Yeah. No, fuck that. Amy. <laughs> well, not Amy. Sorry, I'm thinking of Amy Lark. What's her name? I'm uh, Allie. Allie. I think it was Allie. 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 Yeah. You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? How could I forget that? You came to my bedroom and everything. It's not like I forget for forgotten anything important before, except for literally everything. Save the snark for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. Ow. Caddy. <laughs> It'll just be between your two soulmates' coordinates from here on out, so choose wisely. Wait, so if we don't get chosen, what are we supposed to do? Die. Well, for starters, you're in a tropical paradise. Think of it as a vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyways, so it's not a big deal. Real? <laughs> oh boy, Aaron. You might want to pick your second soulmate candidate quick. Wait a minute. Pat will be splitting up the group after today. Nope, don't worry, you'll still be, be able to hang out together. And who knows where that will go. Whew! Good to know my battle plans are still will still come in handy. What the fuck? How can I ever forget what happens in the bedroom, wink wonk? <laughs> I mean, friendship plans. Yeah, good to know I'll still get to my new friends, yes sir. Without further ado, Aaron, who's the unlucky girl? I like to spend time with Allie. Allie! We'll make it happen.
Let's get the cameras rolling, people. We're in for a bumpy ride. Now be a dear and give us a minute to set up the scene. Hmm? Damn, it's like I'm going to just sit on this island and do nothing, huh? Oh, yeah. Definitely. I know I let Allie talk me into this. I'll never know. You sure this is a good idea? Well, there's only one way to find out there, isn't it? There are a few ways to find out, but... I choose... I normally choose not to fuck around and find out, but, you know, whatever. Allie... <laughs> Allie grabbed my hand and pulled me towards the slope of the hill. Relax, Aaron. What's the worst that could happen? We die. <laughs> we die. <laughs> Would it be too much to ask to be on a TV show that didn't end up with me fucking dying? <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> oh shit! Ali slipped on her rollerblades, pulling me downhill with her. I tried to step back on reflex, but it was all I could. But it was all I could do to stand up with uh, with the rollerblades. Oh fuck. We started rolling down the hill faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. I was rolling down the hill uh, backwards at full speed. I could see panic in her eyes. I couldn't figure out how to stop when we were going faster and faster and faster and faster. I screamed. Allie laughed and pointed at me. <laughs> Gosh, your face is just priceless. I love it. Allie turned around effortlessly and somehow glided next to me without even having let go of my hand. How the... Uh, okay. Our breakneck pace became slower and slower as she steered us back and forth repeatedly. Before I knew it, we were gliding down the road smoothly. One felt kind of nice. Now you got the hang of it. The little prankster we got here. <laughs> you got a funny way of fucking teaching, don't you? Best way to teach a bird to fly is to throw it off the cliff, no? I guess. You don't have to do it that way, but it's definitely a way. Don't worry about it. We're, in, we're, we're never in danger. Have you been rolling blader for a long time? No. Then how could you say that that confidently? I just learned how to do it today. Today? I had an aneurysm. Like, I physically had an aneurysm just now. <laughs> and I'm annoyed for our protagonist. Okay? <laughs> I'm annoyed for <laughs> our protagonist. Fucking, what the fuck? Uh, what was that about never being in danger? Her outfit is cute, though. Quite the fucking daredevil, aren't you? What well, gave you that away? You almost killed me twice. She laughed as she slapped me on the back. She missed. <laughs> she really wanted my ass, but... Facts. You know, you're a pretty quick learner. Picked up rollerblading like all those as fast as I did. Well, if I didn't, I would have died, so... Well, I got a pretty good teacher. It's a lot of fun hanging out with you, even though I may die, but you know. Shucks, I feel the same way, Aaron. It's great to be around someone to go on an adventure. What? Well, she really is you. Well, so. World's going crazy. We're all going to die. You might as well hang around the people. Make life worth living. Okay, now I like her. I couldn't say it better myself. <laughs> you know, I bet you can't skate backwards. You know what? I bet you're fucking right. <laughs> 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 Allie reversed and started skating backwards as if to taunt me. Oh, why's that? I think it's just a little bit too scary for a person who screams when they're going down a low, low bump. I'm Aaron and I can't handle a little bump. Ah, help me. Oh, I can handle a little bump. Can you? <laughs> oh, come on, it was a hill. Yeah, yeah. I felt the firelight inside me. Bring it on, Allie. Oh, you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Did I stutter? What did you say? No. <laughs> it, 
there comes a time in every person's life where we know we're taking a stupid bet, but do it anyway. See? And that's why I said no. <laughs> <laughs> With the power of misplaced confidence and adrenaline, I jumped high into the air. And did a 360 rotation. And did a three. Yep. Yeah. Wait, am I spinning? Is the world spinning? I'm not sure. And then it dawned on me. Oh, fuck. No! I won't let you kill Aaron! What? You're gonna wish we had! What the fuck? What the what hell? What the hell? I bet oh, you can't sorry. even do a double backflip on ice skating. Do it, you won't. <laughs> Little bitch. You right? <laughs> you right? Are You're up? Okay. You're okay, Aaron? Try not to move. You're a little banged up, but you'll be just fine. Give me one second. I'm about to be over yonder. Cat and I treat your injuries pretty well if I do say so myself. What the fuck happened? You, uh, well, skated backwards. We're definitely skating up quite liberally, huh? Now I get here. I carried you here, dumbass. What do you think? Jesus Christ! I didn't. I didn't think I was that. I weighed that li little, 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 little. English is stupid. Man, my fucking head though. <laughs> Take it easy. It's only been a few hours since you came out yourself. Okay, so I really hate this in writing when they're like someone gets like knocked out or they pass out and it's been like hours or like a day or some shit. Because if that happens, you have a fucking concussion. When you get knocked out, it happens for like three minutes. Yeah. If, if even that, it could be even less than that. Yeah. Anything else is definitely a concussion. Oh, well, it's sort of my fault, but uh, I made you some food, so you should help get your drink back up real quick. Thanks, Ellie. That's real nice of you. My second, my first question, though, yeah. is uh, can you actually cook? Because I've seen enough anime to know where this goes facts don't expect something like violet will make violet doesn't make anything she makes other people do it all i can promise that the food's probably healthier my last just before knocking yourself out i'll take my chances you think they're gonna give you a luxurious hospital bed well i mean my bed's pretty fucking luxurious i'm just saying i took a bite of the food cautiously <laughs> 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 For a moment, Allie was wide-eyed with shock and horror. I'm fucking with you. Food's great. Thanks, Allie. I just figured I'd get a little payback. You know, no one forced you to jump. They've made it clear that they don't care. Well, Allie cares, and that's enough. She laughed and slapped me on the shoulder, then ran her hand, uh, her hand through her, through my hair, and scratched it. I found myself smiling and admiring her blue eyes. I'm looking forward to our next adventure, Aaron. But I promise, but I promise not to be too stupid again, alright? No. I guess impressed is what we call it. <laughs> try, try not to do anything stupid. No. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, I did ask, I guess. We spent the rest of the day making fun of each other of how stupid we were being. Somehow, some way, I could take the ordinary and turn it into an adventure. I was laughing so hard that I could barely feel any pain. That was a lie. It hurt very bad. Before I knew it, it was nighttime. I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar, familiar tap on my shoulder. Hey, Aaron. Got a minute? I'm only still here because I picked neither of these girls, but I'll probably leave in a minute. Who did you pick, Landy? I'm for real about to call you Cat Luna. Yeah? What's your line? I want Scarlet. Oh, I already said it, but okay. 
I want to make Scarlet and Allie jealous. It'll be good for ratings. Yeah. Tara and Yui. Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. I'm well, sorry. Yui is actually the one who uh, was his fiance, so. I mean, I we, we speculate that. It's highly implied. Yeah. And it's highly implied, so I, I speculate that. I, I'm sorry, what? You're no fun, anyway. She opened my door. To, uh, she opened the door to my room and walked inside. I'm gonna follow suit because it's my room, I guess. I've got some news. Was the was the ratings good? All ears. Turns out my strategy worked. We've got enough ratings to avoid early canning. Don't get me wrong. People loved it when you and Scarlet were the main ship, but. Now with Allie and some serious competition. Let's just say online threads went from optimistic and united to downright murderous. <laughs> so fun. Well, I'm glad I get to hear I'm glad to hear I get to live another day. For now at least. But that'll change quickly over our viewers. Don't feel like your relationship with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed and took a seat on my bed. <laughs> you know, I'm curious how feeling about how you're feeling about Scarlet and Allie. And there's a girl in front of me that I might prefer, but you know, they're cool. You're you're lying. Between the two, yeah. you have a flavor. Um, I actually kind of like, I actually kind of like Allie more now. Scarlet, Scarlet, <laughs> like Scarlet didn't do anything to make me laugh. Allie at least did. Yeah. Though I've known her for less time, I think I like Allie more right now. She makes every moment exciting. I just can't get enough of that. Really? Well, I can't say I'm too surprised, but maybe just a little. Let's see where things go with Allie. Something tells me you're going to hang out with her again soon. Bet. Say less. Anyway, thanks for today. We should have a threesome later. <laughs> Keep it up and who knows? You might be just the first one to make it out of here. Night, Aaron. What do you mean the first one? Wait. Wait, didn't you say that a bunch of people fell in love? And now she's saying the first one to make it out of here? She left my room, closing the door behind her. We're just not going to read deeper into that for some reason. Because didn't she say when we were on that plane thingy that uh, a lot of people fell in love here? Now she's saying we're the first ones that might make it out? What the? Um, what? I, I don't remember her saying that, but I don't doubt you. I see waves crash soundlessly against the shore. She shows she shows by the seashore. I can't no, never never was able to do that. Can you do that? What she sells seashells by the seashore? That? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I was never able to do that. My 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 mouth <laughs> physically can't do, do that. that. <laughs> uh and dissolved to nothing before they reached my feet. This must be my dream. She's next to me. I can't make her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. Luna, you're right next to me. I can't make out your face or even hear your voice, but I know it's you. <laughs> you look like you've seen a ghost, there. You somehow... I can't see your face, nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I hear my own voice speaking as if it was coming through an old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on out there now? Tom Bucks that it's better on this side. Out there, every day is a fight to stay alive. Here, at least there's food, shelter, place to go home, and more importantly, a high-speed and unlimited internet. I reach for her hand and hold it tight. And people that love you. I know, and I love you too. 
I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. Same goes for me. Nate, this... It's real. It's real life. Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer while living isn't just following a script. I'd do anything for just a taste of it. I could put it in your mouth, but... We've been over what? this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so tired of this. Uh, oh, what the hell are we doing here, Aaron? I felt the same way she did, but there's nothing we could do. Not if we valued our lives. There's no escaping from here alive. Yeah. We're living another day. Oh, what are we living for? I sighed. You really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed. When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. <laughs> I guess you'll owe me my ten bucks pretty soon, then. She laughed. <laughs> you'll be the judge of that. Have fun trying to survive love. Guess I'm off. All right, thanks, Lainey. Thanks for hanging out. Raw paw bear hugs, Lainey. Oh my gosh! What happened yesterday? Are you okay? No, nah, I'm I'm chill. We I'm good. I'm good. I'm built like an ox. We're good. I'm so relieved. <laughs> I'm built different, like an anime protagonist. It didn't hurt at all. You should not be resting up. Should you not be resting after yesterday? Nah, no need for topics. I only got a few scrapes and bruises. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm surprised both of you aren't dead after what you pulled. Believe me, me too. Wait, what? I mean. <laughs> No worries, Scarlet. I've been rollerblading for longer than most people have ever. That's... Technically, that's probably true, but... You should teach... <clears throat> you should teach us how to rollerblade, Allie. Seems like it'll be fun. Oh, are you sure, Tara? I think that might not be a good idea. What's the worst that can happen? I like your attitude, girly. Come on, let's hit the road. Ellie grabbed Tara's hand and pulled her away. She does not realize what she's into. This is some time later. Hey, uh, Tara? How was skating? There's no words. I think Ellie broke Tara. Scarlet whipped her hands frantically in front of Tara's face as if to check on if anyone was still in there. Tara, are you in there? Hey, Tara, internet's back. <laughs> nah, she done. Uh, is there a medic on the island? Wait a minute, I made a new serum the other day. It just might be the thing to restore Tara's mind. And that is my cue to leave. Just give me a second to administer it. Hold on! Are you talking about that thing that turned everybody into zombies? I just think of it. One field test really isn't enough to see if it's butchered or not, so why not just... I tried to stop her from administering it, but it was too late. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Give me brains. Brains and bananas. Guess this one's a bust, too. Do you have the antidote? Just kidding, kidding. I'll have it right here. Just give me a moment. 
Luckily, Terra ended up being okay. We spent the rest of the morning playing video games as therapy for Terra. I think it's about time to talk with Cat about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Cat, is that? I turned around, and the girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Cat, no, this is Zally. Green is the weirdest anime hair color. It's definitely the one you see the least. Yeah, I can't even think of too many green anime hair colors. Uh, well, I can think of one main one, which is, uh, well, two of them. One is My Hero Academia's uh, Mary, which she has vines going out of her hair. And the other one is from One Punch Man, Saitama, um, uh, yeah. at the end of yeah, that. Tornado. Tornado. Yeah, Tornado. Yeah. Um, the only one I can think of is the main girl from Midori Green. I think the name is and the name of the anime is literally called Midori Green, but I think Midori means green in Japanese. So her name's Green Green. The name of the anime would be Green Green. Uh, sorry, Ali. What's uh... up? She looked to see if anyone else was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? Tatsumaki is an exception, yeah, because that's a bad bitch. What do you mean? Don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun on our date earlier, but something about this show is weird. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all. But after I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap in the forest at night? It's a fucking terrible idea, but I guess you're kind of, you're also built different, so. Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room on my bed. And I swear I don't even remember walking back. That is kind of weird if that really happened. Sure you didn't just have a weird dream? Now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking last night for fun. That was a big mistake. No, yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happening last night? No, it was just a regular night for me. I had a conversation with Cat in my room, but that was it. Five girls to date wasn't enough, huh? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess I'll just be staying away from Scarlet's cooking. Chalk it up to a weird-ass dream. Well, um, that wouldn't be here if that was, like... Nothing. People don't usually write like that. So, that was something. We need to keep that in mind. People really don't what? People don't write like that. People don't, like, write, like, something interesting like that and then do nothing with it. True. Yeah, um, setting up stuff like that is called Chekhov's Gun, which is one of my favorite name to write it, writing principles because it's a literal fucking gun. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure, Allie. See you later. She ran off just as fast as she had come initially. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, Cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, Aaron. Staying here. I wanted to ask, did your guys do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know of. Our staff leaves the cast alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Cast been honest with me about the, everything so far. What girl are we after? We're gonna go after Allie. Right? Right? Oh, sorry. Anyway, more importantly, it's Tom for phase two. You've done pretty decently with setting up Scarlet and Allie as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. 
the romance, whatever, more importantly, every time they had on screen, we get one hell of a ratings boost. So the first time boost came on, I misread it as boobs. <laughs> From here on out, you'll only be going on dates with either of them. That'll be your best bet in getting out of here alive. Hold on one second. Yamazaki wants me to shut you out. Also, she's a bear. I am a bear. Rawr. Raw Paw Bear Hugs. Luna does not stream yet. I, I don't know why I would type to T. That's not even close to what your name is. Um, Luna does not stream yet, but as soon as she gets her, uh, her model done, she will start. And you will probably see me there, unknowing her. I've not done that once yet, mm -hmm. but I like saying it because it's funny. That sounds good to you. You almost make it sound like I have a choice. I'm oh, sorry. You almost make it sound like I have a fucking choice. I'm glad we're on the same page as always, Aaron. But with enough of the pleasuries, who's the unlucky girl today? <laughs> I guess I'd like to spend today with Allie. Really now, I'm surprised, considering how you KO'd yourself last time. Yeah, well, it was kind of hot, so. But that's none of my business. It's none of my business, though. We'll start filming down at the beach. See you there. Bet. Damn, the, the fucking background looks nice. Facts. It's like they know what to do with with anime in, in the sky and the sea and everything. Yeah. Howdy, Aaron. You ready for round two? Round two. Fight! <laughs> I heard you might want to hang out with, uh, hang out somewhere where rollerblades don't work. No, I spent all night dreaming of the next chance I could use those two little death machines. Then I think you'll love what we got in store today. There's no wheels where we're going. What do you mean? You'll see. Follow me. Uh, first I'm gonna need you to close your eyes. I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Nothing to worry about, Aaron. I'll be right next to you the whole time. Because that always has gone wrong. Perhaps? Technically, yes, but Allie moved behind me and covered my eyes with her hands. I don't know how I'm tall as shit and she's a shorty, but you know. <laughs> now let's just keep walking forward. Trust me. We were at the beach, no swimsuit. What? I feel like that might happen in a bit. Right. Good night, Pudgy. Good uh, Who? Pudgy. Night, Pudgy. Love you. Raw Paw Bear hugs. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'd be lying. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't someone enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when I she wrapped her arms around me. Oh. I cautiously took a step, uh, took step after step. First, I felt dirt, then sand, then water. I still have my shoes on. Are you trying to make me drown myself? Of course not, though I have to admit it does look like how uh, they've been killed people back in the day. Again, you're going to want to take real a really high step forward next or it's going to hurt. I raised my right leg as high as I could and then stepped forward. Something clanged, like metal. Next, I brought over my left leg. Keep your eyes closed for just a second longer. I just gotta do... Excuse me. I just gotta do one thing. I let go of me and took a few steps forward. How did you know that? Your eyes were closed. Brace yourself. Wait, what's... Yeah. Oh, that is just adorable. Yeah, that's nice. 
I was knocked off my feet by the sudden movement and opened my eyes on reflex. Water sprayed on uh, onto my body as I struggled to regain my balance. My shoes are all fucked up, but it, it's a nice scene. All aboard the SS St. Alley. When and where did you get a fucking boat? Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. You just found it? Anyway, I asked Kat <laughs> if I could take her first man. She, she just didn't answer the question. You just fucking found the whole ass boat. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she said as long as we stay within a few clicks of the island, we're good for the engine and automatically shut off. I'm sorry, I'm, like, the way that I understand how clicks works is, like, a measure of distance between the sky and the sun. Mm -hmm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So, like, how would they know? Because the sun changes positions. You know? But, whatever. It still does, even though if it changes positions, it doesn't, uh, further the distance. I don't, yeah, I don't know how fucking clicks work. <laughs> I just know that's how you're supposed to me measure it. Yeah. So I thought, why not have a little joy right on the island? Around the island, my bad. I like the sound of that. And, and away we go. We cruise around the island for a while, taking note of the different buildings covering the island. The mansion seems so small from way out here. Hours flew by as we cruised around. Oh, hold on. Look at that. Damn, that's nice. Allie took a deep breath inside. You all right, Allie? You don't seem as hyperactive as normal. I guess I'm just a little homesick. It's been two days. I never understood that. It's It's been two days. What do you mean, homesick? It's nothing to do with you, I promise. It's just... I'm worried about my old man. I'm sorry. Wasn't your father... Oh, uh, yeah. He long gone. You know the old story about New Asia. I'm talking about Lucius. He was a good friend of my dad's, and he's taking care of me and a whole lot of other kids. That says Lucas, but... Sounds like a cool dude. You sure have a way with words, don't you, Aaron? What the fuck was I supposed to say? What do you want from me? <laughs> I didn't dwell on much of the past. It just slows you down. Couldn't agree more. Is that amnesia talking? Who fucking knows, dude? She, she laughed as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. I'm more worried that he'll get himself into trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. I wouldn't call that homesick. What's he like? Let's just say I'm, uh, let's just say that a lot of how I act is from him, but I'm much more much more restrained. If you're like this, I guess I wouldn't survive a single day hanging out with those bitches. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, you've almost gotten me killed twice. Nah, nah, say that shit, bro. <laughs> say that shit. I only made a sharp turn. The sudden force almost threw me off the boat. What was that for? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had the devilish grin. I'm sure he's doing just fine, Allie. He's probably watching right now. Just make sure you're safe. You're probably right now that I think about it. No, uh, we should go do the thing that he shouldn't watch that they can't film on TV, you know? He always wastes a day away watching shitty reality TV shows like this one. Which gives me an idea. What's that? With, With one, one hand... hand on the wheel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> With one hand on the wheel, Allie turned to me and kissed me on the lips. I kissed her back. It felt like lightning running through my veins. 
we didn't get a CG scene for that. The boat started to rock back and forth and more and more uncontrollably, but we didn't stop. Well, it's got to give Lucius a heart attack. I wonder if he's in love with her. What, Lucas? Yeah. Hmm. Seriously, what kind of a father lets their daughter go on a trashy TV show like this? I couldn't help but laugh at that. Heh, <laughs> whatever. It's been a fun ride so far. And there's the next one with you, Aaron. She kissed me again, sending the boat into an erratic frenzy. We spent the rest of the day together, making out, not paying attention to where we were going. Probably meant a little too many clicks to, to the south, but you know, nobody was counting. <laughs> Till we ran out of daylight. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a CG scene for that, so that's kind of odd. Uh, I was about to turn in for the night when I heard a knock on my door. Hey, cat, I... Hey, cat, I... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ken, I thought you weren't going to come over tonight. Sorry about that. I got tied up in some things. Is everything good? Good as always. Can you join me for a walk? Sure, that, that sounds nice. Then away we go. We walked at a relaxed pace with... Uh, cat slightly ahead, leading the way. So how are you feeling about the daytime? Oh, sorry, day three, Aaron. That's your line. No, it's not. Oh, no, that's my line. My bad. <laughs> you still feeling Allie? I still like Allie the most. If anything, getting to meet and know the other girls made me like her even more. I yes, actually. <laughs> it's all I can do just to keep up with her, but each moment with her is so worth it. Oh, that's cute. Also, perfect answer for the cameras. Thank you very much. I guess we'll be giving Allie's fan base some more things to go rabbit over soon. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. Perfect. By the way, Allie might kill him. Ooh. Well, I'm happy you've at least gotten one girl you're really interested in, but it helps you've got chemistry with both. Why would Allie kill us? Did you not see what she stated when we were talking about her father and everything like that? The scary look that she gave? The scary look that she gave, she always gave. She, she That's her shocked face. Uh-huh. That's her yandere look. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, she does have a yandere look, but she always gave that. She said that she had the same face when she said she killed her father, which was a joke. Maybe. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> well, I'm happy you've uh, at least got one girl really interested in, uh, but it helps you've got chemistry with both. Tomorrow, you'll be going on a date with your other soulmate candidate and said... Let's make let's milk this love triangle for all it's worth. Okay? Of course. All right. Sound good to you? I'm noticing a pattern of making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't. None of us really have a choice nowadays. I'm afraid. Are are you are you okay? All right, got to get back to editing today's footage. You really have to head back to the mansion. Why would you be in charge of editing? All right, well, whatever. We walked back into comfortable silence. She wouldn't be if she's the producer. Yeah. Night. See you later, cat. We are dream time. Let's go. If we get trying... We, what? If we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We need to know the island better than anyone by now. Aaron, we'll be fine. I'm not so sure. Damien's brought in that scientist for his latest experiment. Ooh, that sounds like a... Uh, what's her face? Scarlet. Uh, 
All I've heard is the she's the one who built the prototype, the one Damien used to turn six into a vegetable. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, that's her. Not to mention the old old test audiences too. Shit. So we did have to pick her, but I think we chose a more fun route, but not picking her. Yeah. They must have killed at least a hundred people by now. And they still haven't perfected it. I mean that's me, but if we get oh, caught. Oh sorry. I get what you're trying to say. Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. You didn't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Who are you? Somehow I know you're close by, but every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. A beach scene? Seriously? Not only gratuitous, but oh so predictable. Bitch, we're on an island. What did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It's the beach. Don't be so negative. I guess you're right. It's not every day you get to go to the beach. Are you alright, Terra? You looked better. Terra was practically crawling on the beach sand like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight, sorry, sunlight, my worst enemy. We met again, you piece of shit. Now there's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Terra. You look like you could use it. Huh? <gasps> I swear I'd never seen Terra move so fucking fast ever. Let's go in the water. Come on. Skelly grabbed Violet by her hand and pulled her towards the water. She did not change into not a swimsuit. Lie. I wouldn't mind seeing them both in the swimsuit going boing boing together in the water. Just going, just saying. Oh, but I didn't bring anything to change. I'm not going to disagree. I just didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Anime girls? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to disagree. You, who, the, who the fuck do you think I am? Come on. But, like, didn't expect come you to on. say that. <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the spirit. Wait up, you guys. And just like that, they're off. You have to join them? I'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Ellie pulled me in her arms and kissed me passionately. Aw. It's harder when the other girls are around. You think they saw? I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping, you little bitch. The look on your face is priceless. My God. Try to keep up. <clears throat> Allie ran to to join the girl, the other girls in the water. I smiled and followed suit. I like the way her face is drawn, like the way her lips are. Yeah. We spent the the rest of the uh, morning enjoying the warm weather on the beach. Ugh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so. Loud. My head is killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. You got wine drunk? You have to drink like two bottles before you get drunk off of wine. Yeah. <laughs> wine is like the least amount of thing that could get you drunk. <laughs> yeah, you had to drink a lot of goddamn really fast at that. Facts. Very fast. Because if you drink it slowly, it can pass through your system and you can pee you'll like be, that. You'll it's be like all champagne. right. You'll be all right. Yeah. I, I hate drinking champagne. So, well, I don't drink anything like that anymore. But still, I hate drinking champagne. Like, champagne made me pee for, like, like I drink I drink one glass of champagne, I'll be peeing the rest of the day. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> I hate champagne. Yeah. My, oh, my God. My, my drink of choice is usually whiskey. Uh, I always make the joke of, I really like whiskey because it's one of those shows, this one of those drinks that really get, makes you, when you put it in your mouth, it really makes you think, why the fuck am I drinking this? 
Yeah. You can't really, you can't get drunk off of that. (laughs) Okay. Here's the thing. You need to try Screwball. It's called peanut, it's a peanut butter whiskey. It tastes just like, wait, wait, wait. Do you like Reese's? Or Reese's? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It tastes like a whiskey version of Reese's. It's Hmm. called Screwball. Super good. I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever had it, though. You need to have it. It's, (laughs) it's delicious. All right, fair enough. Uh, she had to edit. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she just did that. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Hopefully I will be too. Clearly you're still alive, Aaron. So it's all good. Believe me, you'd drink too if you worked here. Just look at the Brothers Five. Hey, did they, did they used to be better sick? Anyway, working at Future Evil Corp TM has come with some benefits, right? You know that they might be the old, pe- the the guys who used to be on this dating show. For some reason, you stuttered the uh, when you when you said those guys, and my brain auto filled it with the pirates who don't do anything. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah. Sorry. Good word. Drink, but we still have to pay for dental out of pocket. Damn, that's crazy. <clears throat> Before I forget what the show is all about, today's the day you go on a date with. Who's your other soulmate candidate again? Scarlet. Scarlet. How much did you drink last night, dude? Whatever, I knew that. Just testing you. Duh. She got drugged, didn't she? Something happened to her. Yeah. Right. All right, let's get the second date with Scarlet started. Woo! Whoa. Someone tell the world to stop spinning like a little witch. I've never had a hangover. There Me are, neither. There are a couple times oh, where, I, where I should have had a hangover and never had one. Never happened Back. to me. There was there was one time where I thought I was like, well, I'm gonna have a hangover tomorrow, and then I passed out for like a good twelve hours. Luna, Pretty sure it was twelve hours because that's what it felt like. <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready for a drinking story? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, here goes. So, it's Friday. Mm-hmm. I turned twenty one, so I'm legal now. Uh, actually, no, I don't technically think i was but you know we're we're gonna no i was legal the whole time anyway uh so uh we all had decided that we were gonna go out to a party it would have been my first actual party um because you know i was not old enough to go to one but uh uh i was really excited about that and so i started pre-gaming uh the party didn't happen till like 10 i started drinking like three um (laughs) <laughs> so first i started off with uh, just chilling with my friends uh watching uh, i think the boys actually because it was first on uh it was new one then when that show came out um and i was mixing kool-aid and vodka right i was like yeah this is the shit i'm calling this shit aid this is nice um and then we moved the party over to my friend's apartment so that way we didn't have to worry about being on campus because you, you can have a one bottle of alcohol on campus but it has to be under 50 percent, which we do not have um we went to we went to his apartment all right uh and then we started hanging out there and then we played like a uh we were all just drinking drinking all kinds of stuff uh i had uh a rum and cola i had uh you you know tech night uh kct because it was my first time having that that shit was nice too um i tried uh some of my friend nick's wine uh and you know mixing drinks gets you drunk right so uh yeah so i i know where my limit is and i hit that and i was like all right i'm gonna stop for a while but then they started playing drinking games and they played this one particular game where it was like you take all the cups uh, you take all, take a bunch of cups and put them like in a, in a circle um kind of like a bullseye kind of pattern right um and you like fill it on the outside and then 
fill some in the in mid middle and then pull some in the middle and then they go in in as it goes inward it progressively gets more mixed and mixed and mixed right and the goal yeah. and the goal of the game is uh it's like beer pong um but your goal I, I i don't remember if it was to get it in or miss entirely but one of them one of them it was like that and then if you whatever happens if you miss you you drink right i'm drunk mm -hmm. and i wanted to play but i'm already drunk so i start missing and i start drinking and then i get to the point where i'm like all right all right all right all right all right i really need to stop now uh and then i sit down on the couch and then I'm like, I'm I'm conscious enough to go, I'm tired and I should go to sleep. But I'm like, all right, I'll I'll try to sleep this off and then I'll come back. I'll, I'll come back for the for the actual party. It's like eight right now, so I go to sleep. I can Land? I I can kind of hear in the background. Is he okay? Yeah, no, no, no. He'll be fine. He's fine. He's good. He's good. I've seen this before. He's fine. And then I wake up. I don't know how long it was between in between that, but I heard that. And I wake up and I feel like my skin is on fucking fire. Do you know what was happening to me, Luna? What? What? I, no, no. I, I'm curious though. What? I had an alcohol-induced panic attack. What? I had an alcohol-induced anxiety attack. It just—I didn't even know that no, was a I thing. I didn't even know that I, was a fucking thing. But like, I woke up out of my sleep having a fucking anxiety attack. Uh, so that was fun. Um, so while I'm freaking out, I'm going like, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go chill in the bathroom. One of our friends who we're no longer friends with because he's a dick goes, hold on. I have to use the bathroom. So now I'm sitting here waiting. They take me into my friend's, uh, room. Uh, we we're sitting there waiting there as he's using the bathroom. Threw up everywhere. Naturally. Finally got the chance to use the bathroom. Of course, I get into the bathroom. I couldn't actually throw up. And then they take me home. They take me to my dorm, right? Uh, I'm able to fake, like, not being drunk enough to get up to get up to the uh, get up to my dorm, which is on the fifth floor. Um, I get into my mm -hmm. dorm. They tried to go. All right, get comfortable. And I take all my clothes and I uh, get in bed. And they go here. The trash can's right next to you. Uh. If you happen to need anything, uh, anything, we'll have our phones on us. Let us know. But you should go to sleep. And I was like, cool, bet. And I start nodding off. And you know what happens now, Luna? What? The fire alarm went off. Oh, that's that's just great. That's <laughs> that's freaking fantastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, this isn't a funny story. <laughs> the, the, no, I'm telling it the way it's supposed to be funny. You're fine. The fucking fire alarm went off. Uh, so naturally, my drunk ass has to get up, put on all my clothes, and then and then walk down five flights of steps out onto the fucking courtyard. I got into the fucking field and just laid there on the grass. It was so cold. It was. It felt so nice. But yeah, no, it did. It wasn't even like five minutes before after they left, before the fucking fire alarm went off. And then I had then the just, it was a dorm room. We couldn't use the elevator because so many people are trying to use the elevator. So I had to drunkenly carry myself back up five flights of stairs, and then do the same process over again. And then the next day I had to go to the hospital because I couldn't keep water down. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't drink like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what happened to me and why i stopped drinking this isn't why i stopped drinking i stopped drinking because i just felt like i needed to stop because i was getting to the point to where i wanted it like wanted it Got right it. yeah sure and i was like nope can't do that so i stopped completely i haven't touched a drop in i think a year and a half so yeah, yeah nice good uh but here's something that happened to me. I was catering at a frat party. And let's just say I was 21. <laughs> sure. Um, 
so I was catering at a frat party, you know, we were having fun or whatever, and I was just about cleaned up and frat party was still going, but the catering that we were getting paid for was done. So I cleaned up, made sure all the stuff was put back and came back to the frat party just to make sure that everything was cleaned up after that too, just in case there was any of our trash laying around that they wouldn't, that we wouldn't get docked for it. Right. Right. Um, because I was the I was the host to the catering thing and whatnot. Right. Anyways, that's not. But anyways, um. So, I um. <laughs> I had a few of the shots that were there. Bad idea. Whoever goes to a frat party, do not, 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 do not take any shots that were that are at a frat party just don't do it okay <laughs> nine times out of ten they're drugged so don't do it oh yeah no uh how did i know I, how I... did i know that they were drugged because as soon as as soon as it takes a lot to get me even a little bit tipsy let alone drunk okay i had two two not one two little shots so not even a full shot. They were tiny. They were tiny. They were they were tiny shots. They had like how do I say this? Like you know those little Dixie cups, like for that you get at church for the little uh, communion or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Like that's yeah, yeah, how much yeah. was in that shot. Like, okay, so this is even this is like a fourth of an actual shot glass. Got it. Base. Oh, hold on. I'm getting raided. Ludo uh, Lux Lux does Lux does stuff. How are you doing today? Thank you for the raid. Lux Cult. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, I am the Infinite Dragon. Uh, with me, I have uh, Luna Bear. Um, how are you guys doing? Were you guys playing this game? What were you guys playing? Thank you for the follow, Lux. Um, please, please, please follow this amazing dragon. He is absolutely phenomenal and hilarious and we are literally in the middle of story time so. yes yes we're, we're <laughs> please, telling please we're, we're, we're telling uh, uh stories about how we were drunk and stupid <laughs> so you guys came right. at the right time <laughs> um hold on hold on before we before you continue your story thank you noah sure um before we continue uh lex which girls were you going for i want to know which girls you were going for because we're going currently, we're going for Scarlet and uh, 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 fuck is her name? Allie. 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 Violet and Scarlet. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now you may continue, Luna. Okay. So we were. Oh, do you need me to shout Lux out? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. You can do it. Let me go back to Discord then. All right. Anyways, so we, <laughs> so again, like I said, you know, it takes a lot to get me drunk, like break time to get me drunk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And cause I'm just, I have this really, really high alcohol tolerance. It's just, it's a thing. I don't know why, but anyways, um, but I had these two itty bitty little shots and all of a sudden I felt like. I just drunk like six bottles. Like it knocked me that bad. So I knew, I knew for a fact these things were drugged. Yeah. I was like, great. I'm going to die. I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm going to die. It's okay. I had a good life. <laughs> like, <that's laughs> it'd be like that. When you, when, you, when, you, when you're a little bit too much into it, it'd be like, all right, I'm going to fucking die. This is it. This is how I ends. This is how it ends for me. <laughs> Thanks. I don't, I remember blurry bits and pieces of walking to a tree. And I remember laying on a hard floor, but I don't remember where until I woke up the next morning. Didn't wake up with a hangover, but I woke up with like really, really blurry vision. And I was in a tree house completely butt naked. Wow. I don't, don't ask me how I got up there. I don't know. I didn't even know where my clothes were. I had to literally walk back to my dorm room with somebody else's clothes that I found on the ground of the, the frat party. It was some dress. It I, fit I, me. So I, I like, oh, I, I, at least you got and, clothes. <laughs> at least I you got clothes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just put on uh, I put on one of the dresses that I found, and uh, it fit. So I was like, cool. And um, went back to the dorm. <laughs> and um, 
went, took a shower, and put her, whoever the dress that was in the washing machine, and put it in the dryer, and laid it out on the table, and marked it as lost and found. <laughs> <laughs> and then I never I mean, spoke I of that again. Mine, <laughs> so I didn't. I didn't keep it. It went mine, but you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's yeah. My clothes, so <laughs> like, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, that was uh that was that was my night that that's fun uh, <laughs> i'm gonna head to bed uh head out you guys have a good stream all right noah thanks for coming in thanks for the follow um and thanks for staying with the raid I appreciate you guys being here yeah raw paul bear hugs noah good night take care of yourself sweet dream all right we can now continue <laughs> <laughs> i'm all pretty right. much fucked aren't i I found Scarlet out, of the, uh, out for a stroll outside the mansion. She seemed a little down. Yo, Scarlet, you good? Jeez. Uh, uh, it's just you, Aaron. You almost give me a heart attack. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm just a bit on edge after the whole zombie dating thing, whatever it was. I guess I'm feeling a little sad about all that. Why? You saved everyone. We would need to. We wouldn't have needed to to save anybody if it wasn't for me. At least you fixed the situation, right? We don't got. We don't have banana zombies running around anymore. We're good. Without your help, they'd still be fucking running rampant. Still, they wouldn't have been running around in the first place if it wasn't for me. Yeah, but it's not the right answer, but I don't really give a fuck because we're not going for her, so. I mean, that's true, but hey, it makes for great TV. Which, inadvertently, is pretty good for keeping me alive, but I'll keep quiet about that part. Besides, you did it because you were trying to help me get my memories back. And that means more to me than I can say. I'm sorry I couldn't do it. If it's okay with you, I'll try. To, I'll try again, and I'm sure this time. Let's not worry about that for now. Thanks, Del. I appreciate it, really. I do. For now, I just want to get to know you better, Scarlet. We got interrupted last time, like twice, to say the least. Can you join me in making up for some lost time? That would be fantastic. Thank you. There's someone I want, somewhere I would like to go, if that's okay with you lead the way you won't regret it at least um i think you won't should i be worried about that <laughs> come on let's go she grabbed my hand and pulled me along with her you could say no to a girl who could turn you into a zombie <laughs> true it true where are we wait what the fuck Hey, what's up? No, no, we're in a we're, we're in some kind of arcade because this is the Dance Dance Revolution joint. Because they got the bars hey, in the back. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, the Asian guy's getting down at the fucking Dance Dance Revolution. Behold! There's a nightclub in the mansion? There is now. I made it myself. Bullshit. Dang, she was working. Bullshit. <laughs> Hey, yo, I want you to be my architect right quick. Right. Just get a Z ball. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Um, yeah, come here, Scarlet. Me and you, me and you gonna be good friends. Come yeah, here. like we so... can't, we can't date, but we gonna be good friends. All right. I'm fake, 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 fake. I mean, you know, I might not pay you, but I'll, I'll look at you. <laughs> <and I'm> like... <laughs> you get paid in exposure. All right. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for yeah, sure. Don't, yeah, don't, uh, don't do that. Pay your artist. Oh yeah, pay your artist. Pay your artist. Yeah, not your architecture though. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Granted. Oh I used wait, hold on, more... hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't realize this. This is the song Amy used when she got subscriptions. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to it. But this is the song that Amy uses when she gets subscriptions. What what song? I can't hear it. I can't hear any songs. What yeah, song? you turn on, turn on, turn on the stream. Alright, give me a second. Uh, let me go back. 
That is a song. Yeah. Huh. That's funny. I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> Sorry. Um, granted, I used it more as a testing ground than a real nightclub, but the staff really wanted something to blow off steam in. And okay, I cheated a little bit and made the robot that made the nightclub for me, but it still counts. Bullshit. I think you're probably the first person ever to say some crazy shit like that. Also, I didn't know you know how to build robots. That's pretty dope. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I get the feeling that building things makes people happier and um, was what I enjoyed the most before I came here. What do you mean by that? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> Actually, you're probably the one person who would. It's worth a shot. She doesn't remember anything either. Oh. Does she be like me? You're like me. I'm just like you. You know that's true. I know there's so much of my life I can't remember for some reason. I couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. There was a lot of broken people after the war in New Asia. <clears throat> Not just broken bones and missing limbs, but shattered minds and people trapped in their own heads. I was told I had a gift for research, a gift that might help those people and be able to, reach to reclaim their lives. So I finished school early, I got my PhD, and I led a task force that dedicated to helping the survivors. <clears throat> We help them forget their most painful, most traumatic memories and move on. That's my life, life's work, you know, but now... I can't remember what it was, how it worked, and if we even got anywhere with our research. Yeah, that's weird. Why are you missing that? Don't exactly... That's kind of weird. Isn't she the one who invented the amnesia drug in the first place? Yeah, and now she can't remember how to how to how it even worked. What? That's weird. Hmm. Do you think we're in a sim? Uh, definitely, but not the kind of sim that we're used to. Also, hey, uh, uh, Luna is with me. Hey, uh, she didn't stream yet, but she will. You should definitely follow her. Uh, she she will be streaming as soon as her model is ready to uh, to be doing things. So you know, follow her if you're if you're not already. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you, NP. Yep. Love you. Mhm. Mm Love you too. Anyway. Okay. To be completely honest, I can't really remember how I got here either. I'm sorry to ask you, but how the fuck did that happen? If I knew before, definitely don't know now. Maybe testing got dangerous and I wasn't willing to test on someone else? Uh, no, you definitely were. <laughs> Maybe I, I don't... I don't know. The crazy thing is, I went from that to being some kind of person on a dating show. Like, what the hell? Yeah, that does sound pretty weird. Almost really contrived. Like, there's something else going on here. And the idea of getting married in one week? Who wrote this, an idiot? I couldn't help but laugh. But for some reason, that's all I'm able to do. Not be able to help but laugh. But what do I even have to lose at this point? I wouldn't look at it that way. I can't remember anything either, but I'm alive, I guess. And as long as I'm alive, I've got everything to lose and everything to gain. An optimist. <laughs> well, that's worth something. I guess you'd understand better than anyone. What do you plan to do after all this is over? Have a bunch of kids. Honestly, I don't know. 
That would be one of us. I'm going to plan on having no kids. <laughs> I, I want three, but like, pregnancy's fucked up. I'm not even gonna lie. So I un I understand. I really do. Um, I want my memories. Oh, no, I I don't plan on having any because of a completely different reason, though. <laughs> okay. Um, if, should you mention that? That is up to you. I want my memories back, but if I can't get them back, I just try to make the best of things. That's some plan. The Bad dog. Sorry about that. You're fine. It happens. I'm still working the, the details out. Give me a, I'm still working the details out. Give me a break. At least you remember some things. I couldn't even remember my name at first. You got me beat there. We talked for a second. I thought she was going to say that she didn't remember her name. We talked for uh, hours about how we both felt uh, about our situations. The good things, the bad things, about forgetting who you are. We left about forgetting the embarrassing moments that probably plagued others uh, for a lifetime. We lamented the moments that truly made life worth living. The moments that, that made your life unique. Luna? Sorry about that. It's nice to have someone that understands. I didn't want my dog to be bark, bark, barking in no, here. No, listen, Sorry. listen, listen, listen. I have never once given a fuck. Okay? <laughs> Not once. It's fine. Thank you. Your dog can bark on, on thing uh, on stream. I don't care. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have someone that understands facts. Scarlet spitting facts. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've got a silly idea if you're interested. Let's hear it. Getting engaged in a week is stupid, and a person who agreed to that is even stupider than that. <laughs> but I I think I'd say yes if it were you, Aaron. Only to see where life would go with someone like you. Hey, next week you want to get married, Luna? <laughs> yeah, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's... uh. Let me finish. Regardless of who you ask on the last day, I'd like to be your friend in the times to come. If you'd be mine, I can't remember the last time I'd had a friend just to talk to about how I feel. I think this is the first time that I felt a little better about what happened. I want you to feel better about the past, too. I don't want you feeling alone in this world. It's sad enough, you know? And maybe I'm just being dumb, but who knows? Maybe if we were still in each other's lives after all of this, we'll be able to help each other and take back the lives that we wanted. What do you say? I was thinking the same thing, Scarlet. I'm glad, but how to say... I'll still prefer for if you pick me. What what can I say? I'm a bit competitive. On second thought, I'm very competitive. <laughs> Bitch, pick me or you die. Thanks. Pick me or be a zombie. Yeah, right. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, but out of all the girls, I'm the best educated and the most illustrious career and won first place in National Asian Science Exhibition and I laughed out loud as she listed her accomplishments one by one, and she made angry faces at at, at me in mock anger. But most of all, I want you to live a happy life, and I think someone else might get it wrong. Okay, first of all, she said that she had amnesia too. So, which is it? You remember all your awards, she, or she, you have amnesia? She she doesn't remember everything. She's there's some pieces she's missing. We have total amnesia. We don't remember shit. She has partial amnesia. Gotcha. Yeah. It seems fun to Most voice out. Colonel, her. I'm trying I'm to sneak, sneak around, around, but I'm, I'm dummy thick, thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. What? <laughs> uh, Ben played a, a, vo uh, a sound effect. Colonel, I'm trying uh... to sneak around, but I'm 
dummy thick, and the clap on my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Yay, that might, that might, you know, get you out of the Secret Service program. Just, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Being dummy thick. It seems fun, the voice act, but you would have to give me uh, a character that's male. Um, uh, I mean, I can do, like, I don't want to say gay. Uh, an effeminate character, I think. But they would have to be a belly effeminate character. Um, yeah, because you kind of have to sound like this. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. God. And for me, if it was a guy character, which I do voice act, I think, one, three, and five, right? Yeah. Yeah. You sound like this for most of the guy characters. <laughs> Not that I get it right or anything. I'm just saying, if you know. If, if, you're, if you're in Naomi's uh, 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 stream, redeem deep voice so she can do homie Naomi and tell me she doesn't sound Latina. <laughs> I don't know why, but that voice she does makes her sound Latina. I swear to God. I mean, if you're fine, I, I can. I thought she was Latina. She's no, Latina. she's black. She's she's what? <laughs> she's black. Bro, all this time I thought she was not. You would be was... you would be surprised how often she gets not black. <laughs> Some people thought she was Asian. No, I never thought she was Asian. I thought she was either white or uh. No, I didn't think she was white. I said she had a, a white-ish voice, but the way that she phrases things, I thought she was Latina. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed black if her tags didn't say black, but... Uh, this is your life. Oh, okay, no, 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 I, we read this. I'm pale as hell. Nothing wrong with that, just don't burn to death. We spent the rest of the evening enjoying each other's company. The laughter and smiles never stopped, and she never let go of my hand during our walk. Uh, your thing blacked out. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it was a thing. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was feeling too restless after today's date uh, to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. Oh, hey, Aaron. I was about to go check up on you. Or check, go up to check in on you. Wow, dyslexia. <laughs> hey there, cat. What's up? Um, there were some fancy desserts here from last week but i can't find them anymore i fucking ate them that's why don't leave them out that's stupid did you You're say you... Full of <laughs> did <people>. you <laughs> yeah that's true that's fine i mean i have a lot Come of freckles Fre Fre freckles i don't know i think most people look good with freckles you know facts wait who said that they have a lot of freckles Dan. Dan? Mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah they do Yep. I guess I'll have to take that out of the brothers' five paychecks. I'm pretty sure they're not the ones who did it. How do you know it was them? I mean, yeah. They're like clockwork. Uh. I look like a deer with headlights from the other end of the kitchen. Cat hadn't seen her yet. Actually, that actually makes the most sense. She's the most active. She probably would need the most food. She's probably hungry as me. Yeah. She made direct eye contact with me and then hightailed it out. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Scarlet today go? Well, I didn't pork her, but it was pretty all right. I'd say it was pretty awesome. Yeah. It was amazing. I feel like I really got to know the real Scarlet today. For the first time, I think I've truly been understood. I'm glad to hear that, Aaron. Really. Scarlet puts a front like it's nothing that the Scarlet puts on a front. That's nothing new. How she really is. And I'm glad you can see behind it. She must really trust you. I'm glad she does. Believe me. Believe it. Believe it. More important. <laughs> More importantly, though, Scarlet's fan base has been ravenous for new content from what I saw what you delivered today. Uh, what was the line? Anime is only real when you don't believe it, so believe it! That doesn't, that doesn't make sense, bro. That doesn't make, anime is only real when you don't believe it. Oh, you're talking <laughs> about, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anime is only real when you don't believe it? <laughs> 
<laughs> Spare guy! <laughs> Bro, it's not real! It's not real! Yeah. Ah, man! <laughs> <laughs> he goes, dash, 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 dash. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm playing that whole video and it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I'm a solid 85% sure that you won't wake up in a torture chamber tomorrow morning. Good job, Aaron. Why would they torture 85%? me? 85%? Why would they torture 85%? me? 85%? I don't fucking care. 85%? You should be 100%. 1, 0, 0. No less than that. Objection. Uh, yeah, no. Objection is right. Um, check funny stuff in your server. How important is it for me to check funny stuff in my server right now? Like, on a scale of like one to like actually right now. Um, because <laughs> five. All right, then I'll check it after. I'll check it after stream. Um, what was I saying? Why would they torture us? The goal is for us just to just die right like they just kill us yeah. afterwards so why would you torture me i don't understand this this shouldn't i don't know. thanks bitch <laughs> <laughs> anyway you're probably safe for at least another day thanks to ongoing rivalry between scarlet and Allie. <laughs> the stakes are rising and so are our precious ratings so without further ado it's time for phase three You've only got one date left with each of them before the final day. Say your prayers. So make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Yes, sir. Alrighty then. Good. I need to get back to preparations for tomorrow's show. And you better rest up for tomorrow. You only get the first third date with the girl, right? One first third good <laughs> It sounds good to me, Luna. It sounds good to me. You just called Cat Luna. That's I know. Funny. I did that shit on purpose. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> See you later. Good night, Cat. And thanks for the help. I realize I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I mean, yeah, we are not out of the woods yet, but still, I had a weird face to show you, and I thought I I, I thought it showed my emotional damage. Emotional I, damage. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shit eye and have weird dreams. I swear, if he, I thought you said shit eye. All right, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. Time to get some pink eye. Anyway. <laughs> I told you the dwarf wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to uh, escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. Going to rip his nuts off! You can't! Yes, I can if I use a twisting motion! Why, you cut man? Off, Enfy? Oh. Why? I was man? like, you cut off. <laughs> I don't understand. What, for what reason? It, again, they played, I'm going to rip his nuts off! You can't! I can! I can use a twisting motion! Um... <laughs> I, I still <laughs> I still love that so much. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. Because the main character needs no nuts, got you. That's you, Luna. Oh, sorry. We'll go through the forest, come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth wasn't that far from it, honestly. Okay, I can see the prayer pier now. Not prayer. Pier now. I can see the physical prayer now. Sorry. And the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. Ah, she would always put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We're gonna make it, right? Probably not, but, you know, I'll say yes just in case. The boat's just a little further. No one's on our tail. I can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally... We're finally gonna leave. Finally. About time, if you About ask me. About time, if you ask me. Oh, sorry. 
I dreamt of this moment every day since. Who knows how long we've been trapped here by now. She's about to get freaking murdered. But I never thought I could escape until I got, you know? I laughed. You're giving me too much credit. This is your idea. Find any other sane person, and they would have told you the same thing. Sane people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you, though. You can talk about this when you're off the island. How about that? She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Not, not wrong about that. Let's get back to the matters at hand. We both know that this is where rubber meets the road. Yeah. I'm not just mad dash to the finish. You ready? No. I'm kidding. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I'm laughing because that's a me joke. As a matter of fact, I did it earlier. Um, that favorite sound of mine, once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. The next day, I woke to the sound of a fucking explosion. I ran outside as fast as I could. What the... First thing I saw was Scarlet and uh, and black smoke. I said I, I I read black mole and I was like she doesn't have a black mole anywhere on her body. Uh, Scarlet in a black mole. Damn it! Smoke emanating from the 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 ground near her. Okay there, Aaron. Oh hey there, Aaron. Nice. <laughs> said okay. Oh hey there, Aaron. Nice weather we're having, huh? Hey Scarlet, you good? What's going on? I'm pretty good, all things considered. I've been experimenting again today, trying to bring back people's memories with the whole monkey zombie kit. I figured, and and if you, I ever, well, you know, I, I, I'd want us to know everything about each other. I like your embarrassed face. That's cute. No secrets. I like that, Scarlet. Thanks. I'll let you know if I make any progress with it. I gotta clean this up. Give me a minute and then we can head back to the forest. I've been meaning to spend some more time there since I got to the island. If our protagonist is a real man, he'll help. Sounds good but... by me. He's a bitch. Rip his nuts off, man. We walk together through the forest, hand in hand. Talking about things we do after we got uh go off got off this island, talking about everything and anything. After we're off the island, whatever happens, do, do you maybe wanna uh, catch a movie together? Hey Carnage. Sure, but why a movie? Can it be Godzilla? I really want to watch Godzilla. You can laugh, but there's a part of me that just wants to be a regular girl for a day. That's something I can never forget. Have you seen uh, Shin Godzilla? Um, no. I've seen the original Godzilla. Oh my gosh, Shin Godzilla is such a... Shin Godzilla is like a soft reboot of Godzilla, uh, where Godzilla is still the bad guy. Good lord, it's so good. It's so good. I love that movie so much. Oh, I did see, I think it was King Kong versus Godzilla, if that I'm not movie, mistaken. But I have Shin Godzilla, a while. Shin Godzilla shits all over that movie. <laughs> it was a, You're kidding. Listen, listen. I love the idea of fucking a giant uh, fucking ape fighting a giant fucking dinosaur, fighting a giant robot dinosaur. In fact, they did it quite well. Shin Godzilla, in my opinion, shits all over that movie. Yeah. 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 Uh, Shin Godzilla makes Godzilla like terrifying, and I love that. <clears throat> You're lying. I'm definitely okay. gonna look it up later. No, no, like I'll I'll, like I'll, I'll I'll schedule the time for us to watch that together. But it'll, it'll be all right. Yes. <laughs> Please do. All right. 
I'm sorry. And I like it if I could be that way with you. What do you say? I'd like that. <laughs> Scott did a little dance of happiness. That's cute. I always like that. We spend the rest of the morning together in the woods, enjoying each other's company, and maybe a little bit more than that. Not gonna lie, Godzilla put Kong in the floor so easily in that movie. Yeah! That's me. Listen, I like King Kong, alright? I really, really do. But you're not beating a fucking nuclear radioactive goddamn giant dinosaur. You're just not. That's why they had to cheat and give him that goddamn axe. Somehow in the middle of it all, I forgot what kind of show I was on. He would, have so <laughs> he would have to have the brain of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, to get they away with some shit like that. Though. Yeah, <laughs> like for real. For real. I like how we keep trying and still fail because King Kong ain't got shit on Godzilla, which is funny because the quote's actually backwards. Anyway, uh, I forgot what kind of show I was on for a first place. I forgot what kind of stream this was for, for a second there. It was just me and her. Text. <laughs> In this moment, more, more than ever, I was glad to be alive. <laughs> Morning, Aaron. Oh, sorry, I had to readjust things because my dog decided to fall asleep right on where PC was. And I'm like, no, you can't sleep there. So oh. give me a second. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I watched Shin Godzilla when my family was in the hospital. I'm uh, sorry to hear about your family, but Shin Godzilla is a very good movie. Yes. Very good, very, very good. I love it, I love that movie. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon, or die. No idea if that's gonna have any less headaches, though. Well, I'm not- I don't have an impending doom, so I would assume, yeah, it'd be better. But maybe I do have an impending doom, it's just something else. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been, it hasn't been all bad. I did mention that other people would kill you, would, would, but the other people would kill to be in your position, right? On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Yeah, like, this all hinges on the fact that you also have to have game, and, uh, most people don't, so. 99.9% .9 of guys don't. Almost all girls don't really have to have game. Yeah, you just kind of. If you're a girl, don't sit there and say you have to have game. No, you don't. I mean, you just have to find a guy who is either desperate enough or has always been alone. One of those two. You can have game. It doesn't hurt. You don't really. You don't really need to. What'd you say? I said you can. <laughs> Hi, kid. Um, you can have game. It doesn't really hurt, but I mean, you don't. You don't really need to. True, true. Guys, you need to get on your shit. Did I just hear booba alert? Yes, you did. Hi, <laughs> Kit. If I hear that randomly, it's always Kit. Um, that's your line. Sorry. Well, back to business. It's time to pick up who you'll go on the first and third date with. First, third date with. We have two third dates. First, third date with. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Who's the unlucky soulmate candidate today? I think we go on a date with both of them, but just in case, Allie. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not sure if your dates with Allie are really dates or just more of trying different kinds of transportation. <laughs> Thanks. But hey, whatever floats your boat. That is hilarious. I was about to say, we did that Sorry. already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my 10-year-old uh, brother was on the hospital bed and couldn't walk or speak, but... Me and my family cried when we saw him smiling watching Shin Godzilla. He's a big fan of Godzilla. He's better now. That is so sweet. I'm glad I'm glad he was happy uh, watching Godzilla Carnage. Let's get those cameras rolling. Yeah, so another reason Shin Godzilla shits all over Godzilla vs. King Kong. It makes 10-year-old boys smile. 
And what's 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 worth more than the youth smile? I don't know where I was going with this joke, but I can't get it out. Okay. All right, I'm done. Uh, I found Allie by the beach, or more accurately, she came sprinting at me at full speed. You're not. I'm oh, sorry. You're not going to believe this, Aaron. What's that? All right. Who took my keys? You've got 10 seconds before I take it out of Forrest's paycheck. Oh, come on. Er, well, walk and talk. Come on. At this point, I feel like the Brothers Five, like, owe them money. Like, that's... Even though that the Brothers Five literally took and stole nothing. Yeah, they did Allie nothing. Stole food, keys, freaking. <laughs> they've done it. Like, act... Allie's like a maniac for sure. Yeah, they, they've definitely done nothing wrong, and now they have to pay the show money at this point. It's truly a miracle for uh, mm -hmm. for me and him. We're not supposed to be here from that mm -hmm. accident. That's crazy. I'm glad. I'm glad you got through that, then, Carnage. Well, let's walk and maybe more like run like hell. Four is not gonna be happy when it finds out that I. Uh, whatever. Just come on. She grabbed my hand and pulled me with her into the forest, clearing nearby. What's going on? You're not gonna believe what I just found. What's that? Well, I was wondering how to top the two previous dates when I stumbled upon. Oh, uh, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. Uh, I'm gonna have to close my eyes again, right? I love how fast you're learning things, Aaron. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand pulled, uh, with one hand and pulled me along with the other. How? My brain physically cannot function that, 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 uh, how that works. Do you get it? I don't get it. Um, well, technically a Terminator since I got titanium in my leg and eye. Your eye? How does that work? Uh, she pulled me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying it, though. Is this a staircase? It's like metal beneath me. Did you get a fucking submarine in a, in the middle of a forest? It's a titanium screw. How does that work, though? Just a bit more now, all right? Huh? You can open your eyes now. All right, not a submarine, but this is close enough. Also, this is the plane that we were in. How the no fuck? No freaking way. Don't tell me this is actually a yacht. No, it's a plane. It's a plane. We were inside a small plane, the very one I'd been rudely awakened in my first day here. How would you even? I was just sitting in the forest and then so I thought, why not, right? It was a small fraction on the bottom of my eye, so they needed to put a plastic plate with a titanium screw. My eye was singing into my skull. Huh. I have so many questions about his eye and the game. Wait a minute, how are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, Ellie rushed to the cockpit. Ah, shit. He is hoping this is better than the rollerblades. I wonder what this big red button does. Ah, fuck. God damn it. I ran for the door, but it was already shut tight. And away we go. The engine of the plane roared as we took off. I slammed into the side of the door. <sighs> Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing. If you want, I can tell you uh, on Discord. I have a picture of my X-ray. No, I was kidding about the questions. You basically explained what I wanted to know. You put a big juicy red button on there and put the unattended and you expect a good tennis and like me not to press it? You're bonkers. True. The kid, kid agrees. You got a point, <laughs> but do you have any idea how to fly this thing? Wait a minute, if you're talking to me here, then who's then who's flick who was flickering the lights? Nels for Ratu. Huh? 
technically nobody, but... Crash. <gasps> the right putting the plane smash into the tree. We hit uh, hit it hard enough to be slightly for it to be slightly deformed. Ugh. Oof. I slammed into the wall yet again. Well, didn't need that wing anyway. We still have the other one. Exactly like kidneys. That's not how. No. <laughs> <laughs> You can imagine NP being on this plane. That's not no. Wait no. Uh, no no man. No. How how did we get here? <laughs> forget killer di uh, dating death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Allie was gonna be the fucking death of me. I tried to run oh, to the cockpit, heck? but it was all I could. <laughs> but it was all I could do to stay upright as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding. I got this. Got what? We don't have a wing. Allie ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball in a pinball machine. <laughs> <I'm hilarious. laughs> Alright, I got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. How? We don't have a wing! That's what I was saying. Oh, thank God. I was really thought we were going to crash. Oops. Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow, it bit back into its original shape. What? N that's not how metal All works. Right. Uh, that's not how anything works. No. <laughs> Alright. Not so bad if I do say so myself. I mean, you're just a regular engineer, aren't you? Alright. <laughs> that was dumb looking. You fucking know it. And now for the moment you all been waiting for. We started getting altitude. Slowly at first, then faster, then faster, and higher, and higher. Before long, we were soaring high above the trees. Ali yelled out in triumph. Run. Run. I joined in and yelled out with glee. It's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash? Flying free without it, what's the point of living? You talking about freedom or flying? <laughs> Why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew us up here. Alright, take care of yourself, Carnage. Enjoy your food. What's that, Ellie? It's the only place I could find with one island that wasn't bugged. No one can eavesdrop on us here. We're going to die. Sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard the, me to stable the bugs in here. Oh, yo, she was smart. Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the rollerblades in the boat earlier. Find the safe place to talk as fast as possible. I'm guessing you know what the show is really about, then. Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Fortunately, I don't think you do, and I can't risk telling you everything either. What? Why? Believe me, you better off not knowing. What? Allie, what are you hiding? Who are you actually? For real, for real. Look, we don't have too much time before we have to land. This thing's almost out of fuel. Sure, no, we already started descending. Please just trust me, I'm on your side, Aaron. I know there's so many lies going around here, but I really do want to help you get you out of here. Though I have to admit, I wasn't on my to-do list at first. It's a good thing you just so darn cute. <laughs> I'm kidding. Jeez. You trust me? Do we trust her? Yes. All right. I'm put this right here. I'm going to say no just to see what happens. No. You don't have to trust me. All you have to know is that I came to save you. Okay. I'm, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm loading that. Fuck that. That was that was lame. I wanted her to like kill us immediately or something. 
Yeah, we, of course we trust you. Of course I trust you. You know that. You won't regret it, I promise. So what can you tell me? There's no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find that people I work with need. It's life or death. Not just you and you and me, but for countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't g give up until I have. Oh, at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Who? Who, 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 bitch? Who? God? No time to talk. We're almost back range of the island's recording network. No matter what, don't tell anybody what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you can trust them. Are we clear? Crystal. Complaint flew lower and lower. Alright, we're about to be back in the recording zone. What else? What else? Ah! Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That really doesn't limit it much. <laughs> I guess not. After we landed, Cat scolded us for taking the plane. I was kidnapped. Cat and Ellie seemed to exchange more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. But luckily, nothing really came of it. I'm still alive, so I'm, I'm good. Next, the break. <laughs> Next, the production staff separated Ali and I, and it looks like Cat had arranged something special for the two of us. All I was told is that I wasn't allowed to see until Al uh, see Ali until evening. Apparently, that was the nicest time to film. Yeah, the golden hour is pretty nice. Till then, the production team helped me to look the uh, look the part of a romantic novel protagonist. I was dressed to the nines. Tech nine? I have sat uh, through a few hundred photo shoots and interviews before they told me it was time to see her. But she didn't change outfits. But it was worth it. Wow, even for this island, you're still wearing the same goddamn outfit. Even for this island, this place is fancy with a capital F. Tell me about it. I broke one plate here and I have to pay for it for the rest of my life. I mean, uh, welcome to the Ocean Palace. Allow me to show you to your seat. Two gestured uh, at me to follow him. I only took it a few steps when I saw her, and when I did, I couldn't help but crack up. You know, I kind of expected you'd be dressed up too, given all the shit the crew put me through. What's the point? I just get it. Sorry, it'll just get ruined. How would it get ruined? Oh, you'll see. Come on. She reached for my hand, I put mine in hers with a smile on my face. She pulled me along with hers towards the door. Whoa! We stumbled against a table which knocked a plate onto the floor. It probably shattered into a gajillion pieces. In case you were watching, Cat, that was two. I knew I should have just been an accountant. She laughed as she pulled me along with her uh, to the outside. The night air had never tasted so fresh, but we didn't even eat. Each breath of uh, for air was a each breath for air as we ran along the road made my worries and fears just disappear. Eventually, we ran all the way out to the beach. Come on! She tightened her hand and pulled me along with her uh, with her to the water. My feet are starting to hurt from these dress shoes that they put me in. Wait just a. She laughed like a maniac as she cannonballed us into the ocean. My first instinct was to swim back up for the surface, but then Allie put her hands against my face and looked deep into my eyes. She smiled and then kissed me passionately. It was a time I'd stop. A few minutes later, we went back up to surface. I uh, figured you can use a fun distraction from everything that happened there, Leah. Was she doing this for me? I never know what to I never expect. Know. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what to expect with you, you know. And you never will. It was a night to remember for sure. I still have the blisters. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> After today's date with Ellie, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. 
The night was clear as it could, as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that I need to put more on. Found myself fixating um, on the... Are you good? Yeah, it's just my phone going off, sorry. Uh, I found myself fixating on the moon without thinking. I thought I'd find you here. Why is that? Just a gut feeling in that island-wide surveillance system. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Can't believe the show's almost over. It didn't really... It didn't feel real earlier today. Time sure flies, doesn't it? You only got the last third date, which is with Scarlet tomorrow. And then the final ceremony on the last day on the uh, sorry, on the day after. That's such a weird statement. The last third date. Yeah, I, that that's what throws me off. <laughs> Speaking of which, how was your date with Allie today? Awesome. Probably shouldn't tell the whole truth, but enough of it should be good. It was pretty awesome. I don't know how, but the more time I spend with Emily, the better it gets. Being married to her would make every day an adventure, and I might die, but it, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be an adventure, but that cherry's on out of here, the one to walk away from. But I can see that she makes you happy. And really, that counts for a lot nowadays. So, you might want to start wearing body armor if you want to start that way. <laughs> yeah. Who knew that three dates were all you need to figure out a marriage would last? If this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe I should become a marriage counselor, hmm? Um... Anyways, I love to stay in chat. But I gotta get some work done to repair for tonight ending of the show you know what i could use some company and it's not like you were up to anything that's rude but okay cat reached her hand out to me and put my hand in hers on i put my hand in hers on instinct all right all right calm down with her hand in mine she pulled but me with her to the library now you probably want Wonder why I bring a year of all places. Cause it's beautiful and I love it. Cause you like to read? Well, yeah, but no. Nah. There's no internet for us goons. So here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security details, guard schedules, and more importantly, salary records. Tend in plain sight as regular books. You need to know how to decipher them, though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting and really unnecessary, but who's here to read a... Who here is going to read a book? Oh, I knew that state of education was bad, but not this bad. Yeah, no. A lot of people don't read books anymore. Even if, they, even if people do read, a lot of people just go straight to ebooks. It still doesn't answer why you brought me here, though. What were you going to say? I take an offense to that. I literally read almost every single day. Uh, an actual book. So, you, my friend, are a book nerd. You were an exception yeah. to the rule. <laughs> <laughs> so? <laughs> book, you know, book nerds do not count in the, in the statistic. You were an outlier. Um... As soon as you said outlier, my dog looked at me like I was the dumbest person on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Even your dog knows, right? Even your dog knows. <laughs> Still don't explain why you brought me here, though. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here, so... I'm sorry, I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up from this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need to reference. You want me to be your monkey? So, 
Go fetch. Would you grab... <laughs> Want me to grab your books for you? Oh, sorry, that's you. You want me to grab your books for you so you could just sit there? Yeah. I'm go so glad you understand. Now go fetch. Thank you. And you know I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive, and it's just a teeny tiny favor. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pal. Yeah, sure, cat. It's the least I can do. Great! Alright, to start. I need you to grab me the Princess of a Veranda and a hundred easy recipes for a Philosopher's Stone. And... I regret everything. Why am I alive? This must be the hundredth batch of books I've had to deliver. It's been hours. I'm tired. My feet hurt. I want to sleep. It's 6 a.m. Seriously, whoever designed the system should be shot. <laughs> I... <laughs> 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 I tried to read a few of the books I was delivering, but like I, like Kat said, this seemed just like a regular goddamn book. And that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Aaron. Uh, have you ever read Bram Stoker's Dracula? I did. Oh, I love it. It's so good. I like it better than the uh, actual Dracula, like the original. Like um, the only movie? because. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, not the movie. I'm talking about like the the original Dracula, like the original original the original writings of Dracula. The reason why is because the original writings of Dracula made him out to be such a, just like a hard creature. Like he was not even human, you know. And yeah, that's how it used to be like that. Um, they vampires were depicted as like well, th it was a misunderstanding. Uh, vampires had uh, people were confused when they dug up graves and saw like the fucking bloated distorted mass of a fucking dead body with their uh their mouths bleeding and then yeah so it was gross vampires are gross and then uh a trend came that made them sexy and now they stay sexy for forever now but yeah continue yeah for sure for sure for sure <laughs> <laughs> um but they also found out that there was a lot of uh people who became missing from graves because of grave robbers yeah and then people were like, well, no, it's not grave robbers, because who would be dumb enough to, you know, rob graves? Then Mary Shelley wrote a book called Frankenstein, and then after that, they were like, nope, that's stupid too. Vampires. Yep. <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the description of Frankenstein was that he was beautiful except for his eyes. Uh, if you're talking about Frankenstein as in the scientist... I'm yes. sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, the, uh, the monster, the monster. The monster? Yeah. He was described as... He had parts of beautiful people, if that makes sense. Okay. And yes, his eyes were dull and dead compared to an actual live person's. Interesting. Um, I haven't read the book since high school um that's your line yeah sorry 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 i thought we were still talking about frankenstein oh no i, I did I, yeah so i i do that because i don't have anything to add to this so let's go back to what we were doing <laughs> gotcha 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 i'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something at that right uh that was pretty much slave labor you know how i feel about that shit yeah you can love it I like to think of it as more of unpaid charity work. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. You've got one last day tomorrow. Don't mess up. <laughs> I said that and I felt a fire in my throat. I'm like, oh, he's going to kick me off this tree. <laughs> no, so I actually learned today. Uh, I, I learned today by uh, hanging out with my the homie Cunning Links that uh, my favorite joke is racism because it's dumb. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Racism is stupid and they, therefore makes it funny. Yeah, tell me about it. You, you, oh, I'm not going to divulge into that, but yes, it yeah, is. Yeah. Uh, people should love people. If you don't, get off this stream. Anyways, Agreed. I'm curious on what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here. And honestly, I'm going to have a bunch of paper now. Um, 
<laughs> I'm going to have a bunch of kids and neglect them. Um, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out what my life was before. I don't know. That's a good start, as any. Well, I gotta get back to in editing. Night, Aaron. That chick don't stop working. She really don't. Uh, see you, cat. Guess I'll head back to my room and call it a night. And by night, I mean two hours, because that's how much sleep I'm getting. Thanks. You can still see the sun at the corner of that window right there. Excuse me, the alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. Oh, he's dreaming. I was like, what the fuck? We made it to the ship, but it wasn't enough. Our one saving grace, the ship, wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there was no time to fix it. That's it, then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Aaron. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last, uh, last of her strength. All that's left to do now is wait. Goodbye, love. Oh, well, isn't this the worst place I thought I could wake up to yesterday? What? You want to try that again? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did, I don't think you said any of those words correctly. Yeah, I said, oh, well, this is the worst place I thought I could wake up. It, oh, I put two in it. My bad. Okay, alright. Because I, I was like, she didn't read that correctly. Uh, My bad. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that as a compliment. She laughed and pinched my cheek. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. If somebody ever pinches my cheek, like, that's one, that's cause for a fight. Don't do that, bro. Like, unless the girl likes it, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to a guy either, unless he likes it. Just don't do that, alright? Alright. You know what I hate? I hate being poked. Poked, I'm okay with. Pinched, I'm not okay with, unless I mean, I'm in like, other areas. I, I, hey, I, um, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of, like, getting pinched either. But I can I can I can stop you from from pinching me. A poke is just quick enough to where I can't stop you. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get mad. Don't do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Did you read that already? Uh huh. I said it's been a blast, Aaron. Yeah. Here, I need to give you that first right. before I continue. All right. Ugh. <sighs> I have some more cruising around to do, and I think you've got another date you're on your plate today. Yeah, it's just on the show. So... She was gone before I even had the chance to finish my sentence. Uh, Luna wants me to... Or, wow, Kit wants me to hydrate. That woman is a force of nature. Good call on the hydrate, uh, Kit, because I have to do this guy's voice and it's gonna fuck up my throat. <laughs> well, look who cr- Well, okay, hold on. <coughs> <laughs> well, look who crawled out of an uh, economy class airplane toilet. And good morning to you too, dickhead. Aaron, don't mind my urge. Don't mind him. Your brother? Don't mind my brother? Is that what you were about to say? Brother, boyfriend, dad. Damien was just telling me the news. Your ratings are doing really well so far. At this rate, I really don't think you'll make it out of here. That's not what she said. I'm sorry, I really think you'll make it out of here. Well, my brain's saying I don't think he's going to make it out of here. So yeah. That's what I read. <laughs> yeah, uh, Freud didn't slip there. That's great news. All right, sorry. <laughs> no one celebrates just yet. Just because you've done well till now doesn't mean you won't fuck up today. The ratings today need to be higher than they've ever been, or you get axed. Literally axed, if you don't take my meaning. If I'm around when you're num uh X literally fell around when your numbers wrong. Guess we'll find out that together, won't we? Later. 
sorry about him. He can be a little mean sometimes. A uh, murder threat is a little mean. Anyway, <laughs> you ready for your last date with Scarlet? It's just this last date, then tomorrow will be the final ceremony. Ready mm -hmm. as I'll ever be. Fantastic! Then we'll start this filming right away. Good luck, Aaron. You'll need it. Thanks, Kat. And all you want. Well, I owe you my life, but you know, whatever. It's time for my last date with Scarlet. Johansson. I mean, she can pass. Ayo. I found she Scarlet <laughs> Scarlet in the same place I met her. Uh, she was engrossed in a book while, with a pile of books next to her. They look worn, as if they've been read over and, uh, and over through the years. Hey there, Scarlet. What, what you reading? Uh, Aaron, uh, just an old fairy tale. Really? I'm surprised you would read something that would throw signs out the window. I'm a woman of very days. Well, I mean, fiction is just something science hasn't accomplished yet. I quite like these stories, especially this one, and that is true. Which one are you reading? It's called The Prince of Avaranda. That's not what that says. Avaranda. The you, Princess you, of Avaranda. Yeah, you said, you said prince. <laughs> oh, I said prince? Yeah. I don't want to read a princess book. I want to read a prince book. I mean, I'm straight. But anyways, go ahead. So It's really <laughs> funny that you say that because you've been hanging on the cross this whole time. Um... Don't get me wrong, I'm not stating that I don't like anime chicks, but that doesn't make me sh not straight in real life. Don't get me wrong, I'll still do a chick, like, for real. But if it comes to, like, dating or who I'm actually interested in, yeah, I'm straight. Luna, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think you know what straight means. <laughs> no, straight means that, um, who, who would you want to spend the rest of your life with? Of course it would be a guy, but if that guy happens, you know, to want, like, a threesome or anything and he doesn't want to do it with a guy, I'm okay with doing it with a girl. I'm gonna let that slide. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that at all. Really, it's silly. Doubt you'll be interested in. Try me. I smiled at her, and she smiled back to me, at me in kind. Well, I mean, yeah. And speaking of not reading things right, you have literally ad libbed over half of these scripts, and you're talking like talking about me, bruh. <laughs> have you not seen any of my streams? That's what I do here. <laughs> and you want to sit there and criticize others for not reading that right? Mm -hmm. I, I said when we started, I'm going to criticize her, and everything I'm going to say is going to be incorrect. I said that. Did I not say that? That's true. Yes, you did. You said I'm gonna fuck up every single Going thing. Going to rip his off. You, you can. did. So yes, it's fine. I can. I use a twisting motion. Okay, I don't see why not. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. My god. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's it. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> I'm back and I. Uh, I had to say hi to some friends. Hello, fan. Hey, then. <laughs> There's a young girl, Nera. There's a young girl, Nera, who was the princess of the kingdom of Aver princess of the kingdom of Avaranda, which was far, far away from civilization. Unlike the other princess before her, she had no timing for plot taking, politicking. Sorry, I was like, what? Is that spelled wrong? I think that's spelled wrong. Politicking, politicking. Does politicking have? I don't think it has a K. A K. I don't think it has a K in it. I thought it was just a C. Anyways, or parties. She she spent all of her time building all sorts of gadgets for her family and her friends. Oh, it's going to bother me now. Hold on. You got to look it up if it actually... Yeah, <laughs> no, no, it's going to bother me now. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Hi, Kit. Thighs, facts. <laughs> no, politicking does have a K in it. No fucking way. Why does it look wrong? Then? I, I have no idea. Well... Like a robot dog that would eat the vegetables they didn't want to eat. Oh, I gotta try my hand at this sometime. What? Scarlet giggled like a child. <laughs> Nira has blissfully 
has has a blissfully half half that I can't read. Nair has blissfully a happy child. She even falls in love with a commoner named Aloria. Though her kingdom would never approve of their relationship, Nera and Aloria never failed to see each never failed to see each other in secret. Every night by the crooked trees in the western forest. Nice, nice shot! <laughs> Get it? Because they're not oh, straight. Yeah. Oh yeah. But those days don't last. One day her mother, the queen, <gasps> is taken by a witch never to be seen again. And her and Nera is forced to become queen at the age of sixteen. Oh no! <laughs> Man, what are you on about, bro? <laughs> oh no! What? What's he on about? He played nice shot, and then he he he, <laughs> he then said nice shot also means nice cut. I mean, what? Oh, so have you uh, have you seen um, Squid? Have you seen Squid Stream? Liquid no. Squid? No, I know who you're referring to though. Yeah, he has this uh, redeem, and it literally goes nice cock. I'm like, it literally goes like that. So <laughs> uh, really hear it. Have you you've heard my uh, my raid sound, right? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm yeah. about to go back to your stream so I can turn it up. Okay, what does it sound like? Uh, uh, so you know how like Sega has the whole entire Sega. Yeah, so yeah. it's a guy screening uh, in front of it, so it goes, nigga. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, yeah, let's say, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, say it, say it. We dare you. <laughs> say the word you want to say. I'll, I will say it with you. <laughs> <laughs> In her mother's absence, Nera d does her best to lead the kingdom, and for years, it prospers. She has, she, she's like no other leader they've had before. But secretly, she wants to leave as queen. She has no more time for the things or people that she loved with all her heart. She cries every night alone. But she knows she can't. Too much responsibility falls on her. Then one day. Nera is cursed by the same witch that took her mother and forgets everything. Her name, her family, her kingdom. Everything except for Alora, the desire and the desire to leave. And so she leaves and no one in the village ever sees her again. I won't bore you with the rest of the story, but thanks for listening until now. Um, uh, bitch, you stopped at the best part. Facts. If you wanted to stop at any point, you should have stopped when they were getting together under those crooked trees. I'm just saying. Facts. Fucking like. <laughs> oh, come on, believe me, Scarlet. I want to hear this to the fucking end. Especially because you like it so much. I looked deep into her eyes and I could tell just how much she loved this story. Nah. <laughs> well, there's really not much left, but. Well, Nira and Alora live a wonderful life in a na neighboring kingdom for many years. If there is not much left, then why did you stop? But one day, she remembers everything and rushes home, worrying for her people. When she gets there, she, she sees her people have been ruled by the very same witch who took her memory. And that her people no longer prosper the way that they did under her rule. In anger, Nira confronts the witch on the border of Avaranda. The witch takes off her cowl, revealing herself to be Nera's mother, the lost queen. Nera's mother given her an ultimatum. She can return, ruling the kingdom, but she can never leave again. Or she can leave now and never come back. Damn. And that's where the story ends. You never get to know what Nera makes. Making my way through the hood, sipping this yak. Niggas about to get blown with the Mac. Black, 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 black. Making my oh, way through the hood. <laughs> Riding around the block with a Glock. Yo ass finna get shot. <laughs> that's the sound of oh, 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 oh. That's the grenade <laughs> I'm sorry. The tension break on that was too real. Someone clip that for me. <laughs> I was like, Someone clipped that for me. Like, 
<laughs> like I really like not, <laughs> I was so interested in that fucking story and then I just hear making my way through the hood sickness <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can clip that right quick. I hope that I got it. I think Pantosh got it. You got it, Pantosh? Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you. Uh, and that's quite the cliffhanger. I want to know what happens you next. Want... Believe me. Me too. I'm curious. What would you do in Nera's shoes? I can't... Leave and never come back. Really? Yep. I don't know. I don't think I could get in good faith. Um, leave a whole kingdom to suffer, but you know. But on, I do. But on. I think. But on second because thought. Because of people suffering makes people stronger. Anybody who says otherwise, they've never been through suffering. That's fair. Um. The thing is, and in to your point is that. They were, I mean, alive and fine. They just weren't thriving as well as they were when they were with me. So it's not like they're like suffering, suffering. They're just not. As, they're just not as well off. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, no, let's go ahead. And, let's leave. Fuck. Yep. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Fuck them kids. I, I think I'd leave and never come back. Interesting. Why is that? There's no point in living without love. Even if it was better for the kingdom for her nearer to stay, it would guarantee her love could never be realized. She'd also be unhappy. And X. that's just too sad. If you want happiness, you need to go find it. Yeah. That's something you have to physically fight for. Yeah. Agree. Having it isn't something that comes every day to a lot of people. And a lot of people don't realize that. Yeah. You have to physically you have, you fight You have to go for and it. get that shit. All yeah. right, uh, then. Uh, enjoy your food. Bye, then. I think the same way. Mm -hmm. I love this story ever since I lost my memories. I'm sure I don't have a kingdom or anything. But sometimes you wonder, you know? Yeah, I get the same feeling, too. That's just life, you know? Just gotta keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. I haven't seen the movie since I was a children's. To children's? You were more than one? Yes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get infinite for, in my name for no reason, all right? You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. That, you know what? You actually said the line in the middle, so I'm just going to skip that. <laughs> uh, I'm really happy that you're the one I get to move forward with, Aaron. Me too, Scarlet. There's no one else I'd rather be with right here, right now, except maybe uh, Ali. But, you know. And speaking of right now, there's some place I want to... I read bang you. <laughs> I want to bang you? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Where's that? I'll give you one hint. I've been thinking about this place ever since I meant you mentioned you love fairy tales. You right, bastard! You took her. You took her where Allie took you. Yes. Yeah, How could up. you? That's that's real fucked up. How could you? Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, bro. I mean, you could right. say you could say Ali technically didn't bring him here. The 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 produ the the show brought him here, but that's still kind of fucked up. That's mm. that's fucked up. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of fucked up, bro. Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are turtles down here. Turtles. Like, where do you see a turtle? Uh, I don't see. see not one freaking turtle anywhere. Do you see a turtle? Uh, this thing over here on the right might be a turtle, maybe? Over here on the right. Can you see my mouse? I see someone kelp. No. No. I mean, this thing right over here that, that looks kind of like kelp on the far right, it, it might be a turtle. He kind of has the shape nah, of like a turtle bag. 
Yeah. All right. And turtles, bro. <laughs> uh, I don't see no goddamn turtles either. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> she was practically dancing around the room, t uh, taking in all the sights. It was impossible not to smile. I figured the Ocean Palace just might be your thing. Skelet practically jumped on me and squeezed the life out of me in a deathly bear hug. Raw paw bear hugs. Thanks. <laughs> this is wonderful, Aaron. Thank you so much. Raw paw bear hugs, let's go. <laughs> you made everything so special in ways I honestly couldn't believe, but you did it. And, oh, sorry. And this is just the beginning, Scarlet. We're in this together. I held Scarlet and kissed her on the... Bro. Bro. He's fucked up. Yeah, this is kind of fucked <laughs> up, bro. Like, Ali was macking on you hard, hard, and was like, bro, I got a secret. Don't tell nobody. I, right, I. Right. Uh, and now he over here putting the moves on Scarlet. Like, bro, bro, bro. It's kind of fucked up. I held Scarlet and kissed her on the lips. It was like an explosion of passion that set me on fire. And as she kissed me back, I kind of wrapped her arms around me. Always. So, uh, don't get me wrong. She's a baddie. That's why I chose her in the first place. But like, bro, you can't be doing this, bro. Like if she, Thanks. like if she jumped onto you, fine. I get that. I get that. Like it's it's a show. You kind of gotta let that slap, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. We look deep into each other's eyes. Then, in a split second, the room became pitch pitch black. I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face, much less Scarlet. It looks like there's a blackout. I'm gonna try and do you guys in Master Duel sometime, but I have to unlock my blue eyes and my odd eye stack. Hey man, I mean, um, you, words. You'll get, you'll get there when you get there. Scarlet held my hand tight, and maybe she was afraid of the dark. I didn't have a chance to respond before I heard a rush of footsteps coming towards us in the dark. I have to rebuild my red eyes deck. Something isn't right. Oh no. We were surrounded. A familiar voice cut through the short silence of me holding my breath. I'm sorry, Aaron. You just didn't make the cut. We gotta get out of here. Just make it quick, please. I can hear the woman's uh the woman that voice belonged to walk away. I dash from the table pulling Scarlet along with me. What's going on? Oh, who, who are you? Just come with me. We gotta get out of... I didn't have to make five steps before I was tackled down and cuffed behind my back. Aaron! I screamed for her to run, but they made sure no sound could escape uh, Escape as they pinned me to the ground. For my second time, it took me a while. For my blue eyes, I have this two accounts. This is my refreshed account, and I have to use, but... Account I have to use, but my first account has a lot of peeps. To, uh, first account... What? But my first account has a lot that peeps don't know. Commas, man. Commas. Scarlet, you have to run. Get out of here. It's no use, even though she was just a few feet away. I was powerless to get an inch closer. They tackled her down in an instant. I heard the clink of cuffs as they dragged her away. I struggled with everything I had, I struggled with everything I had to get up to save her, to run, for what felt like an eternity. And then, nothing. What the fuck? This isn't grammar class. It makes it easier for me to read. I woke up on an operating table, the kind you'd see in a nightmare. Blood spatter, splattered on the floor and the walls, the smell of disinfecting and rotten flesh. There was a nearby... There was a nearby table littered with metal instruments that could make anybody... <laughs> shut up! Anybody talk. My, my friend... <laughs> My first instinct was to get up and get off uh, off it as fast as possible, but my neck, hands, and legs were cuffed and pinned down into thick metal braces. I tried to force myself out with all my strength, but the braces didn't didn't so much as budge. Hello? Thank God the music didn't go. What's going on? Where am I? Scarlet? You there? All I heard back was the echoes of my own screams. Wherever I was, this place must be massive. Hey, Aaron. Cat was holding some kind of helmet with thick wires extruding from the back of it. Don't worry, Scarlet's doing just fine. She's just taking a little nap. Cat, what the fuck? 
You gotta help me. I was just on my date with Skeleton and everything went dark and these guys fucking kidnapped us and... I know, Aaron. I know. She sighed. You did good, but not good enough. That's pretty much it. Would it make you feel better to hear that you were the best one yet? I don't care. Get me out of here. At this point, there's no point in explaining. She placed the helmet on my head carefully. Even if I wanted to stop her from doing so, the brace around my neck made it impossible for to maneuver. Please, Cat, you don't have to do this. I hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, mm -hmm. revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. I just want to get out of here. I just want to get back to my life. Whatever it was, please. Not today, Aaron. She pressed it. The sound of crashing waves, a world with time without time or color. I'm back. This time it's as if I'm sitting in an audience watching myself from afar. The escape had failed, but separating from her and captured. We really never had a chance, did we? I found myself praying that she's safe if anything happened to her. For a moment, the world exploded with color. Oh, hello. Always the hero, aren't you? What did you do to her? You should be more worried about yourself. You know the rules. If you tried to escape the island, you die. It didn't have to be like this, but you... I'm done talking. Goodbye, Aaron. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like our little hero's got some life left in it after all. Would you do a Smash or a Pass Overwatch Edition collab with Luna? Uh, depends on Luna. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, Aaron, you're in luck. Usually I just kill you for this, but an opportunity just opened up, and I think you'd be the perfect fit. Hey, don't just lie there. Just, just five more minutes. You're the star of the show. Can't just sleep through it. Watch me. Oh, so that's how you want to play? It's on. Ow! Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Ow, ow, ow. Did you just hit me? What? Me? Never in a million years. Anyway... What's your name again? Oh, um, my name's... Like, I forgot my name. Really now, you've got to be joking. My dead, my, wait, what, how does it go? Fuck. Oh, no legs. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is I forgot my name. Goal is not to be king with this level of fame. My new name is Rain Man. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead serious. Oh, sorry, that's you. I'm dead serious. I can't remember a thing. And I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> Who knows? It might be for the better. Luckily, we got your name on file, Aaron. My name's Kat. Nice to meet you. You're the star of our new show. Find love or die trying. Let me get you up to speed. How the or hell did I get into this mess? So I'm not stuck on the island in the middle of nowhere in an insane dating show from hell. From my cat said, I'm dead meat if I can't finish the show with the uh, fiance, or if the ratings aren't high enough. None of the girls on the show know the truth, and if they found out, they'd kill us all. Could have wake up with no memories at a regular hospital like a regular drama protagonist. <laughs> at least these girls seem nice. Ellie's quite something. Something tells me she'd be hard to keep up with, and that's not just from losing a race to her in the field. Scarlet's interesting. I still got no idea what she's trying to read, uh, read in that magazine or book. Hide. Words. I'll try to figure that out later. Tara marches to the beat of her own drum, and I like that. 
while it's cool, but intimidating as hell. And I'm pretty sure she was about uh, to cook one of the brothers for dinner. Then there's Yui. She seems like a really sweet girl. Something about her is so familiar. She says she knew me from before. I'll have to ask about her when I'm, uh, what I was like before, uh, as soon as I can. But for now, the show must go on. And that's why Erin is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, I just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean a thing. You said that last time, too. You... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you you uh you flubbed the line a little bit. Uh, instead of uh you you said I, and you did that the first time too, which is funny. Yeah, I just I don't know. I can't, there are certain words I can't put together. Like my brain just doesn't want to put them together. English. And then there are, there are words that they're like, all right, put this in here. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> oh, Enfy. Yeah. Um, I do have to get off pretty soon. Um. So, if you want to stop here after we do all the introductions, and then we can pick this up the next time, if you want to. How long is pretty soon? How much time? Uh, um, like now? If we can make time, if we can make time for tomorrow, wait, 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 pretty soon is like the next time that we're going to... No, 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 like pretty soon, sure, like how much time do you have left? 11.45. All right, let's see how far My we time. can get. We'll see how far we can get at that. If you need to just go, just go ahead and go. Um, okay. Yeah, that's your line. Uh, <clears throat> How did I do her? Oh, yeah. It's like bullshit math that they always show on screen in the movie. Uh, you're late to the party, Erin. Now that we're all together, it's time to explain the rules of this show. Erin, one of the five lonely women here is your soulmate. You did that last time, too. One of the five lo lonely women here is your soulmate. What, what did I do? The word says lovely. Lovely? Yeah. No, that's lonely. <laughs> You'll get to know each of these three girls over the next nine days over the three dates with each of them. Then on the tenth day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you. At least you're not uh, like me for getting uh, Lautred's voice. How'd you? Yeah, I don't know, man. So I've got <laughs> ten days to save my life. That has to be Noel. Did Noel say that? No, that was Dan. Dan? Dan? Yeah, that was Dan. Uh. <laughs> um, so without further ado, who would you like to spend time with? Wait, okay. I have to choose already? Okay. I haven't had the chance to talk to any of them yet. Uh, uh -huh, alright. I guess I have to spend time with. Oh, just hold on for a second. I, I forgot to tell you something very important. She pulled me aside. This should be far enough. So the th girls think you'll be asking all five of them out for a date. But really, I only want you to ask three of them. Basically, everybody but Scarlet and Allie. Why? Let's just say we think we'll be getting higher ratings that way. And you know how important it is to get the highest ratings, right? I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. Glad we're on the same page, Aaron. So without further ado... We walk back to the girls. Uh... Let's say the best one for last. Uh, so Yui is last. Yeah. Um, you can pick the first. Well, let's go with Tara, then. Tara. Tara? But all right, we'll make it happen. <sighs> Wait, did you want it to be you? I wanted to choose you from the start. Facts. We uh, all wanted to choose you from the start, but we can't because you're not an option. Yeah, uh, I think actually that's pretty good because we start where we began, which is weird. I don't know where this game is going right now. I think it's going like doki doki but like without all the killing yeah i mean that's what i wanted so i'm okay with that <laughs> um facts but yeah uh thanks for hanging out with me everybody um 
uh, that's gonna do it for me for uh, right now. Tomorrow, I'll be hanging out with uh, Pudgy. Pudgy for sure, uh, and Luna, we'll, we'll see if we can get you in there. Um, I don't I don't know what time specifically, uh, but you said around like nine your time? Yes. Yeah, we'll see if we can get you in there. Um, we're gonna be playing Tekken 7. Um, and uh, Luna has not played any fighting games before, as far as I'm aware, besides Dead or Alive 2. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, this will be a new experience for her. She like actually knows nothing. We'll be teaching her from scratch. So it, that's one more uh, uh, one more person into the fray of uh, people uh, for for people for uh, uh, for rivals. But we're gonna go ahead and raid Naomi. She's currently playing Overwatch too. Um. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't hit the like button, what the fuck not? It's free. Subscribe while you're at it. Um, also, uh, links to Luna's uh, Twitch channel will be in the description down below, if I remember to do that. Hopefully I do. Um, so you can go follow her, and you'll be able to catch her as soon as she goes live um, with her with, with her stuff. If you enjoyed her, uh, enjoyed her time here. Thank you for being here with me, Luna. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for having me. I do appreciate it. Oh, of course. All right, and I will see Nigga! you. God damn it, Naomi. Well, God damn it, Naomi. I was about to oh. raid you. <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> God damn it, Naomi. Take it to topics. Topic. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna raid. We're gonna raid. No need then. <laughs> Let's go. God damn it. Um. <laughs> Thank you for everybody for showing up, uh, but I was literally about to end stream and raid Naomi before she came over here. So, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and raid Naomi. Uh, if you're not already following, following me. Uh, I mean, that's free, right? D do that. <laughs> uh, He's amazing and hilarious. You'll love him. Uh, yeah, but let's go. Let's go give uh, No Need some love, all right? Uh, I was, now I will see you guys literally as I said that she raided me. What kind of shit is that? I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.